Boing. Hello, everybody. Hello. hello, Elise. Hello, John. Hello. hello, chat. I forgot to shut the door, so hello, anybody out there who can hear me. <laughs> I will shut the door for us. Welcome to a very exciting stream. I say that every time because we're playing Resident Evil 4 like six hours early, Hell seven yeah. hours early, eight mm -hmm. hours early. Thank you so much. We were provided a copy. Yeah. Thanks, Capcom. Love you, <laughs> yep. bro. Thank you, Resident <laughs> But yeah, we're doing Resident Evil. It's almost downloaded. It's nice. got 11 gigs left, so we're just gonna look at some community stuff in the meantime. So yeah, I it's bingo time patchwork. I remember <laughs> playing or watching my brother play the first one on PlayStation, and I was still young, so like it had so had like the fear factor in me. It oh, creeped yeah. me out, and so I never, never played it because uh, I saw him playing it, and it just it, I could just feel anxiety happening. And then I never played any other ones because I didn't want that feeling to come back. So. Um, did you have experience I, with any of them? No, just the first oh, one. I watched them wow. play it a couple times and like, cause you know, you'd hear that and then the zombie would come yeah. off the screen and that was just too much for me. Cause I, I might've been like 11 or 12 at the time. So still, you know, I know I know it's not real, but it just made me not feel good. Yeah, so yeah I didn't it's that play. tension. Yeah, it's, I've only played like a few Resident Evils. The most recent one being the most recent one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a big lady. And yeah. that was pretty fun. But it was very, very scary. And um, I'm not good with scaries. And then there's like, which is Resident Evil 6 is the co-op one? Or 5? Mm. Yeah. 5 was like the one that had all, it was a lot of action and stuff. Oh, yeah, I never, yeah, yeah. I've never played 5. That one people I'm didn't seem to, to like. But the co-op one people did seem to enjoy for the fact that they could like play with a friend. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, 4 is the one that has always been heralded as like the best Resident Evil. Yeah. People mm. love it. And I've um, never finished it. I've only played a tiny little bit of it a long time ago. Flaming Whip It. This will be my first Resident Gifting a fun Evil experience since like 1996. So wow. I'm excited. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's always been a long time. <laughs> also, Juan Lopez became a member while we were uh, what getting a ready. Juan, so, you are one you, of the good Juan. ones. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to put everyone else's name into a pun. <laughs> John, have you seen how, uh, sign up? how big the lady is in Resident Evil Village? I think I've heard and I think I've seen... That would probably uh, use a wagon minute. Memes of it. Yeah, let's see it. Let's look at it. How do you spell it? Lady Dumitresk. Just put that thing. Oh. Big lady. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah. Big lady yeah, Resident let's do that. Evil. The big Didn't booty lady see? Resident Evil. <laughs> That's not why. just the booty. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. actually, we might, we might get a lot of different results. Big lady Resident Evil. Now, remember, Jacob said evil. moments ago he was going to look at community stuff, and That's now he's true. immediately Googling the big titty woman from Resident yeah. Evil. No, the, well, it's proportional to the rest of her. <laughs> well, all of her is big. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's that's not a. Uh, I thought she was like 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 when I say big like like bowling well, pin big. She's also very tall, like like, like she's oh, like twelve feet tall. Oh, okay, yeah. got you, got you. That type of big. But she's very tall. There's her with a really big hat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll go to the community <laughs> stuff now. I saw somebody in the chat was talking about how this. Uh, episode of um, How Hard Could It Be it was very good. Oh, for, I just want to say thank you to Sam P. Because uh, without Sam support from you, we cannot go on. We could not. We would end <laughs> the stream right now were it not for Sam gifting those five uh, memberships. Hey. Thanks, Sam. But yeah, this first episode yes. of How Hard Could It Be is so like cool and interesting. And look, we all love Lindsay. We all know yeah. Lindsay's amazing. She is. I really love this show because I think that this is a broader opportunity for the world to see like all these other... Like we know Lindsay's funny, we know she plays games, but like some people don't realize like she is good at everything. Yeah. And she she tackles everything head on with like this just fervor and like excitement and this was such a joy to yeah. do. Like I had no her. clue watching it. I was like, oh my God, this is like the whole thing from scratch. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. She and like movie magic you don't see this but we're making paper to make into a book i was wondering i was like this you have to be making paper from scratch or yeah something like that. yeah and um but she, but she like she did she did it on her own separately movie mm. magic so she had like all the we didn't have to wait for everything to happen she like uh, had other yeah, paper and stuff time, so. it started like days beforehand and like she has these like big tubs of liquid that were just sitting in this empty office. <laughs> yeah, was, oh yeah, she has all her <laughs> yeah. stuff. So. Oh, look who it is! It's Omar. Hello, Omar in the uh, field. We're just looking at some community stuff while the last like ten gigs of Resident yeah. Evil I download. Making paper in like fifth grade, and yeah, the whole like waiting for it to dry, and then I don't even think we got to draw draw on it. I think we, they just took it back from us. <laughs> yeah, it was this part right here where I was like. Oh my God, I sort of remember doing something like this mm -hmm. in elementary school and it didn't turn out nearly as like 
good and cool. It was really fun and it was really just kind of soothing and therapeutic to do a little craft. Yeah, okay. it was Doing great. With the hands. I would have did this during the pandemic, honestly. So everybody was making sourdough. I would have made paper <laughs> and then wrote a book about how I survived. Yeah. <laughs> the paper got me through it. So the very paper that you are looking at right now. Yeah. I, I I'm sh- no Lindsay wants to hype it up herself, but we recorded an episode with her and Tay, um, Tater yes. Tot, friend of the channel, and it is, oh my God. I laughed the whole time. It was fucking insane um, how funny it is. And that comes out in April. Well, that's gonna be a good one. I don't. I know much less about that one except for how everyone was afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Just note it is April themed. Yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. Do with that information uh, what you will. Log forty two k. Thank you, and you log to see it. <laughs> you know. Well, that's <laughs> a Thursday. How much, how much we can keep this? <laughs> oh no! You got it! You got it! Yeah, yeah, you got it! Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll come with another one. Hey. It is that Thursday, right? It is that it's Thursday. That day. Yeah. It's that day. So. Do with do with that what you will. Yeah. Get ready. Oh man. There's also a stream that day too. Mm-hmm. That's a Thursday, so. Which I said, if you guys want to get high and watch me play the Dream Machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd do it. I, I'd do I'm one hundred percent in. I just got a little five milligrams. Yeah, I gotta just eat my gummies before driving to work. <laughs> so they uh, kick in right bad, out of time. That's a bad call, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna Actually, say. Don't, that, don't gummy and drive. Yeah. Yeah. It takes forever for it to kick in. No, no, no. Actually, that would be too early. That would be too early if I did that. <laughs> and it would be like noon and I'd already be done. How's the game doing, Jacob? How's the game doing? Let's uh, update on Resident Evil. Ooh, so close. So close. So close. So close. We Less still got than 10 gigs. We, we were talking about, yeah, everybody should check out uh, How Hard Could It Be. This is the first episode. So and they fun. make the books. And it's crazy. <gasps> Moots Ruin. Moots Ruin. Moots. All right, Elise, give Get us another, ten uh, memberships. another pun for Moots Ruin. Um, uh, it's, it's not a moot point. A moot's <laughs> point that you are wonderful. Moots Ruin. Moots. Yeah, ain't ruining our uh, gift. Our, uh, yeah. Wow, we, gift we got both yeah. parts of the name there. That's great. Let's see. Oh, John, oh, here's a nice John's little gift. Hips. Oh God. Yeah, if you want to see this. I, this is. It's funny that this is coming up right now. I was at Disneyland yesterday. <laughs> yeah. And I went to sit in one of the rides, and they like, they make you like. They make you like squat and spread your legs really far to like fit into the little what, really? toboggan thing. Was it Matterhorn? It was Matterhorn. Yeah, Matterhorn makes you do some and, weird stuff. Yeah, and like my, I, bar- I could barely do it. I was like, man, John would fit in this no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you were at Disneyland. I thought you were at the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you think that? Because you've been going to the dentist. So I've I was been, like, I've oh, he's probably. A lot. Yeah, I was like, he's probably going back. Poor old. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they told me he had to get a new mouth. Does mm. Matterhorn still like snap your spine when you ride it? Mm-hmm. Man, it, it it nearly broke my hip. Is what it did. Don't stand up on like, that. Last time I wa- I rode it, I like got off like. We... Oh no! Get off! Oh, that. Yeah. oh you, don't, you don't want to see the here, I'll, I'll just put like the cursor right here. I'll follow it around. Oh god! <laughs> see. Oh look, there's us. Hey. Oh no! Nah, I love it. <laughs> John's Klingon this, cosplay. We have, we have we have a John week. This is like know. sci-fi yeah. Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is from the Star Trek board as hell, which is very fun. Gall- is Gallagher still doing stuff? No, right? I think he died. Didn't he, died? he give the business I think he just to his died brother recently? Yeah, well, one of them died. His brother was already doing like alternate shows Did of his Gallagher too. Yeah. 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 But yeah. was he doing the same thing with the mallet and all that shit? Yeah, I think, I think so. so. It's weird how we have Keeping two sets of Gallagher of brothers. Yeah. Got the Oasis Gallagher brothers. At least brothers. Well, they're, they're, it's a quadruplet, actually. Oh, whoa. But they're all the same family. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one family of Gallagher. It's like a it's a brood. It's like the Scars Guards. Yeah, you guys were so hard in that. Oh, yeah. Very, oh, yeah. very hard. That was a good game. time. The, the game was harder than us, though, I'll say that. I loved this, the keeper, the, the death time uh, keeper. Oh, yeah. And, so off-putting when you open up a game and one of the main menu options is gangbang. Oh yeah, <laughs> just wondering. Uh, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a different context, hopefully. Uh, uh, well, we discussed the different various types of. Yes, it was yeah. analyzed. It was broken down in the video. Yeah, People yeah. are posting these Ryan screen stream clips, and oh my god, it's just blowing my fucking mind. Yeah, this is the one where he talks about how he would drive like a hundred miles away on 9/11. <laughs> Because he, just in case he would get 9 11. Because, first of all, of course, terrorists would attack on the same day. Yeah. <laughs> on the anniversary. Yeah. yeah, on the anniversary. Which, like, if you become a member, you'll have access to the full archive of yeah. these streams. Which there is so, so much more in this mm-hmm. stream than just yeah. this clip. There's a lot. <laughs> I like how Patrick is like, 
He's like folding into himself in the background. <laughs> it's good that's, spine. That's what happens in Kingdom Hearts. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding, Patrick. If, if, you're, if a, you're watching, which you're not. Yeah. If you remember and you want to watch the VOD of the stream, there is a part where James and I yell at Ryan so much during a boss fight that he starts sweating profusely. <laughs> oh, I love sweat, sweaty Ryan. Like he was just trying, we were just trying to get him to run up Rapunzel's tower and the sweat was dripping down his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. Mm. But yeah. Collective Concerns, what stream was this? This was Kingdom Hearts from Kingdom this Hearts. Tuesday? Yeah, from the, uh, no, from last Tuesday. Yeah, a week, a week, oh, okay. a week and a half ago. Yeah, I mix it up with uh, Sonic Frontiers, which was this Tuesday, yeah. which is another very good stream. Just for Ryan's sanity. Yeah, but yeah, please go check out the VODs of the Kingdom Hearts 3 streams. They're great. Miss your tenderloins. Good luck with that My one. tenderloins burn with uh, <laughs> gratefulness when I see you become a member. In a, in, in a masculine way, or no, what's the... Platonic? Minuscule is small, what's the word yeah. for big? Uh, your, your, tender, your tender Massive? love isn't min minuscule. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Were you trying to say masuscule? <laughs> masuscule. Yeah, what's the opposite of that? <laughs> Look at my muscles. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, yeah, there was a member exclusive video member that exclusive went up. Which, which uh, minuscule yeah. tenderloins you can watch now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a very funny part where James is doing an Elvis voice, but talking but talking about Dune as if he's oh, in Dune. Right. Yeah, I heard about this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Oh, I wanted to talk about this. Oh, this this so, art is so, so good. Cool. <laughs> It's gone. I oh, see someone was just saying, oh, uh, where's Mondo art? This is clearly Mondo is what, Thanos? Or he's a Gundam. Oh, he's a Gundam. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love it. This is from a podcast like ages ago. Yeah. Yeah. There's me as Amuro Ray, obviously. Kind of like Coolie Coolie vibes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> watermark. <laughs> Moo Mischief and uh, who did I miss? I missed someone there. I'm sorry. Moo Mischief? No, prior to Moo Mischief. Oh, yeah. Who said, oh, just go to the tower? Yeah, which was a quote uh, from the Kingdom Hearts thing. Plus him. Plus him. Moo Mischief, I am Moo Mischuffed to see you, best member for two months. And Hus Hib, you're not a hussy. <laughs> you're a Hus Hib. Thank you. And ask about, ask about how much we love you becoming a member. I'm so tired. Oh, John Lopez. <laughs> Anybody oh. want to pick up John Lopez? <laughs> I'm a guy with only collateral knowledge of makeup, but love the Les Blind episode. Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. That is so wonderful to hear. That was the whole thing that Elise was going for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a makeup show for people yeah. who don't like makeup John or don't know Lopez, anything about makeup. Let, I saw yeah. somebody in a, in a previous stream <laughs> say that like they watched Let's Blend and applied some of what they learned to painting minis. Oh, I saw that oh. too. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, definitely like deep. bought a thing that Barbara used in that episode. Oh, cool. After we did it, that, our makeup <laughs> together. And then I think the next one's going to be Alana and Rihanna Ooh, together doing their makeup. It rhymes. That'll be exciting. Not, See, everyone's by, learning. That wasn't intended. <laughs> <laughs> How's yeah. that game doing? This is very good. Sunshine Riptide. Love this art. I need to get a non-watermark version. So close. So close. So close. So close. Um, oh, yeah. Rick was in the chat just now saying that I do not look like Amuro Ray at all. We've been having this argument for days now. <laughs> because Just because of the hair. He's like the main character of Gundam, so naturally I'd be that character. Rick says there's nothing, nothing. No, no, no Rick is wrong. Yeah, there's some, thank you, Omar. I don't know. See, look, look, there's me. <laughs> it's like a redhead and... Uh, it's just the lighting, it's brown. Yeah, Jake, it's just Jacob's the lighting. A, definitely a black it's like Joel. Guy, <laughs> looks like yeah. Joel. Is he bright? Noah looks like Joel. Yeah, the guy on the right yeah. looks yeah. like Joel. Also, a great character. He slaps a lot of people. Joel. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that one's not going to load. Oh well. Anyways, uh, is there anything else from the community? Another PlayStation garbage. Definitely good to check out. Is this from the same stream? This the is from the stream? same stream. You can see Patrick uh, stuck in the couch. This was back funny. <laughs> These questions. I guess people are asking about like yeah. the economy and people the military industrial complex yeah. and stuff. That's good. A lot of good questions. Good stream. Just go watch the Kingdom Hearts 3 stream vibe. Ah, oh, yes, the horse. Horsey. <laughs> yeah. Let's ride. Yeah, that was a uh, yeah. that was a video. Listen, I know people are like, oh, bummed out because it was under 10 minutes. There's a lot of things I had to cut, okay? <laughs> There's a whole I bunch. Sometimes believe... you just can't get it over to 10 minutes because of you two. I love that. I always wanted to be on The Office, so. No, you were. Kind of was. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you guys showed Lindsay Mr. Hands. Oh my God. That is, that is 
It was. It, I do not wish that. So you actually my... watched the video? Huh? No, I. I don't. Wait, is Mr. Hands the the guy couple getting, that guy getting fucked by the horse? Yeah, the horse fucked. And then he the died. Guy, and he, oh hospital. no, no, they were watching this weird um, little couple that like, where they looked little, that like. <laughs> were sharing this horse. They were having like, oh, yeah, they were having like threesomes with it and stuff like that. Oh. And the guy was enjoying seeing her do it. And she was just talking about how it just accidentally happened one day. And she just kind of got into it. And Did anyone die? It accidentally it, happened. It, 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 it slipped and fell on it. I don't know. Very intentional. I don't, I don't know. But Someone yeah. has to make a choice yeah. there. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And YouTube was like, no. <laughs> so they survived the horse fucking? Yeah, yeah. Well, as far as I know, I don't know how old this documentary is. Yeah. Well, it's been refined since Mr. Hands. People yeah. have figured out the method. Um, someone says, tell Jacob to fix his email. I need him to fix something for tomorrow's video. Oh, it's Bones, probably. <laughs> is that yeah, it's probably Bones asking about the video that I, I gave him. That probably I'll, had some inappropriate stuff in it. Okay, I'll check my email, everybody. See, this is, just feels like a prank after I was fucking with you guys on the other <laughs> That's what I thought it was, but then I was like, oh, it's probably Bones asking about the, the YouTube video. Also, a bunch of memberships are rolling in. Yeah. I can't keep up with them. DC, DC, rough city, y'all. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> it also... DC, how much we love you. <laughs> What's that one before, DC, Omar? Can you pronounce that? Uh... Vijay Singh? 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 Singh, yeah. Yeah. Asking Omar if you as you read The Blade itself. It's a good fantasy book. I haven't. Oh. I should. I'll I'll take it. I'll check it out. Stormlight, Stormlight Hype five. 5, though. Yeah, Stormlight 5 Hype is what I meant to say. <laughs> Stormlight Hype 5. Hype 5. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for Stormlight stuff. Yeah. I'm a little worried that I'm going to find something egregious about Sanderson now. Somebody brought that up before. And oh, I was like, yeah. oh, shit. Here we go. I don't know. I mean, it. I think it's going to be the general stuff that you would assume from someone of that faith. Mm. Oh. Which is not great. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's not great. Oh, no. Well, how's think, the game? Oh, let's check on the game. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was, I was, I was uh, talking to Bones through the chat who says that YouTube does not like the snake sex stuff that is included in that video. Okay. Oh, you got a bone. Click, click on the downloading thing, Jacob. I'm curious what it's doing. Down at the bottom? Or oh, that works too. Uh, yeah, what are we, what are we doing? Maybe. It's well, still downloading. There. So it's still, after it downloads, it's still going to have to go through like the install process? Uh, that'll oh, go pretty man, quick, I think. Like... But uh, oh, it's going fast, though. We got that good internet. We got that good internet. That gig. Now. Yeah. Good gillionaires. Yeah, I'll get on the snake sex thing in a moment. Uh, looks like somebody saw Ryan at the Ween <laughs> Jacob's concert. Jacob's like, I'm, uh, excuse me, I'm <laughs> yeah. otherwise occupied. <laughs> I got some, I'm juggling some stuff right now. Ryan is on a Ween uh, tour Always. right now, yeah. Just, Always. Mm -hmm. He just slacked Patrick and I about Ween tickets for in LA. Oh, he did? <laughs> I thought he was getting me Ween tickets. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there's some more Snitched Ryan on. highlights. Let me see. I should say there is a part of the stream where Ryan Texas. puts on a, Are you a mask of his own it? face. What? <laughs> in the middle of the Kingdom Hearts stream. I He just walked in with it. It's very scary. I think I remember him having that at the old office. So it, I love this thumbnail. <laughs> it's just a, this like, thumbnail is great. Damn it, damn it, this thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this, is a, this is a great thumbnail. I remember seeing it the other day on YouTube and I just had to pause and applaud. Because I, I used to make oh, the thumbnails yeah. years ago. So like when I see a good one, I just appreciate it so much. <laughs> this one makes me laugh. Like I look at it and I'm like, that's funny. But then I really look at it. <laughs> it's it also like giggle. the unzipping of the skin suit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what well, the episode's about. At least, would yeah. you wear a James jacket? It'd be billowy on me. <laughs> so muscular. Oh, yeah, I think we're but, all. Uh, uh, he's got great skin. Yeah. 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 Like, It'd be like wearing silk. Like if something like unfortunately happened to him and they gave you the option, you could bury him, you could cremate him, or Keep turn him skin. into a nice jacket. Yeah, I'd probably wear him. Yeah. Because he tans very easily. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's, we get we caught that, up. He's got that Hispanic. Um, yeah. <laughs> I would only wear James skin if it would keep the the shape. I would need. I would want oh, yeah. a muscle suit. Yeah, yeah. Would, yeah it's like a I muscle suit. I would want to live yeah. that life for a day. <laughs> That'd be nice. I, I don't know what life. <laughs> it's like. Because <laughs> I would wear the James jacket and then another shirt on top of it. To get the muscles. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Could rock. James got those abs and everything going. Oh, I mean, I, I yeah. could cut the top, you know, the bottom <laughs> off. You want it all on display? Yeah, yeah. I want everything there. All right, we got a minute and a half remaining, supposedly. 
Has, so. has anyone seen any from anything from this game yet? Is no. like no. no, not really. So rad that we're that Elise was able to get it and get it early and do all this stuff. This yeah, would be amazing. well, thanks, Capcom. I'm very pulling excited. the strings. For, you know, making it happen, Captains. Like Captain, we, we Captain comes. Yeah, we haven't played an early game in a while. I think this one, I, I just. Uh, you wrote them an email really, in all caps. I really, really want to watch you play it too, Jacob. Me too, especially because I've <laughs> only played a small handful of Resident Evil. Yeah. So I'm also excited to play a fun game. So this is a remake? Yes. Okay, because when you said six, I was like, well, how do we get here to four? This is just coming out today. Right, right. Okay. Well, they've been remaking them um, over the years. And like... Full on. This is not just like a up res or whatever. Like yeah. full on. Oh. Like, yeah, it's like not changing, playing. It. Changing all the mechanics, changing like different things that happen in it and stuff like. Now, is there just because I know people hate when, um, you know, how people are mad about remaking movies and, and shit like that and changing things. Oh, yeah. Like like it messes the original art. Like, do gamers feel that way about like this remaking it better than what it I was? I don't think so. I, I feel think like it's different. All, yeah, this is different. It's, oh. it's all. From my understanding, it's all pretty positive. Okay. Like, yeah, I think whenever they do this to a game, it's like it's bringing it to like a point where it's kind of like you're playing it how you remember it. It's like uh, it plays okay. really well and it looks good and it's downloaded. Hey! Whoa! Cool. There we go. Senor tickles. Tee hee. Yeah. Tee hee hee. I don't know how you. <laughs> I yeah. think in in uh oh no. It's it's a uh, ja 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 yeah j a yeah. j a ja, 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 ja. yeah I remember someone uh, last time I went to Mexico someone like I exchanged numbers with someone they was like so I don't write lol I just write ja 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 and I was like okay yeah. this is our thing now <laughs> <laughs> well what was the what was the language I, I feel like it might just be a stupid Warcraft thing where it was k e k instead of lol mm. oh I vaguely yeah, know what you're talking like about some... that was popular in it because I think uh, in Warcraft when you were on an opposite Faction, it changed the the chat or the text that you see. So because they're speaking another language, you know. Because you said just K E K. Yeah. It was oh, Keck. I don't know if it was like. Keke, Keke, oh yeah, I've there. seen that before. Oh okay. Keck was LOL instead of saying lol or whatever. It would be uh, Keck. Dylan, so glad that you remembered to come join us. Chilling like a Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Chilling like a Dylan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he chills very intensely. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep it going. Bright as bright as the as sun. Bright as can I want to see everything. I don't want to ever yeah, be scared. I don't want to be scared at all. Also, we're on like this big TV and there's a little bit of glare, so it's very yeah. helpful. Oh my god. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. I consent. I consent. I mean, you have to scroll it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't let me not scroll it. There we go. Wow, there's a lot of options here. I do consent though. Ooh, how exciting! Matt Kidrowski is back. Hey, Matt. Remember. And yes, there will be a poor choices tomorrow. I, I've been busy. I have not been able to film the last two weekends, so uh, it's going to be a quickie. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds Literally good. 60 seconds. <laughs> Any other old games y'all like to see remade? I'm hoping you should Kodor. redo the, the Soul Eater. What, no, uh, Soul Reaver. What oh, yeah, yeah. You brought that one up a few times. Dude, Legacy of K games were so good, but they play like shit. <laughs> oh, really? They're guard. Yeah, like it's, imp it's oh, impossible. Bummer. The old ones, they are impossible to play now. Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Welcome, Rad Gnarly. Oh, recognize Rad Gnarly. I do hope that KOTOR remake happens someday, but I know it's in some kind of development hell right now. Unfortunately, because it's like <laughs> my favorite Star Wars game. I know they've tried to bring it back right, at least like right. three times now, but I would actually like a oh, Tribes remake that sticks. Was it the prologue or the epilogue? It was the epilogue. Oh, it was the, oh, it was the epilogue. Okay, Scar. Oh my god. We're getting right into the thick of it. This looks really good. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Bloody teeth. Oh, cool. Ooh, nice. Now, if, like you a to, if you had to do a human sacrifice, what are you asking for? Like, here you go, gods. I just did this. What do you want back in return? Oh, like, do I want, like, wealth or fame? Yeah, or yeah, like rain, that? anything. Just... I'll go and pass. pass. Oh, ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, my, I want a KOTOR remake. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what do you want, John? Yeah, tell us what you want. Excellent question. Um, pass that gym downstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Free pass the gym downstairs. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Get $50 worth a month to Re kill someone? Sure. <laughs> Would you have to like re up your sacrifice every month or? Oh, that would be yeah. horrible. 
but I wouldn't have to pay any money though. I would just have to find somebody. Yeah, <laughs> that's much cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> sacrificing a, sacrificing a human. Yeah, for the price of an axe. It's true, axes you can get pretty cheap. Sporting goods. <laughs> get a couple of them. Maybe some trash bags. Wow. Ooh, look at Leon. Looking good. Those baby blues. Yeah. Yeah, next game I would love to produce would be a tribes game. But I, tribes. Want, I want everybody to be able to play it, and yeah. I don't think that's functionally possible. Yeah. But that would be great. Is the one with the jetpacks? Yeah, and you can like yeah. ski and stuff, the disc launcher and stuff. It's it's great. I always mix up that and like planet side. I wish I would love to play planet side, but I feel like we get bored very fast. <laughs> yeah, because you kind of just have to find something to do, right? Yeah, it's I mean, like, there's battle. always like big battles happening. It's just you have to like I don't know. I feel like we would just go off and do our own stupid shit, but get bored quickly. That's how I played those battlefield games because I was so bad at them. I just go have adventures. <laughs> this is always a good camera angle when you see the road, but the person isn't looking. <laughs> Dang, this looks real good. Just, it's, a, it's always great to me because like these guys look like normal people, and then you know like Leon looks like a like beautiful anime boy. Yeah. <laughs> people saying no game audio. No. It's pretty. I mean, it's quiet for us, but that's yeah. unrelated. Yeah. Um, you open up that OBS, Omar. The um, game has sounds just low. Okay. I I do appreciate Turn like back on and I'll, I'll talk with it. Okay. the the imperfections like in, like a normal human being's skin is not completely flawless. Yeah. Right. It's so I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's bumps, there's things. So I do enjoy that when they like artists go to that lens. You see yeah. lots of pores and like. Yeah. Wrinkles and crow's feet. I love some good video game crow's feet. I like that brands include that more and they just airbrush everything now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's better for body dysmorphia. This driver's like right beauty marks and stuff. No filter. Yeah. Leon does look perfect though. Yes, and he, as he should. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, poreless. <laughs> poreless. Yeah, Orifice-less. The skin waxy. doesn't need to breathe. No butthole. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's a ticking time bomb. <laughs> he withdraws all the nutrients, and then the food just dissipates. <laughs> Reabsorbed. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Man, if I ever saw, if I was ever out in the woods somewhere and I saw just a bunch of sticks twined together, I'd be like, I'd get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> you always know that's it good. takes very little for me yeah. to be like, I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah. Well, it might just be like a sign or something. If I see a footprint, I'm out. What was that? Yeah. Oh, there's lit candles in this forest, too. I got the old wagon. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get attacked on the cart. Policia, where, where does this take place? He sure is taking his Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Maybe Germany? You better go. And take a look. That would be a Spanish speaking country, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there just. Did I just see something come across the top of my tripping? Oh, what's the car? Oh, I parked it. It's like a ghost. Are you getting spooked? So much for help. By Resident Evil 4. Already, yeah, this intro is killing me. <laughs> the fur on that jacket. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Is that, is that real leather? Look at that hair. Yeah, the truss effects in full effect. All right, Jacob, you're up behind the wheel now. As soon as I'm behind the wheel, I get nervous. <laughs> oh, Spain? <laughs> in a game like this. It's in Spain? That's okay, so cool. That's All right, Jacob, you, you have to stick your something. hand in every dark place. I will. I like, I'm always so excited to play these games, and then they're scary. Like, this happened with Dead Space. Yeah. I was so excited for Dead Space. And then as soon as I was in control, I was too scared. <laughs> <laughs> How far Are you going to... Like, try to m get through stuff quickly or actually, like, investigate everything? Oh, I'm gonna investigate stuff. Oh, gross. I thought that was a couch. <laughs> <laughs> like, just a dirty, bloody yeah, couch? Yeah, I thought that was a couch. At least, has there ever been a game that actually did, like, legit scare you? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, PT is terrifying. Okay. Yeah. And there's stuff in it, the Amnesia games. It's like, oh, but those always feel more gory to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, what was it? Dark Descent. The thing that chases you scares the oh, shit yeah. out of me. Oh, 
Like those games are just like jump scares, though, right? Or are they like actually scary? They're more jumpy, and they feel like they just have like gory visuals to mm-hmm. me. Yeah. I feel like it depends which amnesia game. Machine. I feel for like some of them have a lot of like pigs or whatever tension building. Yeah, I've had games that give me just. Just anxiety. It's like the first Max Payne when I got that. I don't know what my brother thought I wanted to play. We got it as a Christmas gift, but like the part where you have to go down the trail in the dark and you're hearing the baby crying. Like for some reason, I just feel my anxiety is growing. Well, that's scary. More and more. That's really scary. Yeah, I mean, it's it's something heavy to put on a 16 year old. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to be a father. (laughs) Maybe not anymore. Oh. That's cool. Ooh. I think games are harder because like they're act- it requires you to be active. Like a movie you can like passively sit back and mm-hmm. then like but games it's like oh, you got to will yourself to yeah, like go down do that dark thing. hallway yeah. and it will not continue but, unless you push onwards. Yeah, so like games definitely give me like more like anxiety than a horror mm-hmm. movie would. Machine for Pigs, that was the one after yeah. Dark Descent. Which, I didn't which, play that to one. To me just felt like it had more gore like than it did like they doubled down on the wrong thing. Yeah, ambience. Yeah. I, I like Dark Descent. That one scared me a lot. Oh, Madison was good. Oh, Madison's real scary. Something happened in Madison because we did one for like one of our house flippers videos. Something like so jump scare. Oh my God! Hello. Ooh, he's been drinking a lot. <laughs> yeah, he got the yellow eyes. Yeah, it's Michael Jordan <laughs> it's <a> eyes. Crazy eyes. <laughs> so Luigi's I Mansion. Like I love that game. Luigi's Mansion. It's so fun. That reason, uh-huh. the one on the Switch was awesome. Michael Jordan is one bottle of cognac away from having cat eyes. <laughs> 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 this shit's <is> so fucking <laughs> yellow. <laughs> Not play Outlast. Outlast was too scary for me. Too much running away from scary things. <gasps> Ultimate Greg, did anyone play Seventh Guest? I played Seventh Guest. What's Seventh Guest? That was a. Uh, that was based like old. Oh! Like, uh, Ooh, cat. <gasps> Original Diablo. Uh, oh shit! I, when I was a kid, though, in Ocarina of Time, we oh. would go down into like the place where all the mummies are that like jump on you. Oh god, yeah, those did, were creepy. That did scare me. What were they called? Re-deads? Well, those are the ones uh, in like the square after the time travel. I think they're, yeah, they're the same. Thing. They like grab yeah, you yeah. and they suck the life out yeah, of you. Yeah, those scared me. Yeah, I feel like. Zelda Did games can be kind man? of yeah. I kicked him so hard that he died. Yeah, he came at us first. He, had, he was asking for it. Got ten bullets. But he Great. was already Resident Evil then, huh? Yeah. He was, he was, he was oh, Resident. okay. Yeah. I thought he just drank a lot. <laughs> I don't actually know what Resident Evil is like a reference. Is it the inherent evil? Yeah, the, I think so. The the host evil. Yeah, the locals. Yeah. <laughs> the local. <laughs> the local evil. <laughs> the local evil. Is it? I mean, so we're in Spain now. Is it still related to Umbrella and Raccoon City and all that nonsense, or is it? And is, is it, it just a, a a name, like a, a header for games to go under? And is it technically Resident Evil? Resident <laughs> Evil. <laughs> I, I like is rec, is is Umbrella glo- Umbrella is global, right? Yeah, yes. global corp. I mean, there was res, there was Umbrella stuff in the cutscene in the beginning. Yeah. Like, I think uh, that even ended up happening. Like, even if the whole game, you don't see a lot of it, I feel like it always comes down to, like, Umbrella's up to something. And it's spread to this place. I'm Batman since it was about the evil mansion in the first game. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember the first one, oh. them being in the mansion, and you go from room to room. It was kind of... Yeah. Like, would you call the it dogs? asymmetrical? Or... It, was, it wasn't top down. It was kind of at a... Uh, oh, isometric? Okay. Isometric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was looking for. Was that a person? Oh, it's just the dynamic shadows. You know what's crazy? Growing up in uh, North Carolina or just generally in the South, a lot of rooms look like this. <laughs> so <laughs> like when I see this, I'm just like, oh yeah, that's like grandpa's basement. Yeah. Well, he didn't have a basement, but grandpa's like a attic a garage, or yeah. It's a lot of rusted metal hanging. <laughs> Overgrowth coming through the door. Ah! Oh, it's tongue. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, that was there. Nice old cop man. Your situation. Oh no, the driver. What the hell's going on? Oh, there's a noose down here. And bones. Oh, it's telling me how to use it. We got ten gun. bullets. Yep. 
That's why I hate these games. <laughs> mm. Oh, Kat says, I just got the part of the stream where they showed my Gundam art. If Jacob's serious about wanting a copy, let me know. Oh, I am Kat. <laughs> I was I was meaning to message about it earlier, but I got distracted. I have been looking at the art over and over, though. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's alive. Sir! Ah! Oh yeah, I'm from North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. No, that's not any of my password. It does look like very good. Have four bullets now. Ooh, this always happens at the beginning of these games. <laughs> that, that is one thing I do, <sighs> do not like is the finite amount of yeah. ammo. Yeah. There's a lot of like item management in Resident Evil games. Like in, it's the same yeah. thing in Village. Like I really enjoyed Village, but like there's so many mm -hmm. enemies that are at the beginning that are so strong. Yep. When you're just dealing with the stress and anxiety of the hor of horror. Yeah, and the aiming is hard. Like, it makes it hard to hit yeah. things. Can you melee? Like, yeah. I, I'm assuming you have to once you run out of bullets. Uh, I have a knife. Oh, you got a knife. Ooh. Now, does oh, the knife have, that, like, a certain amount of uses? That lock is very uh, conspicuous over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one here. Oh, yeah. Nice and golden. Well, it's not... Really yeah, it's just chained Shoot to this it. table. Put a bullet in it. Careful, Jacob, your corner is here. Wow, you just went in there and didn't even look at like the rest of it. I like living on the edge. Gosh. Yeah. Are you, a, are you a 360 spin through a doorway person? Oh, like... <laughs> like, remember the game we were playing with Lindsay and she was going upstairs and doing, like, like acrobatics at each switchback? <laughs> oh, yeah. Lindsay, like, goes up video game stairs weird. Like, she doesn't... Like, I don't know, my brain makes me follow the direction of the stairs as if I'm walking up them in real life. Lindsay will just, like, look straight forward and just go up the stairs without turning. <laughs> Bruce. Bruce. This is Gondor. Oh, Condor, Condor 1. one. Oh! President's daughter. Baby. How good be Our intel was correct then. I just found hard chicken in the basement. Oh. I repeat, little chickadee is down. <laughs> Copy that. I'll see what I can. He's gonna change it every time he calls in, though. Mm -hmm. Something's happened to the people here. The seagull has eaten aspirin. I repeat, the seagull has eaten aspirin. <laughs> Rooster, this is sick ostrich. <laughs> Someone in the chat said that Alana played this, and you can just run past all these guys. Oh, I will. You have to kill him. Thank you, Leon, for doing that for me. Now you do it. You must be the resident evil. Yes. I guess they just wanted me out of here. I am the head evil, yes. I dig it. Territorial zombies? Like, hey, man, you're trespassing. Go. Yeah, I was in that guy's house. Oh, the blood bridge. <laughs> Scoop Magruder saying, if you're using a code name, why say the president's daughter? <laughs> hey, are you part of this crew? Shoot it. Crows are bad luck. Yeah. It could Don't be. Do it, Jacob. It could be eviled. All right, you might be an ally. All right, bye bye. <gasps> You're on your own. Ah. <laughs> 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 <Hot. laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Oh my God. See, you could have shot it. Yeah, that's the other thing in these games. It's like. You can only carry what fits in these blocks. Yeah. So sometimes you gotta like Tetris oh. all your items. But you'll get items. more blocks. Yeah, yeah. Expand my inventory. Reload. I like how it stayed a briefcase too, and he's clearly not carrying a briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Ah, save point. Oh, I hate I hate the typewriter thing. <laughs> ah. I mean, you love it because it's Resident Evil, but do yeah. they not make you collect the ribbons to save? Uh, I don't. Do they in the not. remakes? I don't think they I do. I think not. you just save at the typewriters, but maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah, having like a finite amount of saves is like enough to keep uh, me from playing a game at all. I don't, yeah, I don't think in the two and three remakes you had to collect the ribbons. Yeah, that's a, it's a good quality of life the thing to get rid know. of that. I remember learning to type like on typewriters before they switched over yeah, to like yeah. computers. Yeah, yep. like there was typing a, class. Yeah, I had a really? typing class in high school that was yeah. on typewriters. Yeah, I I would always like spend hours on my using my my, my mom's typewriters writing like stories and yeah. stuff. Well, so that's I, how, I thought that I was cool. so cool. I thought I was cool, Jacob. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Did that feel you cool every time? Episode of Murder She Wrote. Yeah. yeah. So. I watched Diagnosis Murder, Columbo <laughs> uh, with my dad, Murder She Wrote with my mom. 
I feel like the, the, the sound of like, what is the thing that you slide over? Just like, what's that called? Is there a name for it? Uh, I mean, I don't know what that's called. Because it's such a cool just sound, just a mechanical sound. We don't it's really fun. Have There's a tactile nature to it. Yeah. That's, feels satisfying. Hi-ya! Ooh. I remember one of the uh, sororities at my college, like they had to, you know, they put you through the ringer in order to join it. And so one of the requirements was you had to write, you had to write a letter to them on a typewriter, but there was only one typewriter on campus and it was like deep in the basement of our, our library. Oh shit. And so if you didn't know, like you were just, you know, shit out of luck because there's just no typewriters in Greensboro. This is like 2005. Um, and so I had to help my girlfriend at the time find the typewriter. That's where I knew how, I knew where it was. Oh, shit. And yeah, you had to write a letter on it. Wow. Too. Oh. Like, I mean, that's kind of a cool, cool like way to do a scavenger hunt thing. Yeah. yeah. Neat. Better than other like sorority hazing and. Uh, oh, I mean, that's ah, still oh no, that still happened. Like that shit right there happens all the time. <laughs> Mood man says it's called a carriage return. Carriage uh, return, the thing, the ka-ching. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. Watching Afternoon Mysteries on TVO and CBC. Yeah, I never got to do that. Ah! Get him. Ooh! Oh, you're not recovered. Wow, fuck. I don't know what curve is going to help with that. No. Oh, shit. That shit's deep in there. He's ugly. Uh, well, I, he was an eye beholder. You think he was better looking before the yeah. zombie yeah, yeah, yeah. infection? He's just ashy. That's all. <laughs> it looks like Jack Nicholson. It does. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going through bullets real fast. Yeah, like a little mousse and some lotion on his face. He's a handsome guy. Man, so far, I'm pretty impressed with how this looks. It looks how's it, awesome. how's it feel to play it? It feels good. I mean, it's got the same like classic janky Resident Evil aiming, but mm. I think that's by design. And it doesn't do any of the like the kind of like auto assistance and aiming. Like you gotta no. really track that thing over. And like all the enemies kind of do this. Can you turn it on? Mm. Is it an option in like accessibility? Um, I'm curious don't know. if they they would have thought. Or are they expecting you to play with mouse and keyboard? Control, optimal, motion sickness. Or maybe just under yeah. control. Yeah, it's control. always cool they have access. There's so many more accessibility yeah. options in games in general these days. Because also is pretty like cool. Yeah, and I think some people it's. Just if you want a more relaxing. Oh, aim assist. Aim assist, yeah. You got snap. You got snap and follow. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, if you just want to be more chill this. and not. Yeah, maybe snap. Snap and follow feels like a cheat. But yeah. Maybe snap is okay. That's what it feels I like. Use it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can change the speed of it, too. That's I mean, cool. I would just watch the cutscenes on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> At that point. <laughs> yeah, I've been snap playing uh, Metroid follow. Prime. Oh. Because that is also just another really, really good remake. Mm -hmm. But. It does have just like, you just track enemies. You just hit the triggers and you lock onto them and just hammer the button until they're dead. Which is just kind of a holdover from the original game, but I don't mind, it's still cool. Hello? Who's calling? What fell? Oh. Hey, who's there? Jazzo. Well, thanks for gifting that membership, Jazzo. That's Jump. right. Lotion is important. Log 42k. You love talking about lotion? I guess I do. Jacob, I found some expired uh, cortisone cream. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I was trying to tap people in the office yesterday oh, no. for uh, their pre prescription cortisone. <laughs> Nobody had any. Oh, look at that. Shoot the chicken. Is that a zombie chicken? Roost, come in. I bet it tastes delicious too. I found the president's daughter. He's like, I'm just a normal chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would love you fly back to DC with an excellent chicken. Like, wait, wait, we're oh talking about code Jacob. names? It was a Resident Evil chicken. He yeah. had his whole chicken life ahead of him. Yeah, it was gonna be dinner. Yeah, it's chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be nuggets soon. It was finally in an area where those zombies didn't care at all about eating chicken. Yeah, the chicken's oh, like, finally, some, I'm not the, the prey. Time. I'll take that. The chicken's got a good the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Look at that Chicken's deep crouch. Good. Although I would try oh, to, you know, lady? rationalize with the zombies. Like, hey, they have brains. Oh, shit. Yeah, what did you think shooting your gun was on? Take a pitchfork. This part feels daunting in the original, but with them high res like this, it, it genuinely feels a little bit more scary. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Ooh, Take nice. that, old lady. Bye. Oh, yeah, no, you're screwed. The salty stick, thank you. Ah! 
Ah! See if you can just run past all of them. Jasmine, I tried. You. There's too many. Just slice them once and keep going. Chickens, run. They're yeah. all yeah. old. Yeah. The chicken's mine. Did you see the chicken? <laughs> Let the chicken walk around. <laughs> Maybe they are upset you shot the chicken. That's free range. Jasmine, I have to join my jazzy brother, Jazzo. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't have the key. You picked up a key, I thought. That was a different key. In my chat lore, Jasmine, Jazzo, and JZ are all related. Oh, oh I love that. <laughs> I just give them the old run fuck, around. Fuck, fuck. That's right. Climb up on top of the building. Next year, we're going to change it to the chicken coop. No <laughs> more dog pounds. It'll be chicken coop. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ooh, it's almost Easter, which means that Cadbury commercial with the lion is making the funny noises. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right now. I love it. And they're not expired. Hell yeah. <laughs> they're not expired. That's it, like, you forget when you see out of season candy in stores and you're like, mm, I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you only, only, I only ignore that for Cadbury. You can't Cadbury Mini Eggs. Mini Eggs. Mini eggs are like the hard shell ones, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, those are great. Yeah, they're like they're like M and M's but way better. Those are so good. Oh my god, there's so <laughs> many. Hershey's makes a like uh, just a solid chocolate, no chocolate Easter egg, and I know it's pretty much oh, no. just a, a giant uh, kisses, but for some reason it just it's a little sweeter, and I love it. I go oh, crazy for them. Freaky. Oh, I forgot about this. If this guy gets you, it's really fucked up. <laughs> Get you. Get you. you won't be able to let him get <laughs> no, me. I'm that's kidding. Like, I'm just kidding. kidding. Defeat him, Jacob. Give him a flower. Oh my god. Craft. You're about to make some weed? You betcha. Wait, why didn't you do red and green? I don't think I had a red one. I have, oh, I do have a red one. Never mind. I used them both already. Yeah, if this guy gets you, it's like a really brutal death scene. <laughs> nice. I, I, you sold me on it. Die. All, All right. right. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> This game's too scary and hard. Is your knife done already? Yeah, it's broken. Oh man. Oh. I mean, at some point, they're going to get tired. I shouldn't have shot that chicken. No, you, you made the right choice. Oh, I got the chainsaw. Oh no. The old lady's got me. She got me cornered. I'll finish you off. Oh, they had the oh, arrow. Knife. I got my knife. Oh. Ah! Ah! Now listen, just go sacrifice this, yourself to that. Yeah, you're gonna to die. The potato exactly. person. No, oh my god, there's so many. There you go, get him. Oh, no. Hey, you old man. Give me that money. That's right, you need that to get out of there. Chicken, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's another chicken there. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Shit. Snap oh the ball, god. it doesn't look so bad right now, does it, Jacob? You mocked it, you. You can snap and follow anytime you want. You want to just get through the scene with the little snap and follow? I turn on snap. It doesn't seem to be working now. Uh, what's the snap it up? Ah! Oh, he's revving up. Oh, Ow, old man. Way too many yeah. I only got two left. Is this the way? <laughs> yes, this is all because of the chicken. Oh, Locked no. Locked up. Oh, man. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is too scary. Chicken's screaming a lot. Oh, oh! Oh! Oh no! There's no shame in putting on the salmon follow, Jacob. Oh, luckily I only have one shot left. I'm gonna use it on this old lady. I missed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Oh no! Oh no! All right, go. Hey, miss. Get a quick death. Oh wait, can't hit what you can. Oh, you got oh, the bell. The, yeah, that's right. You got luck, this. bullshit. I forgot about this. Oh my god! Okay. I, so I forgot about this too. They're Damn drawn it. to it. Oh, this is intentional. Damn it, I want you to die oh. on the first. Now, I wanted to see what the chainsaw guy was going to do. Yeah, I'll be able to wait. Pretty. It ain't pretty. Uh, is that mine now? My axe. <laughs> I'll take this opportunity to check my email. Like Bones asked me to do. You didn't do that? He asked you like 45 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important. We ended up getting along in the end. Say my bell. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> that new Save by the Bell reboot was pretty good, I have to say. Oh, I didn't watch it. I didn't get a chance to watch it. If I was like 13 now, I would watch it. It tackled some good 
subject matter is very open-minded. It has some good humor in it. Mm. Fun characters. Sure. They canceled it, though, after <laughs> two seasons. That's what happens to TV these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I, I think there was like some kind of like study go. done where it, um, it's harder for consumers to get invested in shows because now we're like so conditioned oh. to think they're going to get canceled. I, I could believe that. Like there was a time where like Fox had all my favorite shows, but I knew they were going to get canceled like midway through the second season because oh, yeah. Fox was just on like, hey, you're done because they canceled Family Guy like two times. Oh yeah. What was the last uh, cancellation that like broke your heart? Uh, review on Comedy Central because that show is fucking brilliant, and they just they did one of those things where it's just like they didn't cancel it; they just never made another season. It was like a soft canceling. Think. I think it might have been a uh, dark crystal for me. Oh, oh yes. Holy shit! I think Age yes. Resistance. I like saw that there's no season two, and I was like, Oh, what? That, that was such a bummer. I was so into that show. Me too. So sad. Windmill. I'm actually starting to think that's the thing Comedy Central does because the show I wrote on for Comedy Central, they just, they just didn't make a season two. Yeah. They didn't. They never oh, yeah. canceled it. They just. Yeah. Didn't make a second season. Head for the lake. Easy peasy. You're dying, Jacob. I know. That big gash in your back. See, this is where the James jacket will come in. <laughs> <laughs> Just put on some new skin. totally absorb that. All right, it's got to go this way. Just he's got such good skin, and he really doesn't do much. It, it is his his jeans, his mixed race jeans, and, yeah. and and again, as the chat said, that lotion. That lotion. But that lotion. lotion. But you know, he doesn't even know. Only recently, I got him like a lotion that has SPF in it mm. and told them you should wear this every day. Yeah. I need to get better at putting lotion <gasps> on like my entire body. I feel like have you ever seen that uh it's like the late night infomercials like don't let your neck show your age. Yeah. That's actually literally the title of it. Your I'm neck? like, you know what? I I've noticed that like celebrities beautiful, youthful faces, that neck though. It's like, oh okay, that's the Yeah, that's nobody the and like your chest and like mm -hmm. your hands. Mm -hmm. Um like I think people just don't think about their other extremities and stuff too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I want my neck to look like an elephant's knee somewhere. That's true. It could be stylistic. I'll get my like hair part burnt mm -hmm. too if I don't think about like wearing a hat or um, putting so, like sunscreen, like spray oh, sunscreen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll happen to me. But like, it's like just one like middle spot. Yeah. Because <laughs> it all like comes out from. It's like a flower. Yeah. Now when I go to Mexico, I wear like a little bucket hat type thing just to keep. Keep everything protected because yeah. yeah. my hair burns and I peel. Oh yeah, I do feel like my hair gets shittier in the summer because mm -hmm. I'm oh, no. getting a lot of sun. We're just we're just complicated plants. We are really when it comes down to it. Oh yeah. This reminds me of that debate on uh, you when you were saying like people just aren't taking care of all the extremities. It's like that debate on Twitter where people were like, "Do you wash your legs?" It's like, "Yeah, you should uh, wash your legs." Like, <laughs> "Do you wash your legs?" People were just like, "They don't wash their legs in the out? shower. They just like let the soapy water run down." No, like, no, like, no, gotta, no, 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 no. You gotta wash your legs. Yeah. They're the closest thing to your asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> they share the same article of clothing. Yeah, like I've heard people say that about feet too. It's like I don't. The water just runs oh, over no, my feet. No, I don't need to wash my feet. I'm like, are you crazy? I also feel like like I shave my legs, so I'm like. I'm actively removing like yeah, a layer layers of, of, of skin of and hair. Dead epi <laughs> epidermal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wash everything, folks. Yes. Oh shit. Get in that butthole too. Oh. Yeah, like no kidding. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I always like when like there's that you see it on like weird subreddits and stuff, guys think it's gay to wash their own buttholes. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of ways tell me. I'm like, about that. it's not gay to do things to yourself. No. <laughs> yeah. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, masturbating is gay. Yeah. So clean your assholes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna walk around with itchy, itchy butt. Get in there. You're gonna have swamp ass. Yeah. Ugh. Mm. Disgusting. Bust out them herbs. That's right. And yeah, your navel. Right now. Yeah. Navel's a spot where behind your ears, like. Oh yeah. There's so many places. I mean, have you ever had that cheese smell behind your ear? It'll change your life. Ugh. Oh Ugh. yeah. I like. I get. I really get it behind my ears because, like, you know, wear headphones all yeah, the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. So it's probably worse. So when I started working at Funhouse, that's the first time I had ever experienced that because, like, all the other places I worked at editing, like, we had like bays and stuff. So yeah, blasting off the speakers didn't have to wear headphones. And then when I got here, like, again, headphones on for like eight hours, that sneaky cheese comes quick. 
Sound I'll take a little bit of dis- sweat. I'm sorry. Do you think the sound I could probably, sync. I, could probably, I think I can fix that. I know what the problem is. Oh, is it? Uh, it's because we delayed the. Uh, oh yeah. The, our camera audio. Sorry about that, folks. We had we're. Uh, if you can't tell, we we move and rearrange some things around, and every time we do that, got to make these little micro adjustments. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Yes. Is this where you came from, Jacob? Uh, yeah. I think if you look at the map with like the back button, um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's. I think that's the way it wants us to go. Oh. Pedicures are nice, manicures are nice. I just got my first facial uh, Ooh, really? in December. Yeah, it was nice. Was it painful for you? No, it's not. Well, cause so I, I know the part, the, uh, ooh, what's it called when they have to squeeze the stuff out? Like your, uh, their um, what is that extraction? Called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I didn't need a lot of that, thankfully, but like I've watched videos where like they go to town on people, especially like on the nose, but I didn't need that yep. much. But like it was a, a gentleman's facial. They took care of the beard. They got everything nice. I was glowing. I loved it. Wow. I'll definitely go back whenever I have the uh, the money again. I've definitely yeah. had pore extraction done where it's like been super painful and I, I can't do it. I was expecting it to be painful. Like I was I was braced for it when I felt her pull out the tool and then she just did just a little bit here and like a little bit on my cheek and then that was it. And I was like, oh, okay. Do you want me to save this, Jacob? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and save it. Uh, you want me to yeah, create a the... new save file? I'll create a new save file. Yeah. I did okay. not shave before. I matched up the delay on our cam with the delay in the game. So hopefully that fixes it. Uh, at least if you don't mind playing for a few minutes, I'm going to go re-export that video for Oh, those. I can, or if you want to play, John. Yeah, either one. I turned on this, the snap and I, I like watching uh, you all do this. Yeah. And It'll I, only take me a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'm so uh, traumatized. Oh my god. <laughs> they're they're eating these bullets. I hope that's, oh, it's gunpowder. OK. Can you crouch? What's the crouch on this? Okay. What else? Uh, how else can we educate the uh, the twenty year old, thirty year old males? I told um, you to wash everything. Oh Jesus! Yeah, self care is good. Get massages. Get your feet done. Women appreciate good feet. I'm shooting in and good nails. Oh yeah. Even if you, you work like as a mechanic and stuff, it's still, you know. Trim your nails. Trim your nails, yeah. yeah. Clean out your ears. Nose hair is a big problem. Get that done. That's something they don't tell you about uh, as you get older, just the in, the inconvenient hair in places. Well, don't like men, like as you get older, your like eyebrows, your ear hair gets like just wilder. Yeah. Like, I mean, women, you know, the weird stray hair is cropping up. Like I, I had this hair on my shoulder for the long, just one single like Homer Simpson hair on my shoulder that just popped up and then like the nose hairs just grow crazy, which hey, shout out to Manscaped for sending us stuff because I've never <laughs> been using it a lot. Like the, the nose hairs grows faster than anything else and it's wild. Back acne? Uh, I mean, yeah, take care of it. I get, I get body acne. I used to get really it bad happens, rashes. You know? Like, throughout. yeah, I mean, it just happens. You just get your your composition changes, pH, all that stuff. But awesome. you know, or if you work out and you're like, I can't shower right away. Oh, see, I hated that uh, back at the old office before the pandemic when I had to do like my little bird bath in the bathroom. Even then, it just felt like icky. Yeah. For the rest of the day. Now these aren't zombified. What are? They? Oh, this is the. Oh, it's a mark. But are those or part it's a dream of the? Catcher. Those might be part of that blue thing that I just picked up. I oh, mean, when I play video games, I don't blink enough, and I wear contacts, and my eyes get really dry. Oh. Um. Okay. This, oh, this is where it came from. Okay. I. Ooh, this should be delivered today. I just bought uh, new contacts, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is everyone buys contacts. It's nothing amazing, but I uh, didn't have to go get an appointment to get a whole new prescription. They renewed my one from before the pandemic. Oh, really? Yeah, all the, the virtual, like, hey, just look at this chart for 15 minutes and we'll send you your prescription. Because I don't oh. want to pay $150 for them to not change anything. Yeah. Even though I should care more about my general eye health, but I'm like, I'm good. No, I, I appreciate that. Because sometimes it doesn't change at all. Like, it's yeah. not a big deal. So we're still, okay, we're still in the same time. Hey, Mark Five, more memberships. Yeah, I shower before bed. I actually had to t- tell my brother about that recently. He was like, should I shower before bed? I'm like, yeah, otherwise you're just bringing the day's dirt. That's how, 
Okay, like the people like that like will lie in their bed with their clothes on. I'm like, oh, like just like relax during the day. I'm like, I don't oh, like yeah, that. I can't. I'm, I mean, I, I'm. This is usually how I'm dressed: like basketball shorts, some type of tank. Which I can't figure out which way to go here. Okay, can't go up that way. Okay, go this way. Oh, maybe that's it. I want to get LASIK. It's just, I'm terrified of the idea of a laser being shined into my eye. So actually I'll say I was traumatized from the very beginning um, when LASIK was first kind of introduced because they still had to like slice. They still had to like do like a physical part and then shine the laser. And ever since then, I've just never gotten over the idea of like a thin slice of my eye or being awake and seeing it. My brother just got LASIK and he says it's amazing and awesome. He had to get a little touch up, but I, just, I don't know, knock me unconscious and then do it. Really? The, I think it's like, it's less intense now. Like they used to have to like cut open your eye and peel it back and all this like. But now it is just like a laser. They say it's just yeah. like a pressure and then you're good. And I don't know, I'm just. One of my friends got it recently and she got it done maybe around 3 p.m. And then by the time she went to bed, like mm -hmm. had pain meds, slept for about 13 hours and then woke up the next day with like, you know, 75% mm. perfect vision. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Does everybody know I'm going the right way here? That looks like a... Am I going is back this where, the is wrong this where you way? Came in? Wait, did we... No, we didn't go all the way. We didn't start over there. Like we, we started... Did we at start the, at the farm? Start at the yeah. farm, I want to say. Yeah, so I think okay. you're going the right way. I'm not searching everything, though. Uh -oh. Um, A yearly touch-up with LASIK. Like, I, it took me a long time just to get contacts. And so I, I, I did it right before I moved to LA because I was like, I just want to start fresh and new. Um, and so I feel like I'll have a fuck it moment one day where I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to go this afternoon at lunch, get some lace. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't have, a, well, you can't see for like 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a problem with the procedure. Like it doesn't bother me. Totally fine. Like mm -hmm. I feel like I can handle a lot of like intense medical stuff. But um, uh, for me, it's the fear of it doesn't go correctly. Like I know somebody oh. that got it done and then his eyes couldn't produce tears. For like, um, I had a boss like that. Yeah, he was like, my eyes are drying out like crazy. He had to keep like. Yeah, for about two years he had to carry. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going backwards. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm like, I wasn't paying attention Sorry. to the map when yeah, Jacob don't was to doing me. it. <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm just making up shit. Um, but yeah, that's my my big concern. You know what? For me, it's uh, it's it is the like physically having something done to my eye, but. It's the post part where like you have to take the med the pain meds because mm -hmm. I think I've mentioned this before, but like I can't take pills. I can't swallow them. Oh, I'm, no matter how hard I try, I just can't do it. And so unless if I can't crush it up, then I'm just going to be sitting there in pain, which FYI, if they ever said I overdose on some type of pill medicine, it was a murder and you should all investigate because I don't take any type of pills. But like, I don't want to sit there in pain just because I can't take pills. So I'm worried about that. Like my eyes just hurting. Like, I'm jealous of the people who can just take them dry. That's right. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Oh my God, John, you gotta help me figure out where to go. Okay, there's... So you do need to go towards the farm? Uh, Cause I thought you were heading in the right direction by going, or was the Hunter's Lodge where we were I at? I think the farm was, is the direction it was supposed to be going in. Oh, okay. But, um... Oh, I see. So I thought this was a map of all of us being of being inside this little zombie area, I didn't realize it's the entire map we've traversed so far. That's where I was confused. Yeah, I gotta go back up that way, but I'm not sure. I have no sense of direction. I'm always terrible at this stuff. Um, oh, there's a green arrow. Hope you can give me pills. If James was here, he'd be like, "Yeah, you just gotta go left there." Yeah, and up that he path like you just right hit there. that little button that's there that we've somehow yeah. missed. Like what? So I think I guess this is the different door. I feel like this was locked. Oh no. Okay. Pills for me, it's just the swallowing part. It's not even a mouthfeel. And it's weird because like I eat like a, a goddamn alligator. With death roll and everything. So I don't know what it is. I think it's a it's definitely a mental thing. Um with pills. That's why I'm like, man, if I could just like take a pill and put it in my Chipotle. Easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> what if you just, you gave it, you went to Chipotle and then you gave it to the person preparing your food. Oh, and just said hide it you from said, And you said, don't tell me what it's in. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love that. 
Oh, can I get? It? I don't think this is locked. Yeah. Yeah, I, Do you I hear that's coming from, John? Oh, I... Straight ahead. Oh, oh. this it sounds a cow. Like, no, it's just a cow's ass. Uh. Like, I'm at the point I can't even take gas X pills, which are like the tiniest pills you can possibly get. Which sucks. When they're on gassy days. Oh, my back! Oh, there she is, okay. Yeah, I don't really. Uh, if I'm, oh shit! How do you switch? I don't know how. Was, you... was that where the sound was going? Or oh, you gotta change? Oh, it's broken. Uh, oh shit! I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I have anything? We didn't. Ha oh yeah, we didn't take an axe, huh? I don't think we could, and I, I don't have any bullets. Hmm. Hit him with the cow. That's the only thing we can do. Sounds like it's coming from up. Sounds like it's coming from like up. She's oh. over. She's. I saw her, but I don't have anything to shoot her with. Shit. Wait, we're shooting the the zombie or? Yeah, there was that woman, but um. Ooh, ooh, that's just that. At least when's the last time you went to Vegas? I'm going tomorrow, and I'm I'm so excited. Uh, I went last April. Really? Yeah, but oh yeah, there she. Is. How can we trick Rooster Teeth into funding a fun house goes to Vegas? Some type of content acquisition. It would be a lot thing. of fun. Yeah, just for a day. And then <laughs> the other, oh, wow. Gosh, They're throwing bombs at me. <laughs> baby powder at you. Did you go for something, or did you, are you going for something specific? Yeah, two of my uh, best friends. Their uh, birthdays is this weekend, so we're going to celebrate. I wish it was warmer, though, because I would love to get uh, into a day club and hit a pool, but alas, it's going to be cold. Oh yeah. I love some Vegas though. But the best Vegas is when you like hang out at the pool all day. Oh yeah. Go to the buffet, gamble. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then hit the clubs. It must yeah. be pants like Ryan did. <laughs> did he do that? He tried to. Like he oh. told me about his whole day of, of trying to go party and I laughed so much because I'm like, Ryan, you go to Vegas so much. You've had to have known. Because he tried to get into a day club with a chess uh, board and some chicken wings. And I was like, I wouldn't let you in my pool with a chess board and chicken wings. Like. Are you gonna play it up? It's a club. And then I guess that night, uh, some friends he had met up with, like randomly decided to go to the club. He was like, "Yeah, let's go." And then they told him at the door he couldn't get in because he had sweatpants on. And I'm like, "Ryan, you knew that." <laughs> Wait, I have the ammo. Can you put? You can. How do I re? How do I? Hang on. Because it's I for the handgun, correct? Yeah, but how do I reload? Do I, do I just need do to reload? Do you need to unclip it and then load it? I'm making things up. Oh, I feel like there's something I'm missing. Maybe chat will know. I like Howdy. early summer Vegas, uh, Critter Jason, where it's like just under 90. Now, if you go to Vegas in, in late July, August, it's gross. Just that heat that just turns your turns you into a catcher's mitt, dries your skin out. But that May, that May weather, it's great. I don't know how to reload. Reload, aim down sight, and reload like a normal game. So, I guess, yeah, I guess if you press all the buttons. Oh, there, there we okay, go. Okay, there, all right, now there let's put a bullet with, in yes, that brain. Okay. Let's go. We're unstoppable now. Need that thing. Yeah, there you go. And that barrel. Knees are still. Gotta figure out which way to go. Oh, I feel like she's gonna be around here somewhere. Oh, what's going on with that dress? Yeah, something's twitching over there. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the breeze. Nice okay. Glitch. Oh, I hear something behind here. Yep. Yellow herbs. Sativa. <laughs> sativa. I wish Jacob would come back. See, this is why this is why I'm, I'm making you do it because I would feel the exact oh, same way. This, okay, okay. Right. Oh. oh, someone's gonna die there. I just know it. It just looks like a mechanism for death. Let's figure out what's going. Okay, okay, okay. All right, in here. Let's check it all out. Let's turn that thing on. 
I guess we get more bullets. Just some resources, nondescript resources. <laughs> Um, oh, I can't leave all in here. We're, we're delaying the inevitable something attacks us. Yeah, or not being able to figure out who there. All this money that we, what are we going to spend it on? <laughs> in this apocalyptic time. Yeah, I know. That's why I like that clip of Ryan talking about. Oh, oh, something. I feel something here. God damn. Where's that coming oh, from? Oh, is it going to come up the ladder? Oh, shit. Oh, something's moving yeah, here. Yeah, you got to do something there. What do I do? I would, I would just pull that lever. Uh, I don't have any of the things. Fix everything myself. So that, okay. And oh. Then, oh, oh. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh shit! Oh, jeez, it is just oh mind whopping. Oh my god! Get out! Get it! Get out! You got it! You got it! You no, got it! No! You got it! Bam! 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 Woo! Oh my Double spin. god. You got it. No. Oh, oh, good duck. Oh my god. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Hang on. Evade! Square. Evade! Square. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, how do I. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Die! I feel like the uh, the snap and follow. Oh, stop! Ooh. Oh my god! Yeah, this, this POV is, is killing. Oh, I'm moving so slow. And double spin! Boom! I'm running, I mean, you've running shot out of bullets. You've shot him in his plane so many times at this point. Right, right. There you go. Ah, right. oh, damn it! Where's this health bar? Yeah, you got you. Yeah, that's it. Where Jacob? You are dead. Oh, is this Jacob now? Just in time, baby! What's going on here? Oh, we died, that's all. Oh, what? I just, well, it's kind of like a little mini uh, boss guy. Mini and boss guy? Didn't really know what to do. I, been, yep. I feel like I haven't been picking tall. up the stuff that we need. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, I like, I like this a lot. The least playing and me just sitting? No. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. Is this how it feels? And I know she kept waiting for me to take the controller and be like, look, this is how you do it. And I was like, nope. Because <laughs> my anxiety is high too. Yeah. The blue. God damn. Oh, oh, oh. So he's on to me. But but yeah, Jacob, I don't know how to get that stuff. Shoot like, it. Or do you have to jump down and be... I'd, I'd say try. Yeah. Try shooting the blue thing. I haven't been shooting them. Oh, oh shit. Nice. That's all right. oh, damn. So this guy's so going to pop up. Is he already in here? I hear him moaning and groaning. Yeah, that's him. He said the audio delay is worse. Um, it's worse? How did that happen when you walked in? He's here. There he is. Who? You take, wow, good dodges. Um, here, I'll, I'll uh, try to fix the audio delay. Or you, I mean, you can beat them. You can play oh. this guy if you want, Jacob. No, no, no. You got it handled. Oh, I think when that arrow is up, you can run up and like do something. Oh, that's good. Man. I haven't successfully done it yet, so I might Ooh. be completely wrong. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, yeah, I got it. I had been doing three before. All right, I'm gonna go fix the audience. So run up and then, oh, melee him. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh shit. Oh, oh man. Damn, the back of the head. The audio delay is working. Here, I'll try it one time. You might, okay, okay. Yeah. So to, um, well, let me know if you if you have any questions about it. I can't answer them. Hmm. <laughs> um. Blue medallion. Okay, so I think I brought it back to what it was before. Oh, I have to go over here. Okay, what's that? And then the reload was aiming and then X. Yeah. Um, and huh. yeah, his his thing is for the evade. You press B. It'll, it prompts you. Into vault. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So everything's A. Uh, gunpowder. That's gonna come in handy. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh. Oh. Hooked <gasps> up. Uh oh. Is that him? 
No! Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, my Maybe God. it would be easier to fight him in here when you not have like. Oh, nice, oh, nice, nice. It's <laughs> just an op more open room. Oh, you can run up to him. Yeah, you, oh, Jacob said you can shit. run. When that arrow pops up, you can run up and then it'll prompt you A to kick him. B. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Damn. Oh, that's weird because like, it didn't prompt you there to evade him. Oh, oh no. It's, come on, man. Oh. Oh. oh, maybe you do want to fight him up there. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Get off me. I got business to take care of. I like how they got turned around like, oh, no, nope, not me. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is definitely not maybe optimal what with all these guys doing? here. Uh, all right, it's Jacob's time. Damn it! Okay, okay let's uh, see if the audio. Please. Don't worry, everybody. The real gamer is coming. I think you got it, Josh. So, no. I think you got Let me it. try one more. I, I can try one more. All right. We're kind of we're kind of we're kind of picking it up. I need you to do this so I can test the audio. <laughs> I, need, I need to hear it. So definitely the key is stay up there. Yeah, I think so. Cause I definitely do not want to deal with uh, less people. But it is more annoying because you have less space in here. Mm -hmm. Did I shoot that blue thing? Is it still going? Oh, no, it's there again. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there's no snap and fall. Oh. But I missed all the other ones. That's all good. One's better than none. Nope, we have not played. Re well, I haven't played any of the Resident Evils. This is my first time ever playing one. That's very exciting. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the slow turnaround and the slow uh, shooting times. It goes against my uh, spray and pray. Oh, I didn't realize that one was right there. See any other ones from here? While we wait for him. <laughs> Some people are saying the audio has been fine. Maybe the problem is on their end, so I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely delayed, though. I'm nailing it down right now. He's nailing it. I'm nailing it. Just keep doing stuff that makes noise. Yep. No, don't worry. We're going to keep screaming. I just want him to show up. Oh, 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 yep. oh. So he, he comes through there, and then I guess up, and then across. God damn. So now you just got to wait for him to come through that door. OK. Yeah, the audio sounds good. It's just a delay. We'll see okay, I heard him bust through the door. I heard him too. Is that rocket? I feel like he's just gonna pop up. He is. He's gonna come up those stairs. But the game's just gonna. There he is! You're right! Oh! <laughs> the thing is, like, the. The whole. Beep. How many times is he gonna spin? Sheesh. I guess to guess to. Okay, there you go. Now you can go for melee. Up, and then melee. Hey. Oh, that? Just that? That's it. <laughs> All that? All that for a drop of blood. Oh, shit. Nope. Get out of the way. Oh, oh it's got to be a way to, like... But, yeah, and it's just it's frustrating because it's not, like, prompting me to melee him. Or to, to evade him. There he goes. Evade. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes it will tell you to evade. Sometimes it won't. Do you want to try again, though? Sure. We can't let him get the best of us. Oh, we wait for Jacob. Do some, uh, do some tech work over here. He's just watching the stream. What? No. <laughs> Sean or someone, Ecliptic Evader says the couch audio is not delayed for me, just the game. Yeah, just the game. Is it because of the? Someone tell John about the quick turn. Oh, do you press in the left stick for a quick turn? You want to try that? Oh. Oh. Is, it, is this? That's gotta be it, yeah. Did not know that. All right, come on after me. Come on after me. And you know what? You're not gonna pop up on me. Right, you gotta those, walk through here. Got those videos for bones, I'll be in here forever after that. As he, as he <laughs> gets ready to walk through there. You gotta walk through here as he gets ready to walk through there. I'm so paranoid that that's what's gonna happen. It's definitely hard. There it is. Ha! Nice. Oh, Bitch. oh yeah. Go go go! Yeah! Bitch. Oh! Shoot oh, <laughs> him again! Oh no! I think he's swinging at you no matter what. Nice, nice, nice. 
Oh. Oh no. X. Oh damn it! I went there. Of course, I would run into the wall. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Ah! If, if you can get enough distance from him, you could maybe take an urban heal. That's right, that oh, bitch! But there, there are more coming, John. They're behind you. Keep running. Run forward. Run forward. They're behind you. They're all behind you. Are they? Oh shit. Yeah. I don't know how to get out of this. They're probably down there too. I'll be honest with you. I know there's probably something I should be doing healing wise. Yeah, the herbs in your inventory. I don't so know how like to get to that. If you hit, uh, the, try the back button. Uh, this one. Okay, oh. and then and then R uh, R one over to your inventory, your briefcase. Yeah, and then um, let's see what you can combine. Try combining that red herb with. Oh, yellow increases your maximum health. Uh, you could, t you could take that. Confirm, craft. Uh, and then with the green. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you can do that. Sure. And then I just now what? Yeah, you just take it. I think. Yeah, you do. Yes. All right. Cool. Okay. Whew. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, there's a blue thing too. Are they still chasing me? Uh, I don't, don't see me. Oh, oh. That was just a chicken. Oh, was that? There oh. they are. Ah, <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, you can check the map with that back button too, I think. Oh, oh. Shit, no. No, no, don't do that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And I'm not sure which way you're supposed to go. I don't either. Oh, I hear him. There he is. Mm. Do I want to waste bullets on you? Yes. Wait, is it multiple? No, it's just you. Oh, yeah! Get him, sheep! <laughs> <laughs> Get him, sheep! Um, Have you been here before? Yeah, we peeked in here, but I don't think we can get through there. Oh, man. oh, oh, there's a gun. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, yeah, pitch oh. And the door open! <laughs> oh, I'm just being an ass and getting my ass kicked now. You got the guy though. John got charging pitchforked. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, there's a lot oh, of them. Fuck. Oh, damn it. I saw you killed the cow. Oh, I'm getting killed now. Oh no. Oh, I did all that for nothing. That's what I get for being arrogant. To, do you want to check the map? That that back button by your left thumb. Also, I think the Y button goes straight to your inventory. Oh, that's good to know. Gabby, I didn't get a chance to tell you, but I pulled my notes in. <laughs> Sorry. Protect me, cow. <laughs> Protect me, cow. You have a cow friend? Yeah, I do now. Oh, is he throwing shit at me? Oh, wait, never mind. This is not working out the way I wanted it to. Almost nailed down the audio. We're just waiting to hand this controller back over to. Almost there, John. I'm just running. You're doing great. Yeah, I'm just running in a circle at this you point. That scary oh. guy. Ooh, what was that? Hang on, ammo. Hey, when do you do it? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Mm, nah, this wasn't smart. Oh, oh, nice. Nice, I mean. Because you want to throw knives at me and shit. Let me get this gunpowder, and when I get me a, a cannon, you're in trouble. You're in trouble! Couple River City. Alright, there we go. Alright, now I can talk that shit. Uh, big shot. Can I... No? Right. He's just switching. Oh, come on, man. All right, I didn't think this through everybody. These farm animals are very unfazed. I need a gun. I know this is very this is stressful to play. I don't have a. Can I kick him? Yeah, I can kick you. Let's find out. 
Gotta be in the melee. Nope, can't yeah. melee you at all. Alright. Whatever. You don't have that. Doesn't have a mouth to bite me. What am where, I worried about? Where on the map does it say? Alright. You, go. you can't jump over that because you can't even see it. Let's see. Oh, not that. Uh, it's, it's the left button by your thumb. The, uh, this, this one with the two squares on it. Oh. Um, yeah. Gotcha. So, okay. So, we, yeah, you gotta go up. Okay. To that gate that we went to, right? I think so, but some stuff's locked. And then, oh, there, and it shows on the map where all those blue targets are. I feel like there's some we definitely passed by. Uh, we should try. Oh yeah, Servant says try and repair the knife. But we don't have any thing right now, I think. Looks like it can't looks like it can be repaired, but with what? With what? What can I craft with this? Handgun ammo! Ooh! I need that! Mm-hmm. You got the raw materials. Hey. He reload now. I think someone's behind you. Yeah. Don't make me throw this grenade at you. Also, but you can reload, yeah. But I, I put so many bullets. And you already. Okay, there we go. Finally, give up. Give up what you got. All right. Oh, money. I need this right now. You need to find the merchant to repair the knife. The Resident Evil 4 has got a good merchant. Oh, oh there's one of those. Just hang out. Oh, from the other side, probably, through yeah. that window. I was going to do it the difficult way. <laughs> <laughs> He's curving the bullet. Yeah. Oh, shit. There's a shotgun in one of the houses back in the village. Uh, oh, damn, I got all these Blue medallion. Blue medallion. Um, okay, now the question is... I want to say there's definitely a blue medallion somewhere here, right? Can we shoot one up here? Yeah, I think. Oh, is it is... hanging on the corner of it? We... Oh, oh this is what we need for the puzzle upstairs. Oh, uh, okay. So can you take that? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. Let's just go do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's... That's probably what we need to do. Yeah. To get let's out just here. completely ignore everything else. And let's just do that. And through this window. And then there was a blue medallion there. Yeah. I think you should play every resident. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe we start from the top. <laughs> Take me and then, was there one down over here? Or was that the one we were looking at before? That's the one we were looking at before. Because that was. Oh, that, oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. nice. Good eye. Oh. All right. Three out of five. And now. Now to put this in and then summon a lot of zombies. Yep. <laughs> All right, bring it. I got three bullets, and I'm taking all of you out. Let's go. Okay. All right. That's cool. our way out. Yeah. All right. I'm done. You know what? I'm just gonna jump this way. Oh. oh okay. Game. Game outsmarted me. Oh, you gotta go down the ladder in here. Yeah. Game outsmarted me. There's gonna be something waiting down here. Oh, for there me. might be bullets oh. in that, oh. that yeah, crate. Gah. Oh, yeah. Always be breaking boxes. Yep. Rather than evil. All right. Just break everything. Honestly. Just go ahead. And... <laughs> All right. So. You want to come with me, Piggy? Come on. Let's go, Garfield. <laughs> You're on your own, Piggy. Garfield the cat. Garfield the cat. Yep. Now it's Garfield the pig. And just a smooth and... exit out of here. Yep. All right. Game over. Good. We beat it. This is set in West Virginia. Hit him with my knees of steel. Oh. <laughs> Roddy kicks everything. Uh, Could use the butt of his gun. No. <laughs> like, nope. Hold. Oh. Am I pushing? Oh, now we're puzzling. Okay. Just to keep the other zombies from getting it. Oh, no, I go down you this push way? push it out of the way, yeah. Wait, is there anything here, though? Anything else? I'm assuming I don't want to open that. Well, you check the map. See where. What was it? This. Yeah. Oh, you might want to go in there. Yeah, you're probably right. Turn to the left there too. <laughs> ah. Oh, he, oh, thank God, it's go, locked. Go, go up to the left. Oh no, it's locked. We gotta go this way. No, 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 no. to the left of the doors. <laughs> oh no! The there we go. Sprint. There we go. Uh -oh. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Let's go see what's over here. Can you get up here this way? It showed a path. Oh, yes. oh yeah, yeah. It's okay. all this poison ivy and shit. 
resources. So build more bullets. Up here. Just nondescript resources. Yeah. I feel like they're going to send a shit ton of everything at me. Okay, cool. Going back down. Okay. Oh, man. I think that's just... Okay, Nothing, cool. Yeah. Can't yell. I was like, man, don't send me down there. A little bit of blood to guide the way. Yep. Tell me I'm going in the right direction. Looks good to me. More barrels and tyranny. More empathy. <laughs> Gunpowder. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, to I hear something. Load this damn. Sawing? Oh! Oh, oh shit. It's got to be other people. So Come did on. they just block off the they, path they, here? I guess they do. But maybe you'll be able to get through that gate now. Oh, oh, oh he's behind. Oh, oh, God. Nice. Ha, sucker. Nice. All that for nothing. So you can't get through here? They're going to try harder than that to stop me. Yep, they stopped me. <laughs> Wait. Oh, all right. What idiots? They didn't put a thing there. Oh, oh. shit! <laughs> all right, all right. Who threw that? Who threw that? Oh, keep going, oh. Keep going. Oh. Oh. Who threw she that at me? It. Who the fuck threw that at me? Speak up! <laughs> Our audio is really quiet, so I feel like it's hard to hear people. <laughs> oh, someone else behind you, maybe. Yeah, then we got a remote here. If you want to crank it up a little, or maybe somewhere. It. I don't know where it went. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Oh, you, you could use take some green herb or something to yeah, heal. Yeah. Please. Do you want? One on the table? Oh. Uh, was it this one? Like oh, shit. Well, I guess I did that right. I don't know. No, no, yeah, that's good. That's okay. Fine. All right, I think that's good. I think I got the delay nailed down. There. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that one? Uh, mm -hmm. that's the one for the fans. Oh. There's a bigger remote we can turn up the TV with. Probably uh, somewhere. Uh, that's okay. All right, here you go. Here you go, Jacob. I set you up for success. Oh no, you're doing great. Uh, Look at this. Let us go right over here. Here's the problem. My arrogance is going to be my downfall. No, you're great. You're gaming. Are they still behind me? Speak up! You're going to throw more rocks at you. Yeah. Someone said, little feral boy in the trees threw a firecracker at John. Oh, there you go. No more. I see you. You know what? Two could play this game. Yeah, throw a grenade at him. There you go. Two could play this game. That's right. Shot your eye. Get back up. <laughs> oh, shit. Get back up. Nope. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yep. That's very cartoonish. Look at this. Look at all the bullets you have. And we'll watch out for the trip. Oh, 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 he's throwing. All right, you can do this. Too. Oh. Oh, there's oh, so many. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. They thought of everything. Damn it. Ooh. Get away from me. Your cool jacket. Next. That's right. Speak like me. Oh, he's in the kneecap. The thing. In the kneecap. <laughs> you have bullets. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Ha! Oh, Watch out! Suckers. <laughs> suckers. 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 <laughs> I like Roger knows. Have you heard of poor choices in the kitchen? Take that. <laughs> <laughs> I think they need to reshingle that roof. Oh, 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 oh you know, no. Time out. Got a craft. <laughs> <laughs> time out. Let's, uh, let's get some resources together. John, you got the good gamer energy right now. Edge of the couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. forward. Yeah. <laughs> what am I crafting? Hang, hang on. Out. Always yeah, hang yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> else. Nothing else. Should I do some more? I probably should. I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out. Oh, yeah. That, that's the thing. You can never have. I mean, technically, you can't have too much ammo in this game. Oh, I don't think we have gunpowder. Bradley Clark. Lead. All right, here we go. We're going Thank back. Thank you for joining the channel. Oh, 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 no. oh, they're throwing shit at you. Well, guess what? I'm throwing bullets back, <laughs> but much faster than you. Oh my god. Oh, you got four bullets left. Three bullets left. <laughs> yeah, take out the kneecaps. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, he dropped some good Come stuff. on! Hopefully one of these is ammo, because you need uh -oh. it. Or there's 
What Start color is the up. ammo, Jacob? Is it red? Yeah, I think it's red. red. There's some over there. Ah, There's some if you go through the... Ah, get away from me. Yeah, run, run, run through that little gate there, and you'll get to the ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's behind. Oh, the tripwire is gone. Yeah, to your oh, left ammo. and right. There. Is yeah. our uh, knife still busted? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, he turns his gun sideways, you. see? Yeah, can't hit what you oh. can't. Oh, oh, no! What? Ew, oh. he had a light come out of his little neck hole. I thought somebody hit me from. Oh, well, right, I, I gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go? But this is fun. All right, we thanks, play more of this. <laughs> we should. You wanna tag somebody in, send them over? Uh, I think Ryan. Oh, yeah, I should have. I should have threw the grenade in there when they were all <laughs> grouped up. I didn't think about it. I was in the moment. Oh yeah. I was in the, that would that would definitely solve my problem. Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil got lots of high stress moments that really make you forget about what you need to do. I'm sweating and shit. Look at this guy up here. One little, one they move their heads too much. <coughs> nice. Oh, is he dead? I think he died. Yeah. Nope. Oh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you thought you got me, huh? Someone clip. Right, someone needs to clip me uh, getting an axe thrown in the back of my fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> Those idiots! Ah! <laughs> I really felt like who did that? Speak up! <laughs> they pranked you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let them all gather in there. Oh, ooh! Stand right next to it. Mm. Come on out! I hear you all yelling. Oh, hey! <laughs> Like headshots are great, but it's so hard to. Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. Ooh. Oh, give me your monies. Oh shit. Get out of here, tree man. Oh, to your left. Oh shit. Fork man. And nope, nope, nope. man. Good. Nice. Good. Great. Grenade. Oh. Here, I got this. I like this hat though. Try not, hat. To, try not to shoot through the hat. We can use that. Oh, look at that hatchet stuck in the wall there. I do love the idea that you've put in like six or seven bullets in them and then like a knee just yeah. takes them out. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, shit. Got a sickle. So slow. Haha, <laughs> miss me. That's right. Oh. <laughs> getting money while we're getting attacked. Avoid zombies. Get money. Mine. I'll turn it back on. Nope. Or that. Or that. Turn it back on. So you can trip it off. Woohoo! Shoot it. Nope. Oh! oh you can. You can. <laughs> nice. Didn't need didn't even leave a, a scar on him. Hi-yuck! Right, this game makes me want some Snickers. <laughs> we got some in the kitchen. I know stress eating. Give me a break already. Yes, please. Woo! Is that everyone? We good? We done? The aiming me. is weird. It's like you have to like <coughs> just hold it and it'll slowly start going on their head. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Hey. Can I like Ooh. disable this or something? I think so. Try it, shoot it. <laughs> hey, there okay, go. there you go. I, I, I just wanted you to waste the bullet, but that works. Oh, Raja knows. Raja knows. Gifting 10 memberships. <laughs> 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 Probably gonna be a pair of Japanese bushes. Yeah, it's gotta be. Well, All right, I'm gonna, grab, I'm gonna grab some water and Snickers. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, you guys, you wanna sit on the couch? Yeah. So you're not <laughs> kneeling on a hard wooden <laughs> platform. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna break his con uh, concentration. Yeah, we used to have two couches, but we've oh, changed our ways. Woo! What happened, uh, what happened to the other couch? Oh, we just thought it felt cozier with just the one. Huh? Could kind of hone in on the people mm -hmm, hanging mm -hmm. out on stream a little better. Hey, let me hey! Somebody have a gun? Who did that? Who shot me? These games are too stressful. <laughs> hey! I like that, I, that I came in here because so I was like, I'm going to take a nice little break. Yeah. <laughs> See what they're playing. They are playing a nice, relaxing <laughs> video game. I'm going to go inside this house. I forgot you can do that. Huh. All right. There guys, firecrackers. And the Do you play any of these? I know. Uh, nope. They I'm are. Not. I mean, I haven't played all of them, but they are classics. I mean, I, so far I am enjoying it. It does feel like a game that I would yeah. I would like. Yeah, this is a remake of the fourth one, but it's like a really, really nice, pretty, solid remake. Mm-hmm. Jesus! 
Oh, bear trap! Oh. I almost jumped into it. Where is this person? Oh, they're up there. Old lady. Do we ever get to see bears? In bears? This? Yeah. There's bear traps everywhere. Is it just that they're really just people oh. traps? Um, I think it's just the traps, yeah. believe it or not. So I just found out you can shoot the dynamite out of their hands, nice. which is extremely cool. These goddamn traps are everywhere. Can you trigger the traps by shooting them? Yes. Okay. But the ammo is but so you, sparse. Yeah. Shit. And also, if you can lure someone into them. John, I yeah. shot dynamite in someone's hand before they Ooh. threw it. That's very wily coyote. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's probably a lot of people oh, that don't know who I am. I and and uh, who just said it? Goose. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I tell am, them what you do, Gabs. I'm the editor for the new channel, All Good No Worries, a woman-led content. Spot. It's Ow. cool. It's great. Yeah. You better and, uh, spit that Brandon off the dome. Episode came out today. Yeah. Of How hard could it be? Yeah. So by Lindsay. We've got one more show that's going to come out next weekend. Yeah. And not, not next weekend, next week. I'm thinking about the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, next oh. next Thursday is Cozy Couch with uh, BK and Kai. Right. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, oh, God. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, but that'll, that'll oh, round out our first month of content. All the shows that are going to be on our channel for the next few months. Woo. This is you solo editing, right? I am, yeah. Uh, Cozy Couch is in the hands of someone else right now because uh, there it's a lot. There's a lot going on. Yeah. And they're great, and I love the support. Um, so I appreciate that. But, yeah, I'm on uh, Let's Blend, Please Be Nice to Me, and How Hard Could It Be? And then Always Open, the podcast uh, video is, like, it's a mm. line cut that comes from when they're filming. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So there might be some minor things here and there, but it's pretty low touch. Yeah. I love line cuts. Well, they've been great. <sighs> they, yeah. Um, <laughs> line cuts. <laughs> they're very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got 24 bullets. Nice. Oh, you are rich. That nerd big hype for the editors. Yeah. yeah. True. Thank you. Got to shout them out all the time. Woo Post team. Best team. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh. There we go. I'm gonna explore a little more. Ha. Oh. Now what's this? A typewriter? So in, is this like a God of War where you can just like destroy anything in your path? Or does it have to be specific barrels? Uh, it's always just like yellow streaked containers. Okay, because one of my favorite things in video games is just wandering around smashing things. Yeah, well <laughs> Even most in God of War, you like, I mean, I guess it's sort of like that. You just yeah. punch your way into everything. Yeah, but even like the other like, barrels and stuff that don't have markings like in God of War you can still sometimes smash things yeah, just to smash them. Stuff. Yeah. I would smash everything in yeah. God of War. Yep. <laughs> you know how money we have. Ha! Hand grenade. Gonna use one of those eventually. Can we quick swap to it? We can. Oh yeah, let's get them all together for a group photo. Yeah. Group grenade. <laughs> Next time we see a big pile, I'll toss one in there. Oh, got nothing. Lots of locks, but no keys. Oh! <laughs> so I close. Right into that. All right, let's just go in here. Hey! You're making that a ruckus. Just me eating Snickers? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang it. I need, like, lock picks or something. Can't remember if that's a thing in this game. Hello. Oh, Ooh, another grenade. grenade just hanging Dang. out, though. I gotta use these. <gasps> Babe, have you seen my grenade? I think it's in the buffet. <laughs> Hopefully nobody uh, picks it up. <laughs> oh, someone's making some chemicals and meth. cool things. Yeah, meth. <laughs> That's what's going on here. What kind of herbs we got right You're now? You're getting a lot of ammo and a couple of grenades. That means there's a boss coming up, oh, yeah. says Paul. Oh, hmm. no. Well, that's not going to matter because we're going to use all the grenades before we get to that boss. It's true. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Let's all blow right. that meth lab up. <laughs> Save the youth. Mix some mm -hmm. herbs. Look at that. Always on the lookout for resources mm -hmm. in these games. What's that noise? That noise, probably nothing. Oh, just a zombie fixing their car. Yeah. Hello. Excuse put, me. Put no, put it. Sneak up behind and put the grenade right under the butt. You gotta get. You gotta land it, Jacob. Otherwise, you gotta start over. Right there. Right there. Perfect! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! That's Ouch. a huge... <laughs> That's a grenade. Talk about some bad gas. Grenade well spent. <laughs> yep. Oh, that felt good. 
<laughs> not at all a waste. I loved it, yeah. No, we're not gonna need that grenade at all. Now somebody's gonna throw a grenade at our ass <laughs> while we're doing this. <laughs> oh good, a nice dirty basement. <laughs> I love Age of Empire. Um, oh, Age of Empires. Huh? Yeah, I used to, me and my buddies would play it, like it would be like five of us, whatever, and then put computer on hard, absolutely get destroyed in like the first five minutes of the game. We barely got a tree chop down and they're already sending like catapults towards us. Fun. <laughs> Fun and frustrating. Oh, hello. Steal your face. Oh, thank you, steal your face. Right, right, right. Seemed like you really wanted to talk. How Dang it, we're too good you. looking. Now, uh, <laughs> say, uh, you gotta smoke. I'm keeping them in that sack. You no, know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just some timey then, huh? Oh, look at his cool jacket. Yeah, that's a James jacket. Oh, there. Not this guy. Oop, there's the boss. Who are you? Oh my god. Right Put a grenade in his butt. Oh shit, we're dead. I don't know. I don't know if you got anything for that, Jacob. Got grenades. Oh no! Oh, he's gonna uh -oh. inject you with Heron. Gonna give me my medicine. Lab. <gasps> it was a little crab in it. Oh, he gave you crabs? No. No. Not again. <laughs> There's nowhere to get cured. Chapter end. Typewriter. Same game. I know, it was The Undertaker. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty cool. I was excited to see the other day. I was waiting for uh hey, where's the music? Yeah, Paul Paul Bear to come out. <laughs> oh yes. Alright, we've beaten the chapter. Mm -mm -mm. Sacrificial lamb. Oh no. You will receive our most sacred, sacred body. Why am I so itchy? It begins now. <laughs> No, oh, you can get out of this. Somebody took my cool jacket off. Oh man, now you're cold. Fuck. Hey, stop it. Oh. <laughs> hey, Yankee. Got your name? Leon. Good thing they right. left my gun and all my utility Maybe belt seven. in my pockets and Guess stuff. Yeah. Hey, Look really at that jacket. Hey, stop it. Good one. You move, I move. I personally think the deep V should come back. Oh yeah. I think so? Like that little 70s porn mm -hmm. star kind of look? Do you need a hairy chest to no. display? No, no, you don't at all. Okay, good, just check it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some deep V shirts. Yeah. Like, like it's just a shirt yeah. with an actual like V printed on it. Yeah. This is the V that goes from the top to the bottom. And it just says deep V on the middle. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> the, the V is the words yeah, deep it's like V. The yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's a good, that'll be some Funhouse merch right there. Yep. Yes. Funhouse but. deep V. It's all the way down to the belly button. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and on the back it's just that it could go deeper. Hanging with you, not health Oh! Who let him here? Oh, cool. Oh, this is like, nice. nice. All right, give him a yank. Teamwork yeah. makes the dream work. Give him a yank, lads. Nice. Did he break his neck? I think so. Yeah. Liam got those strong legs. Yeah. And it had the key on it. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I would not leave the responsibilities. And he's like, nope. Later, amigo. Oh, well, shucks. I'm going to have to well, go I mean, all the way over there now. Yeah. Walk there, past the body. And then else about to bust through. Well, we got all that Manscaped stuff. Somebody, they left it outside gear. my office. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> Here's the thing. You got you to stimulate the hair. Oh, I so guess you, so. You yeah. just got to just shave the skin. It's got to pretend it's there. Yeah, yeah. And eventually it's going to grow. Yeah, it's got to encourage it a little bit. Go to Roost. <laughs> Locate a baby eagle. That's moving Sounds target says deep V printed shirt church. and an actual right. deep cut for members. Hell yeah. Mm. I, heard it from this I like it. Said the double entendre. There's something fishy about him. Uh, yeah, I forgot you could talk to her. Well, yeah, she hasn't moved. <laughs> this whole time, she would have been hearing me go, ah! Yeah, she was just, just <laughs> screaming. <laughs> I'm probably due for and then laughing and talking shit to dead zombies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Hold on one sec. I gotta kick this box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, I thought that was coming from the controller. I was like, oh. yeah. That's PlayStation where it actually comes out of the controller. That's my reminder that my transfer should be done. Nice, Lovely. nice. Oh, I'm out of here. All right, thanks, Gabs. Thanks Thank you. Of course. Oh, I did the same thing. 
Yeah. I did the same thing. <laughs> One day we will all learn. Yep. It's just Jacob and I now with some Snickers ASMR. Yeah. Talking shit to zombies. If Ryan's in his office, you can get him in here Putting, too. Putting uh, grenades and butts. Legit Barnacle Boy. Hey, we're uh, we're putting loads in. Oh yeah, we're Leon, and we put loads yeah. in. <laughs> That's his tagline. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a load. My I've name's Leon, and I've got a load to put. <laughs> oh shit, stealth kill. Oh wow, stealth kills. Okay. Mm. That's right. I stabbed my own hand. Yeah. Through face. <laughs> Let's have a peek. Oof. My gun here. Oh, look who it is. I'm ready to murder. Ryan Haley. I'm ready to murder. Good. I just did some murder. You want to play? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to say yes. <laughs> I would love to. Help. I've already made uh, multiple people play right now. Like sorry. David, five I'm memberships. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> David Cossert. I was trying to buy us all Ween tickets. Sorry, I'm late. Oh no, it's all good. I saw your link that you sent. Do you want to come? Uh, yeah. When's that show? It's July 28th. July Elise 28th. is talking about maybe coming too. All right. Ah, look at that. John. I don't know anything about Ween. It's even better, dude. It's the only way to even learn. better. That's the best way to go see mm -hmm. Ween movie. I'll, th I'll think about it. Ooh. All right. I'm going to Vegas tomorrow and I was telling my buddy about your uh, sweatpants story and I was like, we gotta go try it. Because <laughs> we, me and him have been to Marquee so many times, I was just like, let's just see. Wait, it ain't gonna happen. You're talking about getting into a club with sweatpants. I, I yeah. did. I did not get kicked. I, I got kicked out. Yeah, I did you not get kicked out. Well, you just, whatever. I didn't just... get. I didn't get let in. And the bouncer's a Funhouse fan, and it didn't even work. <laughs> he couldn't even hook it up. Oh wow! You could pull strings with the fan. I didn't pull any strings. He literally was like, I can't. Oh. I can't. No, Ryan. I'm a fan, that. but I can't get <laughs> you in like that. One. Oh yeah, because they'll get fired on the spot. They saw if they saw you in there with sweatpants on, they would immediately be. But here's my thing: yeah, Trojan horse situation. Yeah. Put some jeans on top. See your sweatpants. Go to the bathroom. Pop them out. Yeah, but then then I'm just, it's just a countdown to when I get kicked out. You know. Yeah, but you got in though. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. That's true. You can stay in the bathroom the whole time. <laughs> just tell your friends to bring you drinks. <laughs> sweatpants in general, or just your sweatpants? Sweatpants. No in sweatpants. In, yeah. No sweatpants. sweatpants. In like there are like. Couture sweatpants. There are style, but yeah. those are more like joggers. That's what I was saying. But even then, you probably like if you had a table, they probably might let it slide. I, since you I, didn't. But I don't think so. I mean, how do they know these aren't Gucci? Because it doesn't say it. <laughs> I can. I'll, I'll show. I'll show them the tab. <laughs> so one thing I learned when I first it's moved to LA Sharpie. because I was getting turned away from a lot of places. Because I'm coming from the south where we still were wearing like a lot of baggy stuff. They say you can get away with that stuff if you wear it confidently. And I'm sure you were wearing confidently, but Vegas is a little more strict. But um, <laughs> Ryan didn't help that he had like his hands were full of shit. Because yeah, that's not how Ryan rolled. Like, his wallet, his phone, some a hot dog. Yeah, yeah. cheeseburgers uh, <laughs> covered in stains. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the stains was, was was probably it. But I see, I get you because you want to be comfortable. In yeah, the club. I would, but, well, I specifically wanted to be comfortable at Ween earlier that night while yeah. I was on uh, you didn't have psychedelic to to substances. Like you, know. I said, you know, I, I've been to Marquee a ton of times. I used to have to wear slacks there to get in. Is it even worth it? What, yes. I'm pro oh. it's a lot of fun. You should have said no. It's it's okay. No, no. <laughs> every every that's no, why. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say this: Marquee is not what it used to be because they got sued for ten million dollars because the bouncer got rough with uh, somebody who I guess. Decided to sue and was Jesus. successful at it. Wow. Like it was like it was like he, like the person got body slammed and it was like excessive force and so they got sued and they went from being a marquee club to just kind of like they have their 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 turn up days. Like I'm going this weekend to marquee. To marquee? And yeah, I'm gonna take a picture and send it to you. Who's that? <laughs> Please, yes. Yeah, and I'm gonna Photoshop sweats on me. Since yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say I'm gonna, I'm gonna Photoshop sweats on yeah. everyone there. Vegas is is pretty strict. Like it's no hats, it's no big logos sometimes, no gang anything. Which like this Jordans, there's, there's a bunch of shit. I was well, about now, now you say that you see no sneakers. Uh, yeah. But most of the time they don't let you in with sneakers. Like, which is crazy because what's the difference between like Jordans and like say like some shoes from Aldo? Like. They, they look kind of cool, but for whatever reason, they just think if you got some Jordans on, you're going to be there to start a fight. 
I mean, here's the thing though, is that n not all Vegas is that strict. It's just like these- It's just the nightclubs. The lame, like like no, 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 super hip lame. party places, you know? Like you can go to lounges would like I, that. Would I go through? Thank you. Not Marquis, well, you might, Marquis. You look pretty Cause, fly. Cause you, you, you are like, also are like, you have a sick. bigger stature, so I think they understand like, hey, guys gotta wear what you gotta wear. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it's, it's weird and it's Stature all. stature is very nice way of saying, you, you know, you're big <laughs> No. <laughs> They're like, like, you bounce? <laughs> you bounce? You got your guard card? Um, it, it's, a, it, it's all to the discretion of the person, but I always just play it safe and just wear like the nicest things I can. Cause I, I've been turned away enough times in my twenties to just know now, like just, just dress up, and if it's just like like Friday night, I'm bar hopping. I can wear whatever I want. Yeah, bar hopping is what I, what I, where I want to be, you know, Man, with but, my people. But bar hop, I thought you were saying with my penis, because uh, you, you did this and look down. Like like you could do that, but you know you know how the bars are in Vegas. Like it's open. There is no like way to get in or the whole point. place is a bar. It's like you can bring yeah. you can bring other bars as drinks into the other bars. Yeah, it's great. But if you I want love to get it. into the nightclub. <laughs> I never want to do that unless I'm with other people who like it. Yeah. You know, you, and gotta, you just gotta get bottle service, man. And they'll let you, oh, they'll let you do whatever. Just gotta get bottle, bottle service. You said that's yeah. so easy. Like it's not like three, got, four hundred, five hundred dollars. Well, actually you know? it's more than that, but yeah. But you get in, you get Fuck a place that. to sit. You get a bottle to yourself. You get attention from women. Who there are, are bottles attention. outside the club for yeah, a, 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 a tenth it. of the price. You can't hold it. <laughs> you can't hold it in the club while uh, 50 Cent's playing. Take it cryptic. The difference. Thanks for becoming a member. I so hey. don't care about clubs that much. I guess that uh, that's the difference between me and you, John, yeah. is that you know, you're a club guy. I'm not a club guy. You, you know, know, I'm only a club guy in Vegas. Out here really in LA, I'm more of a, uh, I like day parties and stuff like that. I haven't done like any, any club clubbing mm -hmm. really per se yeah you're not so missing fucking anything <laughs> you, the women jacob i know you just got engaged but the women <laughs> oh dang hey, the uh, women pro, the time. pro tip yeah outside of the club okay there are women there are women outside the, the club but the ones outside inside. of all clubs the not ones inside the yes oh, you shit. do not have to just go in the club to meet women you can go uh, to other places on earth but all the right. ones inside though they're okay. inside for a reason i'm gonna tell tara about my new honeymoon plan <laughs> 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 babe i have to go to the club yeah they just i just john just told me about the women in the clubs <laughs> we gotta go <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm older now, so I do enjoy bars more than clubs, but like, I like a club for just like the ultimate release. Just like fucking go hard and ultimate party. Ultimate release? Yeah. Not No, not like and they're just doing that. No, <laughs> like, I, I, I wasn't referring like, like, to that. Is anything more like, ultimate than yeah. an <laughs> orgasm? <laughs> right? Um, no, I mean, I, I like a good club, especially like if it's a good DJ, a good act, a good VIP. Like, I usually only do clubs now if I'm doing bottle service. And like, split between my friends is like $200 a person. But like, between all the drinks I would have to pay for in the club to get drunk, I'd probably end up spending that anyways and getting in. But don't you still have to spend that one? Like, even at, like that one bottle is gonna last your party a, a, the whole night? No, we, we stretch it out. We wore mm. that shit down. We make, we make it happen. Yeah. And plus, I usually go in already like heavily buzzed, so I don't uh -huh. need to drink that much. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I like it, but I, I do enjoy the bar hopping, which is what I'll be doing tomorrow. So if Hell I yeah. see any Funhouse fans in Vegas, I'll say what's up. Do you have like go to destinations in Vegas? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. As I far as like bars and clubs, or just like in the, uh, the warmer times, I'll go to Dre's or Daylight okay. because they play more hip hop, which is what I want to hear. Um, I can only do so much EDM before I fucking lose my mind. <laughs> um, but then the clubs, I'm, I'm kind of open to it. It's just like, who's playing, who's the DJ, and what's the line look like outside? Ooh. By that, I mean like, are there like beautiful women in line? Yeah, I'm gonna get in that one then. But there's a bar hopping night, because I can't club back-to-back -back nights anymore. Can't do it. Get out of here, lady. Ha. I did go to one club the next night. I learned my lesson. I, I did not have sweats on, and then it, oh, ended, good. Nice. it ended up uh, being DJ Polly D from Jersey Shore. Oh yeah, he, he DJs oh, okay. there a lot. Was that at Dre's, or was that at? Uh... I want to say it was Dre's. Yeah, because yeah, he, he DJs there in the summertime for the parties. Yeah, it was cool. It was the most club club I've ever been to. Yeah, where it was just like. Everyone was all over, the, like like standing on stuff and doing, and then yeah. they, they, they were doing the confetti cannons, yep. and they're playing like, like every single song was like, oh yeah, this is like a, mm -hmm. this is a club anthem. Yep, you know. I said clubbing with the right people is what it is. If you're with people who don't like the club, you're never going to enjoy it. But if you're, you're with people who can like give you that good experience and stuff, you'd be like, oh my god, this is amazing. So it depends on who you go with. Well, okay, I agree with that. But really, then what you're saying is, is 
if you have a bunch of fun friends, then you're gonna have a good time with some. With uh, you're gonna have yeah, a lot of fun. You'd have a fun. It's like yeah, no shit. Yeah, yeah, right. We, do, we don't have to. But so, all yeah. spend five hundred dollars at the bottles. Yeah, but it's just lounge. that fun drunken moment, especially trying to piece together the night. I mean, that's both yeah. Vegas, anyways. Right, right, right. I wish I could. You got it. it. Oh shit! You got it right there. Right there. Oh, that was a shot. Still is nice. Nice little warning shot. Sweet. This is gonna be just like the chickens. Now yeah. they're all gonna be pissed off at you. I wish I could like forever preserve that. Uh, oh my that. God. Ah! What did he do to you? He wasn't. Even, he's not even a zombie. I or, do. Oh, yeah, or okay. is he? He's got worms in him. Okay. See, right. The one thing I do like about the Vegas bars is I, I'm a drunken conversationalist, so I do enjoy just starting starting conversations with strangers and just see how far it goes. Uh -huh. So like the Vegas bars are perfect for that. Oh yeah, and, and specifically because. Everyone is so like in that mindset of like, oh, I'm here to I'm, have yeah, fun and party and, I, and let's just meet people, let's yeah. hang out. Yeah, you know, there's not very many uh, places like that. I feel like I, I wish I could like somehow go back and see that story on Alana's Instagram where we're just hanging out at this bar in Vegas, and then she's like pointing the camera at me, and then she turns it. There's John Holland. Yeah, and it's just you walking through the crowd, just totally random. I was drunk as shit. Like an absolute coincidence that we just ran into you in Vegas. Like I saw, I think I saw your hair first. Yeah. Then I saw, who else was there? Was Bruce? Yeah, Bruce, Bruce was, was there. We were there for his birthday. And then I saw Alana, who which was right next to you. I don't know how I like scanned to you, to Bruce, and then to Alana, but yeah. yeah. I was drunk as shit, and I was like, man, I hope everyone else is just as drunk as me. Yeah. I was, because <laughs> we were yeah we were bar hopping that night. That little that little area oh. is actually like a lot of fun. I don't know what it's called. I just know Fremont Street. No, no, this is on the strip. It's like this like open oh, open shit. bar. That you can just walk in and out. I mean they'll just card you. That's about it. But like they'll have like a stage and an act on it and stuff. But okay, have a good time there. Interesting. Bye. See, fun houses needs to go to Vegas. They coordinated. I would love that. Event. That'd be so fun. Uh, we also all need to go to the Ween concert in July. True. Is that in Vegas? No, it's here. It's at the Greek. All right, come get me, twins. All right? How did both y'all get bit? Yeah. <laughs> they bit oh. each other. Cool, I can't throw it in here. Um, what was this, uh, I also oh. like dive bars. I have a soft spot for dive bars. It's the most interesting people you'll ever people watch. Amen. Shit. Oh you know, no, you're fucked. Oh, I have a Vegas dive bar movie for you to watch. Okay. Um. So the, the, I want to say it's called like uh, Broken Noses and or oh, Black shit. Eyes and Broken Noses. That sounds like a dive bar. Black Eyes and Broken yeah. Noses. That's awesome. Uh. uh and and it, it actually kind of made me feel really stupid because I watched this whole movie and it, it presents itself. It says it's a documentary about the last night of a di of a famous dive bar in Las Vegas. Okay. Where it's like you got all the locals all hanging out, mm -hmm. you know, talking, and there's just the camera crew there following all the the people talking. Mm -hmm. So so I'm like, oh, that's an interesting. Shit. Oh, that was cool. That's an interesting way to make a movie, you know? Yeah. yeah. And all these people were really unique and cool and they didn't seem like actors, you know, mm -hmm. at all. And then uh, uh, they're all like a big happy family, but they're getting in fights too and it's cool. But then I, but then at literally the end of the movie, I'm like, wow, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder how much of that was, you know, was real versus, was like, real versus did they contrive any of it, mm -hmm. you know? And then I figure out the whole thing was contrived oh, and that oh, the bar oh. isn't even real. Like, Damn. like they literally just they, what they did was they they went out and found kind of bar flies and random people mm. that kind of random crazy people from different cities, and then they just put them all and said, "All right, you guys are all friends together like at a, a bar, farm. but we're just gonna sit here and you guys, you know, they'll kind of give each other." That they weren't giving them scripts, but it was like, "You're this kind of character. You're this uh, kind of guy. Okay. You're this kind of guy. I'm into that. Uh, Go for it." I'm into that. But I was, oh uh, yeah, bloody nose, empty pockets. That's what it was. I'm about to check that out. Yeah, I'm like, it made me feel so stupid though, because I <laughs> totally, I thought way more of it was real, you know. The, um, oh! I'll say this, and this is this is definitely a generalization about Vegas, but like, once you go off the strip, between the strip and Fremont Street, any bar just feels like a really sad place. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Like, because like, you know people are on the strip, like, they're drunk as shit, but like, hey, hey, you just had a rough week and you're let loose in Vegas. If you're at, like, a bar that's, like, off the strip and in between the strip and Fremont, like, this is your daily stop. And life uh -huh. is probably beating you down. And 
that's the dive bars. <laughs> right, yeah. And, and and the fact that you're like oh. so close yet so far from yeah. the real uh, area mecca of degeneracy. Yeah. You know. Mecca of degeneracy. <laughs> I, was, I, I have a hard time leaving the strip in Vegas just because, like, that's where the party is and I get FOMO. Yeah. It is fun. I, I, I love oh. Vegas so much. It's the best city. Not the best, but top five it's for up me. There. Yeah, top it's five it's for definitely me. up there. Top five for me. I, I, I want to go back. Uh, the summer, while it's it's hot, I just, you know, money. Yeah, I feel you. It is a struggle. Like every month, I get hit with some stupid thing that I'm like, "Fuck!" There goes four hundred dollars. Right. Oh, ow! I just got all my money back from the person in Vegas who stole my wallet. Oh, that's great. Oh, good. I'm happy about that. I was thinking about going to Vegas with my Ridge wallet, just because like people can't come up next to me and like steal the uh, information off my thing. Yeah. But it's just such an urban wallet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hear that? Put it. Ryan, what's your opinion of Nashville? You know, I know Memphis and Ow. Memphians and Nashvilleans are supposed to hate each other, but Nashville's pretty sick. I like it. Got it's hot cool. Oh. Yeah, hot chicken. You know the hot chicken thing is like a relatively new phenomenon? Mm -hmm. I didn't there's, realize that. There's a grenade for you. Oh, oh, beautiful. God. That was awesome. Um, I knew it was a, a recent uh, phenomenon because like almost overnight, thousands of them just popped up. Yeah, the fuck? I do. It's just a spicy chicken. Oh. It's just a saucy spicy chicken. Yeah. Sandwich. I mean, I love, I, I love hot chicken, and I know 100% that I'm gonna have a bad night. Yep. <laughs> As a result, I had a hot chicken sandwich uh, last week, in fact, because I just I needed something, and it was one not too far from me. But um, yeah, absolutely burned my insides. Up. Yeah. Works. Loved it. It's so, so good. I have it for dinner, it'll be like 4 a.m., and I'll wake up just like, oh, oh god, oh no. <laughs> No, but I love going to Broadway. That is a cool row of places. Broadway. It's like basically, you know, 6th Street or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but every single one of them has a, a up and coming uh, country band playing in the door or playing in the window. Oh, okay. Basically. That's cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a video coming out. It's on, yeah, it'll be out tomorrow where you do a lot of judging and rating of cities. Oh, is that high high five? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, somebody point out the bad boys are here. The bad oh, boys yeah, are on a, the couch. Yeah. That's right. Here to commit bad some boys. felonies. Yep. Make sure you watch that kingpin video. I know if you it. haven't, especially if you want to be frustrated <laughs> at me not getting any pro uh, progress. I don't done. think that's your fault. Well, so here's the thing. There's very clear instructions from the NPC that woman that comes up to yeah. us. And because we were playing with no sound, because we're trying to avoid the echo, we missed all of that. Oh. Because what we were supposed to do is, because she says you better wait for them to watch that game, and then if you wait a few seconds, you hear the sound of a baseball game happening. And that's what's supposed to distract oh. those guards. But I was just saying fuck it and going just straight up to them every time. I mean, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool little system if we what Bad boys don't listen. That's, that's the problem. That's true, that's true. We what? Exactly. <laughs> Whatever you were saying, it's probably stupid. Because <laughs> I'm a bad boy. It's true. Oh! Ben, Wait, ben also followed up and said that he thinks Nashville's like the Vegas of the South. Actually, that would be Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Pigeon Forge? Pigeon Forge, Hillbilly Las Vegas. Oh, that's ha awesome. Home of Dolly Parton's Dollywood. And. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go down the strip and it's like, we got bumper <laughs> cars, haunted houses, wax museums. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, that's fun. Ow. I thought he was going to hit you with his nub, but clearly oh, I broke my knife him, again. another hand. Fuck the nub. <laughs> I'm going to die. Hold on. Got to mix my herbs. Ryan, you got any big 420 plans? Speaking of herbs. Yeah, that's... um uh, uh uh, fish is in town at the Hollywood Bowl that weekend, dude. Of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to say, uh, I want to say on on actual 420, a band is playing before them, on, uh, and I think it's Hundred Gex. Are you familiar 100 with One Hundred Gex? Is that like Gex for the N or like? I don't think Gex so. Gex for the N64. No, it'll make your eardrums bleed though. Okay. In a good way, That's hopefully. A good thing. But they just released their second album. Their first album is great. It's called A Thousand Gex. Okay. And their second album is, yeah, I like it even better. It's called 10,000 Gex. Wow, that's a lot Came of Came out last week. I'm a oh, fan. Oh, brand new. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm a fan. Hey, well, it's been it's it's been a long time coming. What's up, lady? Bam! She only looks good. Oh, now she looks good. Have some of it. That was so neat. Just like scissor kicking old women. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> So oh, that's also um, 420 is a stream day. It is. Oh, it is. I actually may participate in uh, 420. Uh, I might actually as well. Watch this. Because this is a Thursday oh, too. You, just, <laughs> <laughs> you exploded that old grandma. <laughs> that no no. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Throw axes at oh, me. Oh shit. Kid Omega says. Drop that kicker. You, Kid Omega says Jacob would love 100 gex. Drop kicker. Oh damn. I'll just do 100 gex. Yeah. Oh my! That old lady's mean. 100 gex is not. Where did fucking come from? <laughs> That's her husband. Chad. Oh, oh no! Oh, you're oh, fucked. Okay, yeah, you're fucked. I, I think you're fucked. I don't know how to yeah, play. Yeah. I'll run past. They're old. They're yeah. old and slow. Yeah. Oh, um, that's too many. Suckers. 100 Gex is not opening for fish. They're just It's just that fish starts that Friday, the 21st of April, day after 420, and I think that 100 Gex is on 420 is what I was oh, saying. Oh, okay. I just restocked all my gummies, so. But I, I guess maybe I'm wrong about that. Hold on. Some, a, someone someone boy says that, that they're in Chicago. A flower that boy. Be a flower boy. After work, of course. Let me see yeah. here. When was 420 last year? Why didn't I do anything for it? It, it usually is on April 20th. Well, it's always on <laughs> April 20th. But I'm saying, what usually. day? <laughs> what day was it on? Um, I don't know. We were definitely recording that day because we had a we did a stream last. Or no, we did a video or a stream. We did a stream last year, right? No, I don't think I don't think we did. No. We did, the only stream we did last year, no, that wasn't a drunken stream. That wasn't a high stream either. Because remember y'all were building Legos or something? If that happened, I wasn't there. Ryan, I remember, because remember we also shot the typing video that day and you were yelling about it being 420. Oh yeah, was that last week, last year? I, I mean? think that was last year. Yeah, we got really high, or some people got really high. <laughs> yeah, certain individuals got really high. And then we had the typing thing. That, I think you're right. I think that was last year because two years ago would have been COVID. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Would it have been? I think 2021. No. 20, well, 2021, we weren't. We definitely weren't in, in April? the office like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it took us a minute to kind of get back into the swing of things. Yeah. I was wrong about. Shit. Oh. oh. Hunter Gex is not the day before, or it's not on 420. I was told it, it's. It, I. But Iggy Pop is. Oh, that's wow. cool. That'll be sick. So I'm gonna get, it's gonna be such a good week. Oh god, he's got worms in his oh, head. Oh shit. Oh, not bad. It's a little warm. We got a little ta warm. Tax day on Tuesday. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Blondie, Iggy Pop, Fish, and Bo is Afraid. The Bo movie. Bo is Afraid the movie. I'm yeah. excited for that. There's a lot of the same woman. I need different models. <laughs> oh shit. I almost fell into that bear trap after kicking that old. Dude, guy. someone just said, what if they added 320 gex? Whoa. Oh, mm. That'd be 420 gex. I didn't think about that. They should think about that. Dude. Well, that's a good idea. Okay. So, Roger knows. Is anyone going to WonderCon this weekend? Where is that at? It, uh, it's in Anaheim. Oh, no, no. I'm going to be in Vegas, but. Oh, uh, okay. Are you going to see the latest Batman news? I don't know what I'm going for. I just was like, uh, got a free ticket. So well, you said there's a bunch of Munchkin stuff, right? There is Munchkin stuff, so I will be at the Munchkin booth, but mm -hmm. the whole time. Chad, if you're going to WonderCon, sound off. Yep, Ryan will be there. I think Dan's going too, right? Uh huh. And Rick, I think. Oh, very cool. What's over here? Nothing. Nothing. Just a box. What's the exchange rate on Gex to Shroot Bucks? What does that mean? <laughs> Is that an office reference? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, someone said earlier that they were <coughs> getting into Ween. Fuck yeah, love it. Let me know how that goes for you. I feel like that's about to happen to me, getting into Ween. You better get. I I I uh, I'm trying to buy us all. So I listened to a bunch of Viagra Boys upon your recommendation. Uh huh. And that went, Viagra that boys, went well. Huh? They're yeah. so good. <laughs> They're quite good. They go so hard. Do they? If you believe it. And you should believe it. I don't have a reason to doubt it. Oh, this looks cool. A nice altar. No, I would not be poolside this weekend. This will be cold in Vegas. Well, what Vegas would consider cold, but it ain't going to be pooly. Does it get snowy in Vegas? Is it that kind of desert? I think just recently they had flurries there, but no, it's not that type of, like, okay. it's just, it's either really hot or really cold. Okay, okay. But not, like, precipitation. Nah, nah, nah. They get snow. very little precipitation. Destroy the wind-up dolls. Do not forgive those aristocrats. Green herb. Hell yeah. A little early. Hey! 
So one neck. Oh, I can't wait for my back to feel better. <laughs> Are you charging your phone on the PC right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. Anything in here? Now nah, just some poop water. Poop water. Captain Fantasy. Oh no! You gotta sneak up on him. Remember, you gotta do your stealth mode. Or, or, put, he always saw you. Shit. So he said, put a grenade under his nuts. Oh, oh okay. no, the whole gang's here. Everybody's there. Alright, we gotta, well, if you die, you gotta sneak up on him. He's in the thing, look, he's in the bear trap. Ha! Sucker. Did I get him? Yep. I got him. Smithereens. No, he's still good. He's Shit. still good. He's still good. I wonder if I can parry his chainsaw. I feel like he's good. <laughs> what does parry mean? Like you. Deflect it with your uh, blade. Yeah. Like thrust parry. Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh you did it. You did, I it. did it. Ooh, my knife. Ah. My job. Shoot the chainsaw, somebody said. Oh. Oh. Ow. Oh, oh, wait, come on, bitch. lady. You ripped you out of the way. Ah. Get away from me, you bitch. <laughs> oh. Shit! No, throw the gun at him. Shit! Reload faster. Oh, it looks like there's a boob noose on his on his chainsaw. Oh, you oh. asshole! No, I missed. Oh, oh, these old people keep ruining everything. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, you ass! He just punched you. There Zombies don't punch. <laughs> Ooh. This knife is tough. I want to it go really is. It's a kitchen fire. knife, yeah. too. <laughs> it's a butter knife. Yeah, surprise. Eat these bullets. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Kicked you in the ass. Jacob, do you think I could beat you with this game? Yeah, you want to play it? How do I beat you? <laughs> um, just got to make it further than him. I think so. <laughs> you just kind of beat the game to beat me. Oh, okay. <laughs> we played each other in a tournament style recording just yesterday. What was that again? Uh, you were a clown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was yesterday, man. That was unfortunate. It's been a, it's been a week. Yeah. Yeah. This day has been a week. It's been a busy week. Oh, fuck, my knife's gone. <laughs> These yeah. darn boomers in this game. I think he's dead. Oh, yeah. oh. At least I had to step out for some business. Yeah, the crime crew's here, though. Hell yeah. That's right, crime crew. We love crimes and being naughty. Yeah, yeah we're bad. We're not doing our taxes <laughs> in April, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, we're doing them. Um, That's right. I want to file an extension and then do it even yeah. after the extension. We jaywalk all over this fucking town. Hell yeah. That. I That's do right. That. Uh huh. We uh -huh. rip mattresses off of mattresses. Yep. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh! The tags. Right the tags. Look at the fucking chin. Oh my god. I'm fine though. Look, I'm fine. Oh, you really, you literally ate the dynamite. <laughs> I ran all right up to it. I couldn't slow down fast enough. I froze. Ugh. Matt Kedrowski asks, Ryan, does Ween have any songs with saxophone on it other than your party? Good question. Oh, I don't think so. Sax songs? I will say I have a, a slight personal connection to that song or that saxophone part because my old roommate used to play on it, Angelo Moore. Look him up. Oh. Nice guy. Was he playing sax? He's, he plays sax. He's the best saxophone player in the business. That rocks. From Fishbone. I like some good sax in music. Oh, here's a barrel. Yeah, you that, that shit. There's bear traps everywhere. I know, right? Who's laying them down? I know, not a bear in sight. Crime crew Crime for life. Crime for life. Love that. Oh. I, <laughs> I hope we don't get life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. We're gonna have to lam it for a while after this stream. Hell yeah. That's what they say, right? In Sopranos? Yeah. <laughs> when they're about to get indicted. We gotta lam it. Hey. Ooh, this is nice. Right, look at that. Oh! Sorry, sir. Oh, this is no, oh, well. Hey. I'm gonna wash his hands or anything. Oh, he's getting his poop pants on me. We need a pink eye. Oh, no. You're gonna get a rash in your neck and everything. Get back in there, sir. Matt, they played that on night three this last run. It was towards the end of the set, before the encore. So it's a, it's a good one. Oh, new knife. Nice. 
Oh, he really was shitting. Oh, yeah, wow. He was on oh. the pooper. Ew. Oh, you yeah. see it. Look at that. Oh, God. God Jesus. Filled with poop. Reach into that. <laughs> put a grenade in there. Reach in there. Right. Yeah. Tra- drop your gun <laughs> in there accidentally. Oh, well, yeah. Put that in there. Oh, yeah. Put that in there and see the poop explosion. Yeah. Now. I got t- my arc is too big. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Here, here. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, come oh, yeah. on. Wait. Automatic doors. Do it again. <laughs> Okay. We gotta go back. Well, we need to go back and get a grenade first. I, I re- okay, okay. Yeah, good. All right. And in there right now. Okay. Oh, 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 no, no, no. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We need the poop explosion. Will it actually poop explode? No. What? Oh, apparently not. We can't even that get sucks. the flashbang in there. <laughs> Someone is showing. Oh, oh, who have we here? <gasps> At last, flesh of our flesh, blood of our blood. Give thanks and rejoice. Is anyone going to go see John Wick this weekend? That's this weekend? I am going to see it this Monday weekend. night. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I'm jelly. I uh, actually haven't seen the third one yet. So we're going to watch, watch the third one this weekend. You haven't seen nice. the best John Wick movie Is yet? Is that the best one? In my opinion. All right. I'll go. Mine oh, goes, I like all of them. I goes, mine goes three, one, two. I and, really and, and I like them. the second one too. It's just that it's, I yeah. like the others better. I like yeah. the second one a lot. But that scene where they're like, um, they're walking through like the train station and shooting at each other. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's like so hard to still like watch and be like, this might be too stupid. Dude, I love the, it. well, get ready for the third one, man. Yeah. Because... Actually, I need to embrace it. I need to embrace That's it. That's how, yeah. yeah. If you're thinking it's supposed to like, it's, it's just, just how silly <gasps> Fast and Furious is, like John Wick goes in that same vein. That's great. I mean, I, I I was fine with it. It didn't like make me like, what? This is so dumb. Yeah, because like, like the world doesn't even acknowledge like people are just like there's assassins and shit around them. They just go about their day. So yeah, yeah. Like to to me, John Wick three is basically a comedy. <laughs> like seriously, I see that, yeah. And and and, and I th- and I really think that it, it it's kind of a. Uh, uh, not so subtly trying to tell us that, like you know, it begins. This is not a real big spoiler, but okay. it, it, it opens with a it. shot of a Buster Keaton movie, mm-hmm. right? You know, okay. silent comedy film, and uh, uh, and it kind of has that vibe throughout the whole thing. It's just like very physical comedy, mm-hmm. yeah. and I loved it. I, we thought about seeing it. Me and my buddy thought about seeing it in Vegas, and I was like, we're gonna be way too wasted to yeah. like appreciate it and really understand it. So yeah, Monday evening, can't wait. I love John Wick. I was skeptical of the very first one because I was like, this premise is so dumb. And then I realized it needed to be dumb because there's so much other shit, like yeah. the lore of the assassin world that's so much more important. Yeah, and the but action scene is just so yeah. good. It's simple. It's good fights. Dead wife gave him a puppy. They killed a puppy. Gotta go get you back. They picked mm-hmm. a cute puppy. Brought me out of retirement, you know? But then he gets a big, thick puppy at the mm-hmm. end. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I actually, I agree with you that it's... When you're in Vegas, you're like, oh, well, I'm not going to go see a movie. I can yeah, see movies no. anywhere. But I actually have seen a fair amount of movies in Vegas really? because I every once in a while will end up being there for like longer than I really need to. You mm-hmm. know, I'm like, I don't need to just be wandering around Vegas gambling anymore. Okay. I need ah. to literally have uh, put me in front of something that can spend two or three hours of this day. I see that. <laughs> and so I I've gone that. seen several movies on like that last day in Vegas because I'm like, what can I do to pass time to uh, <laughs> keep me out of the crab stable? <laughs> I, I guess because I just get drunk so much that I just can't see myself sitting through the movies without either having to piss a lot, mm-hmm. being too drunk and just like fidgety, or j- going to sleep. Drink, like in Vegas, yeah. I don't stop moving. If I sit yeah. down, it's a wrap. Drinking in movies never really mixes with me. Yeah, it, it, it seems a lot of people seem to love getting drunk and watching movies, but I do wine. I just but, immediately, yeah, I start getting yeah. tired and sleepy. And yeah, I, like, I don't want to be like, I'll drink, but I won't get drunk watching a movie. If I'm drinking, I have to be oh, moving shit. and talking and doing things. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the yeah. second if I'm just sitting there getting drunk, you know, it's like well, yeah. T minus an hour till I'm just like dozing. And also in Vegas, I'm a, I'm a sun up till sun up drinker. Like I start, oh, yeah, I start first thing in the morning. And I just keep going. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, and then I immediately regret it at the end of the weekend. I'll get high and watch a movie. Yeah. Well, now that goes together just right. Very well. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Music Muse. This game comes out, I think, in like six hours. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they were saying. Oh, look at this. The only problem with getting high and watching a movie is that uh, you'll inevitably not remember it all. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Where, like, oh, man, I love that movie. Uh, and then someone's quizzing me about it later. I'm like, yeah. Um, I can't really tell you, you why. Be, if it's something that I'm like really interested in watching, then maybe I won't. Nice. 
I get too fixated on certain things and I'll either start laughing or like I, I'm not following what's happening because I'm like way hyper focused on this one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the uh first time I got like actually really high, I was watching the Halo Paramount show. The finale, because I'm cool, like, cool. the only way I'm gonna get through the finale of this show is if I get high, uh-huh. and I did, and like, it was a very interesting experience because I, I couldn't stop laughing oh, at one point. Shit! shit. Nice, nice. Nothing, scenario. nothing. Whoa! I thought I was the only one who got the kick like that. I watched um, Birdemic Three High, and it oh, just made it so much more funnier. I should have done that. That movie was like you know, insufferably boring. That one was the, the worst one. Which one? Bird Demic Bird 3. Demic. Because oh. it, the whole thing is just, it's just super fucking preachy. And yeah. somehow he got worse over the, like, the course of the last 10 years of making movies. Uh, it but was it's just, it was just really bad. Like every scene just ended with damn global warming. Yeah. It's, and it just it's fucking preachy. It's all the parts of the first one, but it's zero fun. Yeah. Like, there's barely even any birds in it. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's like always the same formula. It's them, yeah. like, I don't know. They just were fucking walking around everywhere. There's so much walking. <laughs> so like, much walking in just silence. I don't know how it took me until that movie to realize, like, oh, these they're all just this, the first movie over and over again. Yeah, because they have the sex scene, and then the birds show up, and then they're just shooting in the air. They just get worse and worse. Yeah. So... But I'm a fan of like bad movies like that, like Troll 2 and stuff. So yeah, I had Troll to watch 2's it. Troll 2 is a classic. I had to watch it. I feel like Birdemic, they he just like didn't care anymore. Also with Birdemic, like or the third Birdemic, it's so clear that he had like two different cameras. Yeah, yeah. He the didn't color was know off. how to change the settings on. The sound was all. Yeah, because there'd be one where like it'd be super dark and super quiet. Because it's like they were just using like just the microphone on the camera or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also didn't change like the f-stop or anything. <laughs> and then this other camera that would like, it would mostly look fine, I guess. Yeah. But it's like clearly they didn't know how to use these two cameras. There's that really uncomfortable scene during the protests. It's like four oh, and a yeah. half minutes of the same l- clip looped over and over again of like these people protesting oh at God. Santa Monica, not Santa Monica Pier, some, some, pier, some pier in California. Yeah. And it's just like six people with signs and this little girl and they just, it goes on for like a really long time. And they're just standing there, just watching them. Nothing's happening, it's not advancing the story. It's just this moment. And then they do this thing where they, they walk and they'll just stop somewhere and just look. And then they'll just start walking again, <laughs> saying nothing. <laughs> saying nothing. Yeah. Half the movie is just walking. <laughs> I, was, I was on my phone a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that one was, I had to watch it just because I watched the first two, but that yeah. one was, it, it, it was too bad. What was oh, he at this he? point? You know, like, like I, I, I like aware. all those. Right. It's too aware. Like, I like all those old, or the the really shitty movies, but I, once they become self-aware and they're trying to make shitty movies, yeah. I check out usually, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's what it's this like, third one was. That's like what happened with um, uh, After the Room. Well, yeah, but I honestly like Tommy Wiseau's, you know, comedy <laughs> movies because he, he he's su- such a weirdo that... Yeah, he kind of like was like, "Oh yeah, I meant to make it a comedy." Yeah, but then his stuff he made after that was still really insane, and and yeah. it, I mean, it was him trying to make a stupid movie, but like still failing somehow in, yeah. in a in a spectacular way. Um, that is the baffling part is that like trying to make something that is funny, it's Take also yourself, just buddy. kind of horrible, mm-hmm. right? Are you a Neil Breen fan? Yeah, I, was a big I just Neil Breen watched fan. Uh, <gasps> one of his movies the other day. It oh, was Twisted Pear. No, it's the one where they're in the desert and shit. Oh fuck! Uh, I always mix up all the titles. Ah, uh, yeah, just is where he has like the car that it's full of like. He's like he's like an angel or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like it starts with, like a bus full of like illegals being transferred, but it's like yeah. clearly these are Americans. Hold on, I need to look, look up some up. Neil Breen titles. Yeah, yeah, this is this is a great break for you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, folks. Quick brain break. We need to know. A brain break. I spelled his name wrong. Buster's it, Mal Hart. I don't know what that is, but... Pass that. Through. That's pass what it through, was. Pass Through, Pass Through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched that one. I haven't watched any of these other ones, but I, now I got a list. Yeah, well, 2023, new one, Cade the Torture what? Crossing. Oh. Um, which is a, a follow-up to Twisted Pair. Okay. 
which is where the movie where he discovered stock footage <laughs> and uses it in everything. Oh, I love this. I, I might watch one of these. Are things. you a trauma fan? It seems like you'd be a trauma fan. Trauma? Trauma. T R O M A. I don't even know who that is. You never heard of that? Mm -mm. Oh, man. Oh, it's this awesome low budget production, schlocky production company. Mm. And, and similar to the protesting thing being, being looped, they have, they spend like all their money on one awesome car flip. Oh, thing. that's so awesome. And it's in every movie. They, they've released like, I you know, Wait, fifth, is it the same hundred car flip? Yeah, it's like it's whenever, the same car flip yeah, it's over, <laughs> whenever oh, they need so a, awesome. a, a, a car to have a wreck, that they'll use that same exact shot just they, 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 to recycle it. You gotta watch this one, John, because it's, he plays two brothers and one of them wears an awful fake beard. Yeah, look how sharp it is. <laughs> I, yeah, I might watch that tonight. Yeah. There's a scene in Birdemic 2 where they have like a, <laughs> they have a CG ambulance come drive off the beach. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's so bad because it just gets smaller. It doesn't actually like look like it's going off a distance. Look, like it's just shrinking and the lights are going. It's it's awful. And I feel like we should watch it. <laughs> petting an eagle here. It's like yeah, petting the stock footage of an eagle. <laughs> no, I passed it. He, he had the uh, like the, the tiger in it and stuff like that. Yeah, the tiger up on the rocks. Yeah. Oh my God, oh, so oh, good. Amazing. I need to watch the new one. Yeah. We, we, it looks like Liam Neeson there. Is that Liam Neeson? I oh, know. <laughs> oh yes, kiss yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's like he's not self-aware yet, right? Like no, he's making. No. He just I don't, wants to make stuff. I don't think anyone has the heart to tell him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Nor people, do I, I think, think he uses the internet. Yeah. Well, people I think genuinely like his, I guess, earnestness. Mm -hmm. Like he just makes stuff and thinks it's good, and people go and watch it. I would totally go to the theater and see it. Now that I'd see in Vegas, I'd be like going to see Circus Soleil for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants to watch some fun stuff with your friends, watch some Neil Brain movies. Yeah, or well, and trauma. And trauma films. Man, I would watch. I would watch that tonight if I didn't have to go to this birthday dinner. You should watch some trauma. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go, to go to see Cocaine Bear this weekend. Oh, you're gonna love it. It's pretty good. You're gonna love I it. didn't love it, but I, I liked it a lot. I don't have any expectations. Yeah, and you should. It's just a silly movie. I had a very high expectations for Cocaine Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it comes with a title. <laughs> Where, which studio made that movie? Was it like Universal or something? Um, it's produced by uh, Lord and Miller. Produced by Lord and Miller, okay. So, I don't know, I, I think they're with Sony. So I'm gonna guess Sony. Um, I was just gonna ask you about a movie though, fuck. Uh, Play a Night from Outer Space, loved it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably Ed, it. Ed Wood rocks. Yeah. Oh, that's just the game. What was this other movie? Glenn or Glendora? And there was like one other one. Like that that like 40s, 50s, just someone somehow got their hand on $100,000 and decided to make a movie. It was great because that was during a time where like, you really had to know what you were doing to get your hands on like that access. Yeah, Versus yeah. now like anyone can pick up a camera and make a movie. Right. So when it was bad, it was really bad. <laughs> they had to put more effort into their shitty movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, oh damn. God. I didn't Again. see that. Would we get dinged if we watched the trailer for Surf Nazis Must Die? Probably. Oh, I assume so. Oh, I need another person here the to people climb need to thing. watch that. I know. If only YouTube wasn't so trying to I know. sell ads. Hey, everybody, when this stream is over, go watch the trailer yeah. for Surf Nazis Must Die and pretend we're there with you. Yeah, we'll all watch it at the exact same time. That was a big movie in my uh, upbringing. Mm -hmm. The Schwartz is asking, who's a fan of Jupiter Ascending? Me. I really am. I, unironically. I create life. <laughs> Did I tell well, you about me seeing that movie? Uh, like, I, I went in to see it in 3D, 3D, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 3D D-Box. Okay. So it was oh, like, you know. you're moving around. I was moving around, it's 3D. I'm like, where, uh, I'm like, this is crazy. Channing Tatum was like skating around. Yeah, and they're skydiving and stuff. Oh, yeah. And it was great. And then I loved it so much that I, uh, uh, even though the movie's a little too long, it was just such a bonkers movie that I went and brought another friend to mm. go see the movie oh, in that cool. same setup. Mm -hmm. But by the time I brought him, it was just in D-Box. So no what 3D D-Box. Mm -hmm. So, which I didn't think about it, but then we did it, but it sucks. Changes the experience. Because I'm sitting there, you're not in 3D. Whoa, whoa, what's with these dogs? Oh, <laughs> oh they got some big ass mouths. Have you ever seen Hands of Manos? Ah, no. oh, shit. I don't know what that <laughs> is. That's supposed to be like the worst movie of all time. As Hands far as of like, Manos? Yeah, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, I, I, I searched for it years ah! ago. Um, yeah, D-Box with no 3D, you're just sitting there looking at each other like, 
this is kind of yeah, stupid, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry for bringing you to this. <laughs> I am. Uh, oh I have. Someone mentioned Tubi. I. I am a fan of the bad movies up there. Those are bad. On Tubi. Yeah. Dude, I love Tubi now. Like, I, like it's, Tubi. It, when I'm bored and I don't feel like like really watching some like good cinema, I just find the most random shit on Tubi and I just watch and laugh. Have you seen uh, Murder House Flip? No, <laughs> I want, but now I is must. Is it a self-explanatory It's what title? it sounds I'm like. I'm going to write that down. Murder House Flip. Murder yes, house flip. it's literally a house flipping show, but it, every single one of the houses has had like a brutal murder there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, um, yeah. Manos, the hand, hands of fate. That's what it is. Manos, the hands of fate. Okay, adding that to my list. I watched that movie, The Boy, last year. Oh, from the 60s? Jesus. The Boy? The Boy. Yeah. Remember? It has there's like a puppet. Oh look, it's already added to my watch list. So nice. it's already there. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah, when I when I originally looked it up, this is back in like twenty fourteen, it was nowhere to be found. So I'm pretty sure someone uh saw my Google searches and said, you know what? It's time to bring back <laughs> hands of fate. <laughs> we gotta watch it. That's a theater mode. Hmm. I don't remember why I brought up the boy. Yeah, I was it's, I think it's because you're talking about house flipping and the boy spoiler alert, it just ends up being there's a guy in the walls. <laughs> Okay. Controlling don't, a puppet. Don't need to watch that anymore. <laughs> no, I do. I need to, I need to know how to get back there. <laughs> you know, the guy got it. And I need, also need to know what the puppet looks like. <laughs> Is it like a puppet puppet? It looks or? just like one of those creepy little ventriloquist or like puppets, you know? Oh yeah, I got I got still got a lot of left questions other... worth seeing. Uh oh. I just can't go that way. Poultry guys, Night of the Chicken Dead. Oh, I love that. Uh, poultry guys. Poultry guys. Poultry Sorry, guys. I mispronounced that. That one's awesome. Okay. That, that was. Uh, uh, that's one of their more recent ones, even though it was probably like 20 years ago now. I watched uh, uh, Velocipastor, and that fuck. was great. <laughs> Another one of these. Velocipastor. Velocipastor was great. Oh yeah, I've heard about Velocipastor. Is that one a self-explanatory title too? Uh huh. No, let's go down in the well. Thank you, Leon, for turning on your flashlight. The um, the guy, uh, one of the four leads in Detroit Rock City, I forget his name, Giuseppe something, I think, but he makes, he, he like lived in a trailer park and made all these really low budget movies. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, I've only seen a couple of them and they sucked, but I <laughs> definitely, I wanna see more just cause I don't know. Yeah, I had to go. I, I like those kind of go. filmmakers. Bad boys don't put up with rats. Bad boys don't put up with rats. That's a rule of ours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Master of Disguise came out when I was, uh, I believe, in high school. So with Dana Carvey. Yeah. yeah. So that was a point in my life where I, I wa wanted to see it, but I didn't have the money for it. But it seems like I dodged the bullet by not seeing it. I would think my dad took me or something. Oh, he was just sitting there, just staring at the sunset. He I actually him. never saw that one. Uh, yeah, I think I only saw it the once. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember the turtle stuff, though. Yeah, every time I make a Mitch McConnell Friday joke, uh, someone posts the picture of uh, the turtle <laughs> character. What's Mitch up to? Did he ever, ever recover from falling down? Yeah, so I can go in on him. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you can... You can don't have to hold back anymore. Yeah, and then whenever he retires, I'm gonna retire that joke. But I've already got my next person lined up. Oh, really? Yeah, Ted Cruz. Nice. He's a good smoke. He's got the most punchable face in Congress. He's right for Enough the picking, politics. Too. He's got that awful mullet too. Yeah, I, I've learned just through my just reading and shit like that, uh, everything that almost everybody in Congress hates him. <laughs> yeah, it's so he's like funny. the most hated person in Congress. So I'm just like, that's interesting. Yeah. Both sides of the aisle. He's super annoying. <laughs> Yeah, he's bad at, at uh, acting outraged. I think yeah. that's what annoys me the most. Like, when you can tell when he's just trying to, like, ham it up. And I'm like, Ted Cruz, you don't even look angry. Yeah. <laughs> he's just doing, he's just like a yeah. shit poster, basically. I'm mad about these books in Texas. Like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're just trying to get votes. These, what are they called? Books? <laughs> yeah. What are those things that people look at? Yeah. With their fingers? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to lick your finger and turn the page, right? <laughs> Ooh, this looks nice. Go to church. Gonna genuflect, probably. Go. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a snake in there. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone brought up the movie Martyrs. 
uh, I'm still so mad at James Willems for I, I I recommended Martyrs to him and he goes all right and he went and wa- came back he goes that movie fucking sucked <laughs> and he'd watched the American remake like oh, the shitty bummer. American remake and not the badass French original oh. oh oh it was a remake he watched it wasn't even the same movie no yeah he ma- he watched a movie that is universally condemned as a bad remake yeah and then pretended like well I've already seen it now so it wasn't like really good like the American old boy right it wasn't it's nowhere near <laughs> it wasn't the a masterpiece like boy. American old boy yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding just so everybody knows I'm kidding don't, don't watch the American old boy <laughs> Someone just brought up Se- Seiyuku, Seiyuki Western Django. Uh, what? I think that's. Uh, um, Look at the size of that skull. That's got Quentin Tarantino in it, Jeez. I think. And I think it's. Uh, as a, just an actor? As an actor. And I think it's Xian Sono, which, who I love. But I've never actually seen it. It's just, I think, a stylized uh, Western movie. That sounds From cool. Korea. I need to watch more Westerns. Like Western Westerns. Oh, hell yeah. Kate says that I'm the reason their husband is now into old by mm. M. Night Shyamalan. The M. Night Shyamalan masterpiece. What have you done? Yeah. I've apparently helped this person's marriage. Why are you spreading a lot. this word? Do you like old more than uh, Knock at the Cabin? I'll be right back. Way more. Oh, Knock at the Cabin I blows. <laughs> I saw that. And I'm a M. Night apologist. You know? I talked to. I talk hey, to hey John, will you give me a Coca Cola? Yeah, I got it. Thanks, dude. Take a look. I think I talked to a couple people that actually did like Knock at the Cabin. Um, I mean, it really kind of, that's one of those movies, every once in a while a movie comes out where it really hinges, I feel like, on the wrap up of the movie, oh, whether it like well, works. Gotcha. And I give it a big zero on the wrap up. Okay. I, 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 it, it made me not like the rest of the movie more. The rest of it was fine, it was whatever, but. Old was very funny. Old had so many funny moments, yeah, when, when, the 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 the, shot, the cut to the uh, older kids with the, the with the pregnant like fourteen year old girl, I lost my shit. That was like such a funny moment in a movie. The way yeah. they talk is so ridiculous. Like, yeah, there's like they talk like babies. Yeah, They're like yeah. oh her tummy's big. <laughs> right, <laughs> or the way that they incorporate like their occupations. Like, well, as a librarian. Um, yeah, the way they keep talking about what they do for work yeah. is so like the dialogue is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't w- misquote me about old boy, American old boy. <laughs> Korean old boy is, the, is, is great. Put, put, engrave that on his tombstone. No! <laughs> Good thing I found this snake that I could eat. Uh, all right. Yeah, I, I got some people wanting me to fix their marriages. Yeah, just hit me up. You know, we'll set a time. What you see is um, what I've got. Let's see. Right. <laughs> yeah, I still gotta watch a. Uh, so many movies I still gotta watch. I gotta watch the whale still. Me too. I I really like the you whale. Like the whale? I, I, feel, I I feel like I'm the only person I've met that uh <laughs> that really really liked the whale. Really? Was, I thought that was like a movie that everybody was into. No, I feel like the I I feel like the only reason people it's even in the conversation is because everyone loves the shit out of Brendan Fraser so much okay. that they'll get, cut him some slack. But yeah. I think that movie has a lot of haters. But yeah. uh, his, I feel like people are mostly just pra- praising his performance. Well, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, you can kind of thread the needle and go, his performance was amazing. Did, you know, then there's a whole other contingent that's like, was the performance necessary? Yeah. You know, it's a whole other thing. I don't know. I like the movie a lot. You get some I'll buy this. This gun's on sale. Only will you need cash, but you need um, yeah, there's a lot of movies I still gotta watch. I'm just so slow with watching movies. Let's see, I gotta figure out how to make some bolts. Recipe, bolts. I watched a funny movie uh, last night called okay. Potty Town. Potty Town, huh? Yes. It was a, it's a documentary, and, and what I liked about it was that um, uh, uh, I, I liked that it was like, essentially this small, petty, municipal uh, uh, dispute okay. between a man uh, and a city, right? Okay. Where this guy, was uh, hey, like like was pissed off at the city council for you know not letting him build a Dunkin' Donuts on his land, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> literally, or not letting him sell a parcel of his land to Dunkin' Donuts. Gotcha. So then he just started putting toilets all over his property 
All right, and every property he owned, which is apparently was you know a small handful. Okay. So there's just now like, and and so it's a, it's a war between the city council who are trying to get the <laughs> toilets off this guy's land, and then him who's trying to like basically say like, if y'all ain't gonna let me, you know, you could have had donuts on my land, but now you got shit to look at, <laughs> you know, uh, now it's your fault. You got toilets. So yeah, it's an hour long documentary about a man who refuses to take toilets off his lawn. Okay, I, I, I recommend it. That yeah, sounds great. It's a documentary. It's great. Potty Town. <laughs> I don't. I feel like I rarely feel like I waste time watching a documentary. Waste time? No, it's oh that could have been the name of the documentary. Mm -hmm. What? No, no, like it doesn't sound like it's a waste of time. I'm saying that whenever I watch documentaries, it always feels worthwhile. But when you have time, you don't feel like spending it. Watching a documentary? Oh no, I, I like documentaries. I just feel like there's never been a time where it felt like I watched a bad documentary. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. For, uh, I'm sure they're out there, but I feel like I'm. There's just some, going off uh, there's some shitty documentaries, now, especially now with streaming, where like I feel like the people can make such cheap documentaries now with just talking heads. Oh yeah. And if your documentary is just talking heads, you know, I kind of don't like it. Yeah. And, and especially if it's something that it's where it's just uh, effusively praising somebody or something, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, there's a documentary on some entertainer. It's just a bunch of random people going, oh, I love this person oh, so yeah. much. I guess. It's like, I oh, guess. okay, who gives a fuck? There so was, what? There was one I was watching. I, I had to turn it off because I could tell, like, the dude was, he was doing a bad job of manufacturing the story. It, it was one of those, like, they're killing the fish in the sea, so let me go find out, like, what's happening. It was something with whales and fish. And then there, it got to this one part where, like, He's filming people on a dock who are really not doing anything, but he's like, oh my God, oh my God, I think they saw me, I think they saw me, and he starts running, and I'm just like, okay, no, I gotta turn this off. <laughs> Ain't nobody on no dock doing anything coming after you. <laughs> this is not happening. <laughs> Except Tickled, did you ever see Tickled? I haven't seen Tickled, tickled. But, but- You never saw Tickled? No. Put that on your dock list now. Is it about <laughs> Elmo? It's about a guy who is investigating this well, underground competitive tickling league. Oh, my but then he gets in, he gets in too deep. Man. This is on Tubi for sure. He gets in too this. deep, and the filmmakers are uh, you know they they're on the lamb a little bit. They That's start lambing awesome. out. They start lambing it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love that. Uh, to answer someone's question, yes, Marcus, it was Potsdam. Potsdam is where Potty Town takes place, and they went to college there, apparently. Oh, wow. Did you ever see that guy that, that has all the toilets or the potties on his land? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd be curious. Okay, I don't know if I'm Someone else saw Bloody Nose's Empty Pockets. SpongeBob Dave! SpongeBob yeah. Dave. Room 237? Like Dude, I love that movie, too. I haven't you, seen that one either. It's about The Shining. Oh! It's about all these different um, uh, conspiracy theories about The Shining, and you never see that. That's oh, that's a perfect example of a good documentary that doesn't use talking heads because you literally never see the heads talking. Okay. Which is a really cool aesthetic for the movie because you're listening to these people; they sound insane, mm -hmm. but you okay. can't do the normal human thing where you're like, "Let me see them so I can make fun of them in my brain right. for how stupid they sound." You're like. You just hear their voices, you just hear their ideas and yeah. conspiracy theories, and that's it, which I thought was really cool. There's a Pornhub documentary? I'm watching Please that. show me that. Yeah. I'm gonna make my own tonight. <laughs> just There's also a rip, like, rip a bunch of, yeah. and cut, <laughs> cut them together. Is it a new one? Wait, you gonna download them? <laughs> you gonna 4K video download them? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, oh, my knife is still busted. There's no reason that porn should be on anybody's hard drive these days. It's just so yeah. accessible. Just bookmark it. <laughs> just bookmark it. Just bookmark it. Yeah. yeah, just bookmark it. Although I guess nothing is sadder than going to that bookmark and be like, this thing has been deleted. So I, I guess there is a point. Marcus met the potty man, or saw him around town. You met the potty man? Or he saw the potty man and he said that he expanded his potties to more properties <laughs> his freshman year. Oh, that's year. great. That's so cool. Good for them. I'm, I'm so fighting the urge to get drunk tonight and watch Oh, Vegas. fuck! Because I'm trying to go to Vegas with fresh legs, but I'm starting to be like, mm, I feel like a little little whiskey in these movies after this birthday dinner might be uh, might be the move. Yeah. I'll slack you at 2 o'clock in the morning like, hey, tickles. <laughs> tickles worth it. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't text me back. I'm watching the Pornhub documentary. Ryan is the only person who will accept and send slacks at 2 a.m. <laughs> I'm always on, working. Uh, yes, Cassandra, you are correct. It is the Fiesta, the Fiesta, Texas on I-35, up a little, I guess, north, maybe? Uh, 
you know, I forget exactly how far north, but over by I-35, that's the one that I got popped for taking food dye. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. I forget, yeah. yeah, I forgot about the food dye story. That was, it was, that was not, not just. Yeah. They shouldn't have done you that. You were still going to pay for it, just someone else would have been screwed when they bought their pack and didn't have red. Yeah. That is true. You would, Yeah, you intended to pay for it. You're just going about well, it Well, I way. did pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but... Thank good for you, God for your uh, your lawyer friend. Yeah. My cousin. Uh, your cousin who My wrote that letter. Yeah. Thank you, cousin Chris. I would have just been prepared just to never go back, honestly. I would have just left it at that, like, well, I'm not going to this store no more. Well, I didn't even live there at the time. This is when I was going, I, I'd go back every year to throw my crazy bike race that mm -hmm. I threw Thunder there at, at the co-op. The it was just when I was visiting. Um, the bike race always sounds crazy. I, 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 I want to sure show you guys crazy footage of that one day. <laughs> We're just Are they naked? Yet. Uh, I can find stuff whether there's not. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I don't care if they are. I'm just curious if they were still in combat. are sometimes, yeah. yeah. More specifically, are you naked in any of the footage? No. Okay, no, no, okay. no. It comes up in the stream every so often, but people want to, want us to watch all the president's favorite foods. I would love to watch that. Well, we haven't finished fucking pre Deadly Premonition yet. But it's on the calendar. It's on the calendar. We're going to finish it. Yeah, right. We're only one more recording away. I don't, Where I don't believe that. that I don't believe that for a goddamn <laughs> yeah. second. No, I'm serious this time. Uh, yeah. You don't know. You've never been to the end of the game. I've never been there, but we're definitely there. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a... Um, Stressful because it all depends on how I do in that boss fight. That's impossible. <laughs> oh, look, a treasure chest. Pass from the outside has some for the girl. Lock her in the church and wait orders from our lord. Until then, keep the church door shut. The key will be held in the cave on the other side. Lou, of the Lou asks if I live at the same co-op as Blaine. Blaine, Blaine from Squad Team Force, oh, or yeah, yeah. formerly Squad Team Force. Yeah. Um, and he actually lived at Pearl Street, which is across the street from uh, 21st Street. And they were like the, you know, crazy stepchild of the co-op. They're the more put together one, you know? Oh, they were the more put together one. Yeah, okay. Pearl Street is like a more normal co-op. We're across the street, but we have access to their pool and stuff. Oh. So every birth, if it's your birthday at the co-op, then at dinner, we attack you and we, uh, uh, we we take all four of your limbs and we carry you over to the pool and throw you in the Pearl Street pool. But the limbs still attached? Yeah, limbs still attached. Okay. So every so basically, constantly, Pearl Streeters are like, oh shit, here comes all the 21st Streeters again to <laughs> take over our pool. That's so yeah. awesome. And one time at the at the, the uh, bike race, I, we had a, a one of the obstacles was that you had to mud wrestle this Appalachian mountain woman. You told me about that one specifically. And and but everyone was so muddy that when we threw the winners in of the race, we fucked their whole pool up at Pearl Street. <laughs> it was they, they full to, of dirt. Yeah, it just turned into a swamp. It was just oh, like man. it was oh, terrible. Man. We had to we had to drain it and pay a bunch of money. Bummer. That's great. Yeah, nothing's more shameful than having to have a whole pool drained because of something you did. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so then we all just started shitting in it, like, because there was no, we knew that we were going to have to drain it anyway. So you just started shitting in it? Yeah, we all just took big dumps for the rest of the night. <laughs> Yo, In Jesus. the pool. I mean, why not? Why not? You know, you're already cleaning yourself basically by being in there. Yeah, so. we were talking oh. about cleanliness early on the stream, how it's very important to get all your nooks and crannies. Yeah. Boys, don't be afraid to touch your own butthole. Yeah, don't be afraid. Yeah, we should circle back on that. Yeah, really get in there. Touching butthole. my butthole is like why I take showers, you know? <laughs> There you go. Like I, you know, get it's, in there. It's the main reason to do it. It's rag yeah. and soapy. Rag separate from the rag you use for the rest of your body yeah. or loofah, whatever you're using. Just make sure that okay. that is a separate piece of cloth. Do yeah. not put your butthole rag on your face. If you get pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> At least until your next shower. Because, you know, as everyone knows, after you take a, a shower with yeah. your rag, it magically cleans itself the, yeah. until the next time. You just gotta let it sit for a while. You just gotta while. let it sit yeah, for at least- while it's still wet. Yeah, let it sit yeah. in, the damp, in the damp shower <laughs> for a one whole 24 hour period, and then it'll be very clean. It yeah. cl it's self-cleaning. Especially if it's just a little bit wet still, when you yep. leave it there. Yeah, but it's and you also moist. just, again, it needs to be dark. It needs to stay dark yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, Christ. <laughs> I've got a couple of bidets uh, in our house, and I love them, but one of them, like, for some reason, like, it, like, cuts. Oh, oh, it's like, it, it's it, like it, cut diamonds type yeah, spray? Yeah, like, the other one perf is, is great. And what the hell? Who threw that at me? Hey, get down from there. 
There you go. Yeah, work your way top down. Don't start at your butt. Yeah. And then get the rest of your body. You save that for last. That's the cherry on top. Yeah, but like our downstairs bidet works great. And it's very like, it, I feel like the spread is good. Nice. But the upstairs one, it feels like oh, there's like a blade on my asshole. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it's cutting through rock. Yeah, and I have to find like the perfect strength before it, like where it stops being painful. Mm. It's weird that you can only use those during certain hours. The days? Wait, what? It seems like you, you should have, be able to have the nights too. Oh, I see. I see you. Were I'm waiting. sorry, Jacob. You're waiting for that. One. I'm sorry. I should have said it. I'll excuse myself. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. It's one. been fun. That was actually very good. It wasn't good. That, that, was, say that. was great. That was a good. That was a good goof. <laughs> that I wouldn't want to use I'm ashamed of myself. That was a good one. Dude. I'm ashamed. No, you should be I, proud of that one. You know, you know, in LA, like we have like the water restriction thing. So I was like, wait, they're turning, you're telling you you can't use it. Yeah, like debate? it could have been like a real thing. It all must sounded yeah. like. I wouldn't want to debate, uh, it's a debate of the day at night. Cause I feel like it would wake me up too much. Cause like already having shit in the middle of the night is already like awful. You do that? Every now and then I wake up like, I'm just like, oh crap, shit. Yeah, if I had ate hot chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can natural hot the chicken tonight. Yeah, you guarantee that's happening. Yeah, I think I do have to just mess with the pressure a little bit. I think there's something going on there where it's just blasting me too hard. <laughs> that hurt someone's soul. Sorry. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> um, Stink! Oh, Ow, fuck! Someone else asked earlier about uh, uh, Takashi Miike, one of the best directors ever. And Ichi the Killer. Not to get back to movies. I know no, no, you hate no. talking about movies. I don't like so. I love talking about movies. Have you seen I don't Ichi watch any of so I just listen. Have you seen Ichi the Killer? Yeah, I need to see more I've not seen 90% of the things you've seen. It's amazing. A oh, best opening credit sequence ever. Ichi the Killer. It's literally, uh, uh, what happens exactly? I think this guy, like, kills, murders someone and then comes on their body, I think. Okay. And then the, the, the credits are written in his cum. It's like just big gooey, gooey names come up. <laughs> How do you have enough for all the credits? Well, yeah. it's, a, it's an aesthetic at that point. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, it was days. impressive. It's non-diegetic cum. His other movie I really love, even more than Ichi the Killer, is Visitor Q. You gotta Visitor watch that Q. movie. Visitor Q. How much cum is in that one? <laughs> Not much cum, Dude. but it does have the best uh, nipple sucking scene of any movie I've ever seen. Oh, that's cool. Not just saying that. I've never rated the sucking of nipples, but now I'm curious because, you know, I kind of just brush it off. It's not a thing I'm usually looking for in my softcore. I mean, what makes, but, uh, what makes it a good nipple suck <laughs> versus a this, bad one? Because I was emotionally connected with all three oh. people involved. Three? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, it, once you get to the nipple sucking, you're like, this is the most beautiful moment in, okay. in art, cinema history. Artsy. I understand. Yeah. They, okay. they had to earn it. Yeah. There's quite a bit of milk. <laughs> the Schwartz says. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Ichi the Killer is good. All right. Ichi All right. the Killer is an experience you will not soon forget. It is, you know, it's not for the faint of heart. It's an extreme movie. I thought okay. we mentioned that on in one of the videos. Same now with Visitor Q. To check it out. I'm gonna forget all of these. I feel uh, like suggest suggestions. I, I feel like I can, I can stomach <laughs> quite a bit with movies. I don't think a lot phases me. I, I can see that. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have a uh, um. Like something's got to be pretty gross for yeah. it to really yeah. gross me out. Oh shit. You have a cold heart, you know, I understand. Andrew, he just ran at you and met no resistance. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. That's Except for that, got that boot. Boom! Ow! Ow. That boot resistance. Oh, look at the worms! Oh, you oh, see his yeah. still A lot of people love Audition, and I think it's pretty great. Oh, but I see an Audition. I, I don't love Audition as much as most people do, I yeah. feel like. You, you, that? Did you like that movie? Yeah, I liked Audition. It was pretty upsetting, but... Yeah, it, because, it, I mean... It's good. It's just that I didn't connect to the story characters mm -hmm. all the yeah. above. You know, it, it has some really crazy, shocking shit in it. You know, yeah. But it wasn't worth the full runtime. I feel like if a movie can unnerve me, it's succeeded. Nice. And like that's the thing is like it doesn't have to totally freak me out, but if it elicits a reaction from me, I feel like 
I've gotten something out of this yeah. movie. Yeah, that, that's kind of where I'm at most of the time, too. Like, I've talked to a lot of friends that, like, really don't like Hereditary because of how it made them feel. But I'm like, well, yeah, that's but the it point. made you feel. Yeah. I enjoyed it. You're alive. Yeah. That was, that was with the girl and the, and oh, the yeah. click noise and stuff. Yeah, 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 I enjoyed that one. I mean, the yeah. mom, it's all the mom's fault. <laughs> yeah. And, like, you made me take my fucking sister to a party? <laughs> Did you like Midsommar? Uh, I didn't see that one. You should watch that one. That yeah, one's fun. Okay. And then Bo was afraid. The movie we were talking about like an hour ago. That's mm. the guy's third follow-up movie. Like, yeah. Got you. Got I always you. mix up um, Ari Aster and who did Annihilation and Men. And stuff. Yeah, and Alex stuff. Garland. Alex Garland. I always mix yeah. them up. <laughs> and then, uh, are you making a note on stuff? No, I was just curious uh, if that was up to date with. This. Okay. You, you also have to put. Uh, th there's something about the Johnsons. I've heard of that one. And it probably it's a short was, film. Okay, it was probably in a video that you would know if you'd seen it. <laughs> oh, I have. No, I haven't oh, seen okay. it. All right. I just heard that title. That's the last movie I remember that really grossed me out. Matt Kidroski asks. That's a toughie. Um, grossed me out. That's a tough one. There was a part in John Wick Three where he puts the thing through the eye, and that's the only. I have thing seen that scene. That's the only thing that actually makes me like, oh, uh, like, but otherwise, like, it's hard to gross me out. Eye stuff, re eye stuff does yeah. make me really uncomfortable. Have yeah. you seen the one from Zombie Zombie Two? No. Okay, we're gonna watch the Zombie Two eye eye poke scene uh, after this. Um... Okay, well, get ready to lose those sweats because I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, then even better. Uh, I did a. In the, um, I know we did a stream where we played the remake of Dead Space, but in Dead Space 2, there's a scene where you have to, like, get something injected into your eyeball. Oh. And, like, um, you can, like, this thing comes down and lays you on a table and it opens up your eye and holds it open. And you have to control the needle coming down. Ah, like, the character's oh eyeball is, like, looking around and you have to get it in the uh. pupil. God. And if you don't get into the pupil, where it nor like if it goes well, it just stabs you in the in the eye, and everything works out uh, great. But if you miss, it starts like uh, like skull fucking you. No, <laughs> and, like your God. head explodes. It's so horrible. It's making me want to just grab my. Eyes and the closer right you get, the more the controller vibrates with a heartbeat. Okay. So it's really it's it's awesome. I'm not watching that at all. Yeah. Don't, I'm, I, don't I'm, I will watch that. Yeah, the Dead Space Eye Needle. <laughs> It's pretty yeah. horrific. Yeah. Dead Space? Wait, this is a game? Yeah, Dead Space oh. 2, Needle Eye. Look that up. Okay, There's like a cutscene for it. Hey! <laughs> Dang dog. Hey! What movie were we just talking about? Is it the one with the come in the credits? Yeah. No. Uh, come, come Wars? We don't want the Come I Wars? Think. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, come Wars. It's no, my favorite no. Star Wars parody. <laughs> oh! Last movie that really grossed me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, not very many movies have legitimately grossed me out, but the, the two that come to mind are, back in the day, uh, Dead Alive, hmm. Peter Jackson, it's a zombie movie. Oh, I've always wanted to watch that. I, I mean, the, it's just relentless, gross zombie guts and stuff. And yeah. I and which, usually I am super on, uh, board, on board. Yeah. And I was on board for this too, but I definitely remember going, this is so disgusting. <laughs> like, legitimately gross. And then the other movie is... Solo or 120 oh, Days of Sodom, God. with the the uh, spoil or the shit eating scenes. Yeah, I've, I've seen um, Solo before, and I, I pretty... literally was gagging because I was just like, I, I could see it, I could taste it. I it was there. It probably wasn't uh, the most recent uh, one uh, I watched, but it was. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that was probably the most recent one. Was Bone Tomahawk the bisecting scene? Yeah, that, I was uh, like, that made me go, like, yeah, right. <laughs> oh no. There was definitely some uh, intense, uh, practical, cool gore effects there, but I, it didn't it's make good me sound effects too. Yeah, I it think didn't it's the sound effects. It didn't make me squirm as much as the others. Yeah, Ugh. it made my like legs quiver, <laughs> if anything. <laughs> some resources. Oh yeah, undercooked chicken is gross. It's... Ew, what? Is that a thing on TikTok? It's, I, medium, I feel like it's just medium rare chicken. What? Only in America can we waste food for content. Can't that like? <laughs> I at least kill eat poor you or choices. You <laughs> can't like undercooked chicken be like a really really bad time. Yes, that, that's you that's, that's when you're for sure going to welcome salmonella and all those other uh, things. That's like, like dangerous. That's what I tell people. Like the whole argument of like whether you should or shouldn't wash chicken. Like I don't I don't care if you want to do it, do it. It's unnecessary. But you definitely gotta cook your chicken through thoroughly yeah, through. No kidding. I've been doing a lot of like just very similar chicken cooking where it's just like I take the chicken breast I just put like sour cream on it and put a bunch of like breadcrumbs or like onion 
bits on top mm -hmm. and then just like cook it in the oven for a while. It always comes out so good. Yummy. I'd be sous vide in my chicken now. Really? Yeah. Comes out tender every time. Oh, that sounds great. Hexagon piece A. Hexagon. I need one more snake. I've only found two snakes and this guy wants three snakes. Take a look. I did ruin a uh, restaurant eating for a friend of mine because she's just one of those like stuck on. Uh, she's just stuck on like you have to wash your chicken. And let's listen. If you if you're sourcing your chicken from questionable places, wash it. But a lot of a lot of that that's passed down from our aunts and uncles and grandparents came from like because not too long ago, like when you bought chicken from the store, it was probably just killed the day before. Uh -huh. And every farmer wasn't you know they weren't thorough with their thing. Like, you know it's it's it could be that way. Nowadays you don't have to. But she was just making this big stink about it and just swearing up and down. I was like, do you think the restaurants you go to wash your chicken? And she just paused. Uh-oh. And she didn't have a response. And then she's not oh, gone back since. And I'm like, you gotta really? get over this. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, if you cook your chicken thoroughly through, it is fine. Now, if you drop it on the floor, yes, absolutely wash that shit. Yeah, you what's know, the you, fear? Like, what's the fear of like it's, not it's, washing it's just, chicken? It's just a thing of like, you could get sick from it, but it's like, it, all you're doing is just splattering. If there's salmonella on it, now you're just contaminating other areas with it. Yeah. But if you keep it contained in its area and you know you cook it to its proper internal temperature, it's going to be fine. Nothing will survive 165. You ever been outside on a hot day when it's 100 degrees? Now imagine it being 165 days. Nothing, uh, 165 degrees. Nothing will survive. And so it's just, it's, it's, I feel like it's like a Southern country thing or just passed down from families. Cause I was told wash your chicken all the time too mm -hmm. in vinegar and lemon juice and stuff. And then, okay. you know, when I actually started taking food safety classes, it was like, oh, okay, this is a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am just splattering everywhere. I mean, but again, if you're sourcing your chicken from questionable places, wash it. But if you're just going to the Walmart, I guess it could be questionable. Yeah, it's just a but, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, just don't freak out about it. See, this is why I don't cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to clean a chicken properly. I, I'll just well, eat the germs. To, I'll just lick the germs off of those things. You yeah. gotta cook it well. Yeah, you just gotta cook it till it's done. That's it. <sighs> <sighs> Sounds like a big pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just cook it till it's done. I've been cooking a lot. I've just been doing like the HelloFresh thing lately just to get in the rhythm of cooking. Uh -huh. And it's been great. I'm cooking like four or five times a week now. It feels good. I feel like I could like apply what I've done at yeah. this point, which is what I've wanted for a long time. And I'm finally just doing it. And and here's the thing. So yeah, 165 for poultry, if you're cooking it a traditional way, uh, 175 for dark meat, 165 for white. But like, if you sous vide, you still get, you still accomplish the same pasteurization at, at cooking it at lower temperature. So you get an even juicier chicken because you're cooking sous vide, say at like 145. Why would I sue you? Sous vide. <laughs> See? <laughs> that see? Stop it. Yep. You, you, you almost, you almost Sorry. It. It's almost had it. Um, Weapons here to get up. Yes. I mean, I, I, I agree. Like, there is some flavor added to it by doing that. But, like, the people who just swear, just swear by it. Yeah. It's like, yo, it's okay. It's okay. But, yeah, if you sous vide it at a lower temperature because you're doing it for a longer time, um, you get an even juicier chicken. You don't, you're not overcooking it. And you're doing the exact same thing. You're killing all the bacteria that could possibly be there. So. Just properly cook your meats. And that's why having a food thermometer is great. I use mine all the time. Yeah, all food, the time. It takes a lot of the guesswork out. Food poisoning sucks ass. Yes, it does. I don't remember the last time I got food poisoning, though. I, I remember. Like I got it from a fucking ago. Golden Corral. <laughs> yep. Mine's from that expired milk I chugged. Oh, last, yeah, that's right. Month. <laughs> I remember that because you were supposed to be in something. Yeah. <laughs> that you messaged me that you drank a bunch of expired milk. Oh, man. And you just you just didn't look at the label, right? You just drank it. Yeah. Okay. It was That's dark. understandable. It was dark. You just assumed it might have been, might have still been good. I want to make room for this shotgun because it's gonna be so handy. Yep. Sous vide is good for meal prepping. Like put a bunch of chicken breasts in with some uh, marinade and seasonings, and then if you want to, which I do all the time. Take it out, hit it with a quick sear, just to give it some extra flavor. Why not Boom, try good. So what exactly is it again? It's, it involves water, right? You put it yeah, in like a so you, you put it inside a vacuum sealed container that keeps the water off of it. And then the idea is you're heating up the water um, to a certain temperature that you want your food to cook at. And so uh, your food okay. can never overcook because it can never get hotter than the water. Okay. So if you have a steak and you want your steak, shut up Siri. If you wanted your steak, <laughs> if you wanted your steak cooked to you know 145, you set your water to 145, and your steak will never overcook. 
Now, granted, you're gonna wanna like sear it a little bit at the end just to get that crust, but that's just like a few seconds in the pan. Sorry, I didn't mean to spit on you. Right? Okay, so that's, that sounds nice. But like, yeah, it just takes the guesswork out, and that's just the science behind it. Versus if you put shit, you know, in your pan or your oven, and you're cooking at 350, 600 degrees, you never know. You know what else takes the guesswork out, John? Uh, Postmates. <laughs> <laughs> and DoorDash? Yeah. Is, is whenever I want chicken, I go to a place called Raising Canes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll do it. it I'm comes, gonna have to get on that train. It comes preheated. Uh -huh. It comes with, uh, they they, uh, they do everything for me. Yeah. I just give them a little bit extra money. Yeah, but what could you do with that extra money? I wouldn't want to do anything. In these times, you could go to more Wayne concerts. He got you there. He's got you there. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna want chicken at the wing concert. Yeah, so what do but, I do then? But you already take your own chicken with you places, so now you take That's your true. home cooked chicken That's in your true. pocket, in your little Ziploc bag, That's and true. you pull it out and you just eat it like it's a Snickers. If, uh, I, but, if, if I go to Ryan's up, office here at Funhouse, nine times out of ten there's chicken in the office. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's 9 a.m. <laughs> and on that one out of 10, it's impossible chicken. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have, yeah, you gotta have those healthy days too. <laughs> yeah. You know what just happened when I went to uh, Raising Canes today? What? Today? Oh, you went without me? I did. I'm sorry. You oh were, my God. You were in here That's playing true. games. I, 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 I smelled it when I was walking out there. Yeah. The time. I thought I smelled something. The guy, I, I uh, was ordering my chicken, and then, you know, uh, at some point, the guy goes, Can I have a name for the order? And I'm like, Ryan. He goes, You said Brian? And I'm like, no, Ryan. He goes, Ryan. You look just like Ryan from Funhouse. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't that cool? That's so great. Raising Cane's loves Funhouse. That's awesome. He said, he, this... he goes, I just showed my girlfriend your Let's Go See Some Ducks video last night. <laughs> Let's you, go get that discount. You should have asked them for like the, the tailgating uh, tub of yeah. like 50 chicken fingers. Yeah, oh, good. You're, <laughs> you love you Funhouse? You love Funhouse? Can you, can you feed the office right now? <laughs> What, what was your go? To, what was your order? I'm gonna the, the just the sandwich combo you got with, sandwich? Okay. with with extra cane sauce and you taught me this the extra double buttered yeah. butter toast. on both sides butter toast? on both Ooh. sides toast. Ooh, I'm making my tummy grumble right now. <laughs> Here's the thing: if, if you made my heart feel good when if you, your sous vide chicken is this. coming out tasting unflavorful or watered down, that means you're not seasoning right, you're not marinating right, and again, finish with a sear. Yeah. Sear makes all that flavor concentrated. For a long time, I always felt like I was under seasoning stuff. No. But it, or not, no, sorry, I felt like I was over seasoning, but it was never the case. It was always like never enough. They sell chicken at Sears? Yes. I know you, you keep reaching for these. <laughs> they do. I'm sorry, John. No, nope, you keep reaching for these. No, no. I want you to keep they're going. They're not funny. I, no, I, I, I just want, have no. to say them or I, they're going to be in my mind I, I, for want, I want you to keep going. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? I want you to Jesus. get a release too. <laughs> God, I'm just thinking about canes. I can't even concentrate anymore. I'm oh, sorry. I still haven't had it yet. Looks like oh, well, we have to go with this next time. Which will probably be next week. Yeah, or tomorrow. <laughs> no, no. Oh, what's this up here? I just like canes because their chicken's real juicy. It's very consistent. Yep. That's that uh, that brining, that brining baby. And yeah, that toast. I like that toast. I always get two toasts instead of coleslaw. Listen, I have to fight every day when I pass that Popeyes Ooh, to yeah. not get it because. I feel yeah. And it's usually right after the gym too. So I'm like, I burned all the calories to get it. But I'm like, no, no, because it's just Pandora's box. Yeah. I uh, I just figured out a Popeyes menu loophole recently. Really? I, I tweeted that? about it. Is it something that makes them get your order right for once? Good point. No, but I'm going to show you this. I think, uh, hold on one moment. It's pretty awesome, though. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take them for everything they've got. Stephen Lynn, well, Lynn is uh, praising your bidet and benight bit. It wasn't a bit. It's a real question. Oh! oh, no! Listen, I can't give Ryan the satisfaction this early of getting off a good wordplay, so <laughs> yeah. he's just going to get smug faces from me until he really nails one. <laughs> Look at this. Gotta make him work. So you, if you buy oh, a shit. quarter pound of shrimp mm -hmm. combo for 11, you can buy it for 11.99. But they also have another thing that says you can buy a quarter pound of shrimp plus oh, two shit. tenders mm -hmm. for 11.99. Hmm. So what, can you, does that make any sense to you? You're getting no, two tenders for the same price. Why would you not always do that? What's wrong with the tenders? Well, they that I don't they know. They wash and that's what happened. No, so kidding. yeah, don't leave your two extra tenders on the table. I will be getting Popeye. Actually, I'll be getting Popeyes tomorrow because that is my 
right before I get to Vegas, I always stop in Barstow and get Popeyes. Because when I get to Vegas, I hit the ground running. It is nonstop drinking. Do you, why are you uh, driving to Vegas still? I like the anticipation, the anxiety. That's and why? Yeah, it's a fun road trip. And then I fly back. What? Yeah. What do you, you rent a car to go there? No, 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 my buddies drive oh, back. Shit. I uh, fly back. Oh. Well, I have done that where I've taken a rental car there just one way, dropped it off. Okay, then, then well, fly back. that actually sounds fun yeah. to, to just ride with your buds. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the road trip element. But w why don't they fly? Because it's because it, they don't want to pay the money. But it's cheaper. I, my flight was thirty nine dollars, but exactly. I don't know why they didn't want to do it. I mean, because I, I used to be in the same mindset where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I, I I I drove to Vegas all the fucking time. Mm -hmm. It's four or five hours. You yeah, know, you're paying for gas or doing other shit. You're wasting five hours. Yep. And then all of a sudden, someone told me that it was cheaper to fly. I'm like, I don't believe you. And then I looked, and it was. And and I I will never go back. There, like I like flying. Forty nine bucks both ways. But usually the cheapest flights get me there like. Four hours before I know they're gonna get there, and I, I, I like getting there at the same time with everybody. Um, it's just a fun, yeah. you know, ex road trip experience. And then, yeah, well, by the time I leave Vegas, I'm like, I cannot sit in a car for four hours. Right. Give me this 45 minute flight yeah. so I can just get home and start hydrating. Yeah. Okay. Well. Understandable. That makes sense. But I was gonna fly there this time, but Ow. the cheapest flight there was like nine in the morning, and I know no one else is gonna get there. Um, until like seven o'clock. And so yeah. I would be extremely wasted right before they got there. Right, right, right. Not a good look. Shit. So bad for all Go. these people you're Duck. murdering. What caused the zombie apocalypse here? They're full of worms. They're full of worms. Yep, watch. Ooh, right into it, Jack. That one's hard to dodge. Right into it. gonna run away, I guess. Shit, shit, shit. You did like that moment from Chronicles of Riddick where like, oh. do you get, who, who stabs you? Does, does uh, Vin Diesel yeah. stab you or does the other guy? <laughs> You're getting, one of them is going to hammer you. Except they're both old women <laughs> and I shouldn't have gotten stabbed by either of them. <laughs> what's, the, what's the children's song about eating worms? You know what I'm talking about? Vaguely, that rings a bell. Everybody eat. Everybody eat worms. Everybody eat time. worms. Especially Ryan, you know, like that one. Let me see. One about chopped up baby parakeets or something. Take that. Where have you all been? Well, John's John's here, and Mondo was just here not too long ago. Yeah. I feel like that question keeps coming up. Like Mondo was just here for my Black History Month stream. Uh, yeah. And then John Smith's here. He's just not here this week. He's in the Bay Area right now. Staying it up. Nobody likes me, everybody hates me, I think I'll go eat worms. Never heard that one. That's a children's yeah. song? That's a children's That's song. That's a very self-deprecating children's mm -hmm. song. Yeah. Big fat juicy ones, eaty weensy, oh, weensy ones, see how they wiggle and squirm. Oh. Okay, I knew I was right. Oh, Never heard that one. Oh, oh, oh. he's gonna spin again. Oh no, no he's not. It's all tuckered out. There's a good Viagra Boys song about worms. Oh, I know the one. What's the the same again? worms that eat you will one day eat me too. Any good Viagra though? Yeah. yeah. Oh, imagine a worm taking a whole tab of Viagra and then just becoming this long it's thing. Just, just, sex, like, just sexing itself? It's just erected for the rest of its life. Stiff as a fucking toothpick. Good fucking duck. Forever? Forever. That would happen? Until they call their doctor in 16 hours or whatever if it still aren't, persists. Aren't worms asexual? So are they, they? Yeah, are they like... I've always wondered how the the worm family unit was. Yeah, yeah, I think they are. So you just grow up one day and you have babies? Yeah. So Viagra would be unnecessary unless they really want to get themselves off. Well, okay, like, chat knows this. You can tell me. When you say that they're asexual, does that mean that they just don't have... They, 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 they don't need other people to have babies or that they literally don't have sex sex organs? Um, I don't think they need to have sex to give birth. Are there any, uh, do any animals or insects have, <laughs> have like a dick and stuff, but they don't have any need for it? Like it's a vestigial dick? Uh, yeah, a vestigial dick. Incels. 
Okay, well. <laughs> that, um, I don't but know. No, but they have a purpose for it. They just well, don't there's use There's a worm in the chat that says, yep. <laughs> there's a worm in our chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you worm. <laughs> Thank you, worm, for clarifying that for us. <laughs> wow, I didn't know we had worms in our demographic. <laughs> That's awesome. Huh. <laughs> that Why great. did you say something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speak up next time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the represent representations there. That's great. Oh, I'm boy. gonna die. <laughs> my controller's all vibrating with my rapid heartbeat right now. That's what it feels like after I eat canes. <laughs> this game is just a big cane simulator. They could be want it, that's for sure. Uh, I have to go to a vegan restaurant for this birthday dinner tonight. Ooh. I'm actually, I'm, it's not bothering me that it's a birthday dinner. I'm actually excited about that. It's just the time that it's at. I'm just like, why so late? Oh. We got things to do in the morning. <laughs> No, there's Vegas happening. Is it the same group going to Vegas? Uh, just a few of us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm not turning up tonight. They're like, oh, we're gonna go to Dave and Buster's after. I'm like, I can't. I can't because I will sit there and get that happy hour and be drunk out of my fucking mind, <sighs> and then have to do it again tomorrow. I hope whoever stole my fucking wallet is enjoying all my Dave and Buster's cards that are in there. Oh yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah you gotta take those out. Completely full. That's true, like you can only get Fucking back asshole. so much. You can get back the money, but you can't get back those Dave and Buster's cards. I've still got like 30,000 <sighs> points on one of my Dave and Buster cards. Wow. And I'm like actually valuing it, because I'm just like, man, this is, I can get a lot of shit with this. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I, there was, this is back in like 2015 or 16, I like, I found this machine, one of the games in Dave and Buster's that I was completely exploiting, because I knew how to get it like 500 tokens every single time. That's cool. um, and I just racked up, and then eventually they got rid of it because I think they figured out that I was fucking uh, robbing them dry. You were counting cards. Pretty much. It was, and it was in the corner of Dave and Buster's too, so no one could see me. Yeah. I was just racking up points. <laughs> That's awesome. That's because my bad boy! Yeah! Bad boy's baby. Yeah. Yeah. For life! <laughs> when we went to that- Oh! That was like the Waterworld stunt show. That was like the Waterworld stunt show. <laughs> You know what uh, still blows my mind is when we went to that uh, arcade with the Funhouse crew. Yeah, with or, the intention or, of doing karaoke. Yeah, a lot of us like went, fire. and Patrick Brown, it was so crazy. He he every he would go into one of those claw machines. Yeah. And nine times out of ten won. He was very not good like at me, it. where it's one yeah. out of twenty times yeah. I will win. Maybe one of those. Never win. He won. Every time, like, like it was mm. crazy. He you was just confident, though. Well, right, but I don't know how you're that good at those. Like, it was, it was so wild. You'd think at some point it'd just be like how the how the things were yeah. and how the machine was, but he'd go up to anyone he wanted. And he, in his, by the end, his wife had like just a her arms full of of cool yeah, shit. Stuffed animals. It was amazing. Stuff. He was the man. You know what game gets so much fucking money from me, and I can't stop. It's the one with the keyhole. When you oh, try to light it up and yeah, it yeah. goes and it turns it and if you're perfectly. off by like just a centimeter, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's so frustrating. Like when I'm on cruise ships, that game just eats my money alive. <laughs> Shoot him again. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. There we go. <laughs> I need to find some herbs, please. Oh, a fish. All right, so this year is year of the dog. Okay. Dog pound. Then we said next year is year of the chicken. The yeah. bok bok, uh, the chicken coop. And then the year after that is going to be worms. If yeah. we make it, if we make it to year three. Year of the Viagra worm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I can't wait. Also, shout out to all the members who are still members uh, after our val big Valentine's Day stream. Yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah, for thanks for now. sticking around, yeah, baby. Yeah. Those mm. membership benefits are coming. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm working on them now. I've actually got an extended bit from a video that already came out. Oh! 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 Close line by a bomb. And a snake I, came I saw out. I snake and I was like, oh, I need that snake. <laughs> oh, the snake's like, ah. Oh, sorry, Mr. and Mrs. I'm just that was their, that was their pet snake, too. You got my snake! <laughs> but I've got an extended bit from the El Matador video. Uh, extended cut of us looking at cold steel videos. Like the ones that they sell like knives and stuff. And blades. Oh, I don't think I was there. You weren't, but it's a video. Okay. <laughs> you know, oh, I can't Sounds fuck. cool. It's very cool. I was like, I should cut uh, from the Let's Ride video, like the the ending, like let people see it, but it still has to still has to meet YouTube standards. Right. And they were YouTube was very unhappy with. Yeah. Do me oh! oh, it was about to be another one. Yeah. Do they have to meet standards for member videos? Yep. Though? Oh, 
God. They still do. And YouTube was very vocal about uh, pretty much cutting out three minutes of that video. Yikes. So again, as I mentioned at the top, Let's Let's Ride was a lot longer. <laughs> Naturally, it was, it was a, a lot longer. Longer. video. It was gonna <laughs> get nasty. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Snake? Water moxie. Well, I hope I find a second one for my left foot. I think I only needed to sell one more. My pockets are full. I've got too much shit. I'll just eat it. Too many guns. You just ate that raw snake? You betcha. <laughs> because you, because your pockets were too full? <laughs> I had no room. That was the only thing I could do. You're a psychopath. Eat the snake. <laughs> Where did I, I don't want to wait to make this snake go away. I gotta equip my shotgun. Worms? There's not enough worms in movies. There's just trimmers. That's it. That's... I like the amount of worms and tremors. That I'm satisfied with that. There was worms. I want in, uh, more. There was worms in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Okay. When a reptile died, which make no sense, but it's there. But there are glowing worms in something like crazy. There was a war There was uh, there was worms in Men in Black. Someone parted out. Parted yeah. Out. Um. You didn't like the Dune worms. No. <laughs> I did not like the dude worms. What about the movie, the music the movie breaking where they do the worm? That counts. Ah. Points for creativity. Okay. I, I say, I, I mean, I, I I take that back. I would say that the, the worms in Dune are the only part I like. You like those worms. Mm. That's, but yeah, I didn't like the movie. It's hard to get the worms wrong. I liked when that, I like the scale of just how small Timothy Chalamet is. Mm. Yeah. And then how big the worm was. <laughs> Timothy Shalabas. You, you're saying you would prefer if the worms from Dune got like their own like kind of origin story spinoff. I definitely movie. wanted more uh, for a <laughs> for a three hour movie or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, insane lack of of worms mm. in that movie. Right, there should have been so many more gotcha. worms. It's like Bird Demic Three's problem. Not enough birds. Yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. Hey. Who's yelling? That's how I feel about 65, too. Not enough dinosaurs. Mm. Yeah, does Grima Worm Tongue count? Like Rusty Shackleford is talking about? I don't know what you just said to me. Okay, it's from Lord of the Rings. Okay. You know, I think I've said this uh, before in maybe a video or a stream. I could absolutely date someone who doesn't believe in God, but if you don't believe in dinosaurs, I draw the line there. Really? Yeah. Well, guy, I, I, re I really exist. can't. I, for whatever, I would, because I would be trying to spend every day arguing with you. <laughs> so, like, you're saying, like, a dinosaur denier. Yes, yes. I, I could possibly entertain a, a flat earther. Yeah. Um, because I think it's adorable. But the dinosaur thing, I don't know why. I just, that's, I just can't. And it's, it's only because of my obsession to try to prove to you that, you know, yeah, yeah, that's stupid. Cool it's a stupid position to take. Yeah. Well, you know, um, the, you're right. You're not wrong. But you know, the, all I'm saying is that there's 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 been things throughout history that were looked at as stupid, right? Sure. And then they yeah. were actually the right thing. Yeah. So, you know, maybe give your I, dinosaur deny your girlfriend a little bit of slack. You I'm know? just I'm just saying, you know, uh this is more of a, a, a flaw in me that I would just try to argue <laughs> every day. I could just let it go oh, I can't and eat. let them be themselves. But I know myself. And yeah. I know that I would. Uh, yeah, we on the same page. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The like, same values, like I dinosaurs. Say, I would say snarky things like, "Oh, just like the dinosaurs." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You think I cheated on you? <laughs> you believe that shit, huh? When, um, uh, when I was in high school, this uh, not very intelligent person that I knew, um, uh, but we were friends, uh, uh, said something that was really yes. funny to me that I always remember, because she was like, "Yeah, you know, the dinosaurs." Or how do we present it? It was basically like. At some point, I'm like, wait a minute. How do you think the dinosaurs uh, died? Because she said something that made me a question. Okay. And she, and red she, flag. Yeah, it was a red flag. And then she, uh, she was well, and she kind of like was like, well, uh, obviously it was because when when Noah and God, oh, no. when oh. during Noah time. When God uh, made the floods, mm -hmm. all the dino none of the dinosaurs could swim. And they couldn't fit on the boat, so they're, they're therefore that was the moment. And I'm like sitting there going like, oh, so dinosaurs were there 
In well, Noah's time? Who says that and Noah didn't have a second boat where he put, collected two of every dinosaur? And, and it hit an iceberg. <laughs> two T-Rexes, two Brontosaurus, two Allosaurus. Yeah. Well, it just, it, 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 <laughs> and it, it sunk. She had clearly yeah, thought a lot of, she had clearly thought a lot about the issue. Yeah. She had a whole belief system set up about why dinosaurs didn't exist. But it yeah. was just crazy to me that, uh, that I'd never heard that before. <laughs> and, I, and that she believed that. I mean, had she seen the movie Noah? <laughs> Uh, like, well, that came out way after. This yeah, was oh, that's a shame. Back when I was in high school. Because I didn't see any dinosaurs in movies and, and dinosaurs in that movie. <laughs> and I'm a big Noah apologist. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> really? I fucking love Noah. The movie rocks. Rock so monsters? <laughs> yeah, that movie yeah. rocks. The I, I had a friend home. in... It was, either, it was either the beginning of college or high school. I forgot what movie we were watching, but it was a movie with a rocket ship that had to go to space. Okay. And I remember my friend. Oh, Grand Day Out, Wallace and Gromit. My, my friend, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're going to fit that that reference in there, no matter what. <laughs> um, and she just makes this confused noise. And I'm like, what's up? She's like, how, how, wait, wait a minute. And I was like, what, what, what are you confused about? Because I didn't know, know it was about the movie. I thought it was about something else. She's like, don't they have to, like, in order for the ship to get the space, go through, like, don't they have to drill through something? And I was like, what? Drill through what? Drill through She's something. like, isn't there, like, another. Like, is there like another layer outside of Earth you have to get through? Like, we're like, inside there's, something? There's just atmosphere and sky. And I could see the gears turning in her head as, in, like, processing this. And I was like, I'm gonna first watch the movie, but I'm gonna come back to this with you at, at <laughs> Waffle House. And then afterwards, I just asked her, like, Explain Earth to me. And I said, draw it on this, <laughs> draw it on this napkin. She thought we what were in like a dinosaur sphere. <laughs> yeah, she thought we were a, a planet inside, like a, a chocolate shell or some shit Dude, that's like that. awesome. Wow. That, that, that was her first time ever just realizing. I'm like, wait, so you've never watched a movie where a rocket went to space? <laughs> Is that your first time? I'm jealous of her mind. <laughs> I mean, that's like the it was first innocent. I've ever heard of that. That's cool. Ruby's all I was like, okay, wow. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Hey, My favorite yeah. part was asking her to draw Earth on that. Did, did she do a good job? No. No, she did she didn't draw it. So she I think did draw point. a shell around the earth. <laughs> no, she didn't she didn't draw it because I think at that point she realized what she was saying did sound crazy. And I was like, that's not crazy. You just somehow you've gotten this far in life without ever questioning, you know, how spaceships yeah. get to space. Yeah. I mean it's pretty cool. <laughs> I saw a funny diagram of the Earth recently okay. that was explaining the different big statues on Earth, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it, it just said, uh, it just- Oh, just, that uh, stupid shit. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so the Easter Island. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and I then, see. And then, so the Easter Island as the head, and then at the bottom here was Stonehenge, which was the feet. So, okay. and then at the other end was was the pyramid of Egypt was the the tip of the guy's dick obelisk? Oh, so, was that? oh like it was like so it's, it's like all one, part of one. It's like man. one man inside of the going Earth. all the way through the earth. <laughs> so like he's laying, he's laying in the Easter Island, the head sticking out, and somewhere else his little dick tip. Is his yeah. dick tip is the pyramid. Yeah, it's one. So the, the so the, the pyramid is not just a pyramid. It's an obelisk that uh, the giant. <laughs> a penis obelisk that goes it. all the way through the earth okay. to the man's torso. So that body is going to be ridiculously proportioned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be so long. Where are the the, as of long the feet? as the earth. And then the feet. Yeah, the, oh the, the stone, where are statues of the feet. Stonehenge. Those are the, that's the, his toes. Oh, uh, okay. So so Sometimes just his toes Stonehenge. sticking out of the, out of the earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I saw that literally yesterday and someone said, no one wants to have this, con no one's ready to have this conversation. <laughs> and everyone replied, there is no conversation. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. There isn't just one pyramid. There's like billions of, is it billions of dicks? Well, there's three. How do we know There's that? Cheats and neats. How do we There's... know that humans didn't devolve to only have one dick? We used to have three. Listen, you I... can't prove to me that we didn't. I can believe right, that. Right, Omar? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's all about conspiracy. The real nature of this planet yeah, we're on. The possibility. <laughs> I, I, I think oh aliens could have came down and helped us build the pyramids, but then we became too, so, too self-aware. Like, uh, yeah. They're like, we got And it. they're like, hey, we can't fuck with y'all no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this was fun at first, but now it's like, no. Nah. <laughs> Uh -huh. too dangerous. The pyramids are the planet's dick, is what you're saying? This is a tip it, of just the Just imagine, dick. you know Easter Island, the big heads? Okay. Okay, so there, one of those heads goes all the way through the Earth, okay? Right. And, that, and they're all connected, so, that, so that's the guy's head, and then, the, then he has a big obelisk penis, and, uh, uh, and the tip of it is the pyramid. And then his toes are sticking out of the other bottom, and it's Stonehenge. So is that those are all connected as one person. Okay, but does that... 
even work? Is are they? Yes, it works. Are, are, are they <laughs> the opposite? <laughs> <so then? laughs> what? Like, are, are they? Are they antipodal? Yeah. Are you, if you're looking at a globe, <laughs> can you stick a, can you stick a needle through the globe and and connect? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're perfectly antipodal from like each a other. Guy? Antipodal. Yes. Is that a word? That's a you, word. You just made that up? And that's a real word. I've, I, I, I hate that I don't know what that word is because I, I gotta mean, agree with Ryan now. Yeah. <laughs> There's a fun app that you can um, basically, wherever you're at on Earth, can look what's antipodal from you. And most of the stuff in America is like in the middle of the Indian Ocean, basically. There's a few islands out there that we're on, but, uh, but yeah, antipodal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, and every, so often, every so often, Ryan reminds us in weird ways that he was like, oh, yeah, the men's a kid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think an, an expansive lexicon is an admirable thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't pronounce most words in my lexicon, but every once in a while, I know a new one. All right, I think I'm all out of money. I'm just going to go. Next time. I, I feel like, yeah, like aliens look at Earth like how we look at. Kanye West, like, man, I miss the old Kanye. You know, like, I miss the old Earth when they were <laughs> stupid and just believed anything we did. Yeah, then we got too work. smart and they were like, nah, we can't yeah. fuck. Now, now Earth is the ghetto. Well, yeah, now that there are <laughs> fucking, everyone's got a camera, we can't have fun anymore. Yeah. We just kind of show up and do whatever yeah. we want. Yeah. yeah. Like, before they were like, oh, it's going to take him months to chisel that thing into a rock. <laughs> He's going to forget what we look yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> Do not paint that cave painting of this. I don't want this <laughs> yeah. remembered. Everyone put your rocks away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> put your stones away. We're here to have a good time. <laughs> Something in the, go go ahead, Omar. Well, just, the, the Easter Island heads are so fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. And like how they, they discovered there's like, some of them have bodies. Like under the ground? Under the ground. It, like, that's what I'm saying. They go all the way down to the pyramid. <laughs> But like, it's just crazy to me, like, <coughs> such a weird thing to, to be such a weird mystery for so long. Uh -huh. And then finally well, somebody started digging down and we're like, oh shit, there was like, well, there's more? a little body attached to this giant head. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> See, I, I envy those days because, man, to have that much fucking time on your hand, to just build a giant no, mysterious dude, thing. Kind of the opposite, to have so much time where somebody was like whipping you to build that thing or whatever. <laughs> oh, you don't think everybody was on board? No. Hey, what else you gotta do? Just cause it's cool. Yeah, you was doing taxes cool. back then. <laughs> no, one, no one's like, man, know what I wanna do? Let this three billion ton rock up these fucking stairs to build your monument, sire. <laughs> now, when when they were building the pyramids, do they do they start at the bottom and work up, or do they go start at the top and go all the way down? Think about what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, Explain Earth to me, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so, think about what you're asking. <laughs> they, 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 they laid the top one and then lifted it up, and put the ones underneath it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They carved the world away. They had they held they, one of them was holding it up, and then then they, then the others were holding the next one up, and then until they got down to the bottom. I, I know what you're saying. So you're saying they just made one just long. Middle part, yeah, that's right, and, and then yeah, they build yeah. a part next to it, next to it, and they just yeah. work their yeah, way yeah, slowly yeah. It's like a, it's down. A it's a big Lego set. It's yeah. True, true. Gravity <laughs> would not gravify. Lego well, set. <laughs> that doesn't make I mean, it make any more sense. Like, the pyramids are hollow inside, right? That's where yeah. There's like chambers. Uh, they're it's it's well, yeah. they're they're very solid, but there's like passageways going through them, like okay, very so narrow not, passages. Not, it's not just like a shell. Yeah, it's like it's not, a, it's not a house. Yeah, there's hallways going through them to like yeah. an inner chamber where the the pharaoh is or the, whoever's buried, and like a little spot in the center. But uh, mostly, it's just a bunch of bricks. I gotta say, a lot of uh, pyramid's pretty big for the lack of. It's like one chamber and then like another hallway for like thieves, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah. man, that's a lot of work. That's yeah, that's a lot for of a room. Work. Yeah, that didn't need to be that big, but you know, I guess it's their their tombs. They gotta. Hey, I want it bigger than his. Yeah, yeah. But man, they gotta be, they put some other rooms there. Put like a balcony. Yeah, Dante, Ben, Ryan was in Mensa. <laughs> I still <laughs> am. It's a lifetime membership. True, you don't have to get recertified. <laughs> <laughs> and then you assume that pyramids are built from the top down. Oh, I, was, I was asking, it was an educated guess. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's just fun to wonder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it came prefabricated. And they just had to put it together like uh, IQ. Oh, no. I do like the idea of it getting like chiseled, like, there was a mountain there. And yeah. Like, you know what? Let's just mountain, let's make it a pyramid. Yeah, and right. Away a pyramid. <laughs> that makes more sense than building it from the top down. <laughs> that would be 
that would be so great if it really was that. Like we finally discovered it. It was just like it was the, the, just that simple. It was a big ass mountain. It was just yeah. Yeah, yeah they just, just said hey. Giant pile of dirt right here. So yeah. They just <laughs> did it. Oh. Oh God. That was awesome. Well, I'm getting spin. Um, the catfish. I get blown yeah. away by artists who can like have a vision of something like that. Who like have like a block of wood or granite or whatever. Oh, we can and, see. And like are able to make a, a person's face out. Yeah. You know, like. Especially like you ice and shit. Yeah. Like, I get it with clay because you can add stuff back in. Like, mm. oh, I, you know, this. I made the nose, but now the cheekbones need to be bigger. Once you carve it away, it's fucking done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you all seen that show, Kunk on Earth? No. I've, no. I've seen so many clips from it, I need to watch it's great. it. That's great. She asked that. She, she's the one that does that, ask that pyramid question. I'm not oh, that stupid. Okay. I'm not that oh, stupid. I see, okay, I see. Pass yeah. the buck. Yeah. <laughs> that, that show seems great. Her, she's she's her pretty. Yeah, yeah, she's great. Shit. Um, I was at Disney yesterday and I, I, I learned for the first, you know those little like silhouettes that people get? Yeah. Of their kids or whatever? Mm -hmm. I learned yesterday that that's not like a dude drawing or whatever. It's a dude with a piece of paper and he cuts their face out of that thing. Why? So he's just sitting there with scissors and he's like spinning this piece of paper while he's snipping and then a, a port, the, the silhouette of a kid is there. Oh, That's wow. crazy. It's crazy. Huh. It's what, so uh, impressive to watch. <laughs> what, what ride did you go on while you were there? I didn't ask earlier. I went on, so we started on um, It's a Small World. Of know, course. Yeah. Uh, we went on. Star Tours, we went on... Star Tours rocks. Uh, both of the Star Wars lands thing. Oh, did you like Rise of the Resistance? Uh, yeah, Rise of the Resistance. Uh, Ethan was fun, was Rise of the Resistance. That one's fun, that one's fun. Um, we went on Matterhorn, Ooh. Big Thunder Mountain. Hell yeah. Splash Mountain. Yeah, that one rocks. Uh, Splash Mountain? We went on... It wasn't called that, right? Huh? Didn't they rename it or anything? No, it's called that. Oh, really? Yeah, we got rid of it. Oh! Um, then we went on... Uh, we need food because I wanted to go on the <laughs> uh -huh. uh, We went on. We went on a lot of stuff. We went on uh, pirates. Pirates is good for rest in the knees. Yeah, and um, haunted mansion. I feel like we hit a lot of stuff. There was not a lot of people there because it was supposed yeah. to rain all day. And all day, and all day. Oh, y'all lucked up. I always feel like I regret going on haunted mansion just because it takes so long to get on, and then it's just kind of like whatever. It's, it water. feels like a classic though. It's like, yeah, yeah. You gotta go. That's why I go on it. I agree. How that part on Rise of the Resistance where you get in the little spaceship outside and then the door opens but it's somewhere else. Yeah. That is so awesome. Cause like you, there's like a little spaceship at the end of the line you get on and then like this little thing inside, it's like, whoa, we're flying into space. But then the same door that you walked into the spaceship with opens and you're inside a Star Destroyer. Hmm. So it's like, yeah, you went from how did I get here? To like on a ship. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's like some cool Disney magic stuff. Yeah, and I, I had done it in Florida. I'd never been to the one here. In Florida, they didn't. It didn't seem like it was happening. But the start, the, the stormtroopers in that room, like they move. Yeah, they look around a little bit. They look at you and stuff, and they kind of follow you around and stuff. Yeah, that's the best thing that came out of this Disney Star Wars is is that ride. <laughs> What I didn't get to do that I wanted to is apparently in Toontown, there's another ride that uses that same tech, the little buggy tech. Oh. Mm. I didn't it's know like Toontown still exists. It's like based on Mickey's new adventures or whatever that cartoon stuff is. Oh, the ones that are like the little shorts? I, I guess there's a new Mickey cartoon that I didn't wow. play. Yeah. I've seen those little shorts. They're all like pretty funny. I've been back to the aliens. They they give uh, they <laughs> yeah that was that was my first and last time yeah oh my god I was like how how far ahead we got to get to take the entire office <laughs> to yeah. Disney for a day <laughs> a lot I imagine I remember the first time we went it was great and like. Second time, I appreciated it, but I had a hard deadline. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot, some other people did too. It's like, well, I gotta finish this thing today, but we're gonna be at Disneyland yeah, or, for the rest of the day. Or, this was a surprise, and I did not wear the proper shoes. Like, was John Smith? Was John Smith wearing like, like, moccasins, moccasins yeah. or something? <laughs> I was slightly hungover because it, it was a Monday when we went, and I remember Bruce being like, "Hey, make sure you're here on time." Um, and I got there just like dehydrated, and I only had like maybe 15 minutes. 
of just like me time before I was like, all right, we're off to Disney. I was like, shit. I think I, think I rolled with, I either rolled with you or Don down there. I think I rolled with Don down there. And yeah, I was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that I don't have to work today, but I'm also just like, fuck, I had a lot of shit I need to get done today. But I appreciate it. Yeah, it was always fun. I think the second time we went, it was like so crowded though. We went to, we we went to Universal. Universal. Yeah. Um, Is that once or twice? I feel like we, we did Universal twice because it's cheaper. I feel like every time I go to Universal, I get horribly sick. You're eating that El Pollo Loco outside. Too much fun. <laughs> no, I don't think it was the food. I think it was all the like motion rides where you wear oh, 3D yeah. glasses and the ride shakes oh, you around yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like there's so many rides where it's just you're looking at a screen and it's also moving. And then I'm in the bathroom in Harry Potter world throwing up and the Myrtle's like, Oh, he did the party again. <laughs> and the loop is really short and I'm just like, quiet, leave me alone, witch. Man, time flew today. We got 15 minutes left. I know. Sheesh. I'm gonna 1,200 people are concurrently watching this. That's true. That's awesome. Early look at this game. Thank hey. you all for watching. Yeah. I mean, when this is over, it's gonna come out like three hours after. Yeah. <laughs> I think it comes out at nine Pacific time. This is fun though. I wanna like go play this. This is on the Funhouse account though, so I have to start over. Oh. To do a continuation. Yeah, on the stream for sure. Cause it's not like a super long game or anything. We could definitely finish this on the stream. Like your backpack is all full. I know, I need to Tetris it a little bit. You got, some, you got so much stuff. You want those grenades over there. You the I fish. know, I need to use those. Yeah, you do. We haven't used them brilliantly like we did earlier. Yeah. We haven't seen like big crowds in a little bit. There we go. Let's organize it all a bit. Does the world stop when you're in your briefcase? It does, yeah. We're just, uh, I'm thankful for that because earlier I was on the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't stop the world and look at my briefcase. <laughs> Rusty Shackleford's not here for the game. Oh no. Oh, oh it's just some hair. Harry C asked, Ryan, how do you feel about Malik Willis? No. Malik Willis as the Titan starting QB. Malik. I don't like it. Yeah, Malik. Yeah, Malik Willis. Well, I always forget yeah, how to yeah. say Good it. Good old Malik. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other reason I don't like him as QB is because I can't say his name. <laughs> Good old Malik. No, I, don't, I do not think he's our future, but unfortunately, That's for the time got. being, he's all you got. Who did y'all have before? It was it Matt Ryan? No. We had Ryan Tannehill. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, my namesake. The there's a what? There's like a, a what's it called? A, a post? Harry Hot. Harry Hot. Yeah. That kicked his head off. And he's still coming. Oh shit. He's still oh, 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 no. Came back. Idea. It is, uh, it's got an eye. Oh, it's like Parasite. God damn, that looks cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That. hi oh. oh, man. Ugh. Oh, bullets. That's so awesome. Oh, would okay. you drop something purple? I like Mariota, but you know, it's a yeah. win now culture. Marcus. Oh, yeah, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus and Malik. Shout out to Kenrola's Nan Nora. Oh, I hope you're having a lovely day. She's That's watching. big 95. Wow. Have a good one, Nora. <laughs> Can you hear me, Nora? I hope you're having a lovely 95th birthday. Sorry for screaming in everyone else's ears. Yeah, she, she's not watching right now. But hopefully she'll just know she's being talked about. Yep. Right. Well, if you're a member, that means you can play this back later for her. Make Nora the member. Yeah, become a, a member. member. Go Show into her purse the <laughs> and take out her silver dollars that you know she has. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sign up your Nan for a YouTube account and give her a Funhouse membership for her 95th birthday. Oh, yeah. Ween has a song called Nan. <gasps> oh, it's on there we their that's on their album God Ween Satan. God Ween Satan. Yes, oh. one of the best ones. And they call themselves part of like the trilogy, the Trinity there or something. What? God Satan and Ween. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> God Ween Father Satan. The They're right in the middle. Ween. <laughs> Nora's now deaf. Yeah, <laughs> Nora's now. <laughs> Sorry, Nora. <laughs> Picture of the lake. Oh, yep, that's the lake. All right, all right. That's where you were. That's where your boat is. Oh. Investigate the two locations. All right. Mm -hmm. I have to find something to put in these big old hands. Well, you have oh. ten minutes to find it. Shit. That means I gotta find a typewriter. Could put some giant <laughs> breasts in those hands. It's <laughs> just a big. <laughs> it's a giant boom. stone breast. Yep. <laughs> 
Only thing I can think of. Understandable, understandable. And there's nobody hot in these villages. It's all just like ancient people. What are you talking about all those older women? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, all open my the same models. Bit. Yeah, come on yeah. now. They're all sisters. <laughs> yeah, as I told you, we're in West Virginia, so. <laughs> oh okay. Oh, sacrificial. Are you for table. real? How do you feel? I'm getting more ammo. Craft handgun ammo. Yes. Time to stand up. Don't tell me what to do. Watch. What are you crafting into your handgun ammo there? I'm crafting some resources and some gunpowder. Let's make some more. Ooh wee. Oops. A red eagle branded too. Oh, I'm all out of re. Uh, wait. What do I need? I need five resources. I only got three. Three gunpowder. Bobby, Bobby Caldwell. Caldwell, you're back. Stevie Ray Bond. You survived. <laughs> you survived. I love it. You survived. They said you were dead. I knew it was a, a conspiracy, fake news. Bobby yeah. Caldwell once uh, burned me on Twitter. Burned you? Yeah. Who, who is Bobby Caldwell? He is a uh, a soulful singer that many people thought is black until they actually see him. This is this white guy with a lot of soul. Hmm. Great music. Wow. You probably heard his music before and didn't realize that was him, but uh, he recently passed away. But many, many years ago, I made a joke about him on Twitter and he clapped back at me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of cool. And I was actually honored because I was like, oh shit, I didn't know he was on here. <laughs> <laughs> the classic uh, internet trolls. Yeah. 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 I thought I, thought I was going to get away with it. Yeah. Like, they say something like, oh, I love you. I yeah. actually, I, I'm so glad you responded. I love you. Yeah. No, I, I, just, I retweeted oh. it. I was like, yeah, oh shit. It, it was a joke. <laughs> You're my favorite. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just a second ago, you said I was shitty. <laughs> you typed it and tweeted it. I like this little animation when you run into a wall where he stops himself with his hand. <laughs> I just came back to let you know that's, yeah. that's a good reference. Good reference. Um, yeah, I said something about I took one of his song lyrics and made it about his wife not paying the bills because it's like there is a light that shines. And then he was like, actually, my wife does pay the bills and so many other things. And then he said something smart at the end of it. It was so long ago. But I retweeted it because I was like, oh, man, Bobby Carl will just, just clap back at me on this, this tweet. I, I just knew I was going to get off because I didn't even at him. I just said his name, yeah. which means he was on Twitter searching his name and found me. That's cool, though. Which if I was a celebrity, I'd do the same thing. I'd type John Holland every day. <laughs> you have a Google or... Yeah. How often do you guys Google yourselves? How often? I've definitely done it before, just out of curiosity. Not uh, that often. I, I, I did it a few times uh, back when I was doing my sketch comedy days, but now I don't because there's like a there's way more famous John Hollins. There's like a psychic medium and the NBA player, former NBA player John Holland. So like everything's about them. I don't need to see. <laughs> I don't need to see my shit. When I was trying to, when I was like fighting with Google about that, I would I would look it up a bunch. Fighting. Fighting with Google? Yeah, I'm sure I told you all about this because because uh, 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 it's a whole long story, really. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think we've, heard, we've got eight yeah, minutes. Yeah, you got eight minutes. I mean, I got because my name's fucking Ryan. It got wrapped up in uh, the whole rooster. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And I'm like messaging with them all the, the time. Because the, the initial. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You know, but now that seems to be over. So yeah, yeah. thank there God. You go. That right now. Anyways, somebody segue us out of that conversation. <laughs> well, I told you. Well, there, 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 <laughs> there, right tried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we asked for it. There's a, there was a John Holland who was committing crimes in uh, New Orleans, and I was just like, fuck. It was recently, too. I was like, this is not me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> People it it sucks yeah. that just, like, uh, keywords can work like that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> There's also another John Holland. I, I'm so confused Ooh. where they... Are on the political spectrum because they they tweet some wild shit, but I can't tell if they're right or left. It doesn't matter what their political alignment is. It just seems but very. It just is so inconsistent that I don't want somebody looking it up and thinking that's me yeah. and seeing some wild shit that I clearly is not me. It's like they're all over the place. Like I think they wake up and decide who they align with that day. It's, it's almost kind of funny, and yeah. it's usually just like retweeting an article and then like some weird comment on it. That's strange. Yeah, but it's, they tweet a lot too. Dude, some people use Twitter a lot. 
Yeah, I get it for my entertainment, but I only just, I tweet the workshop jokes, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I almost, that's it. John's I politics are just making fun of Mitch, uh, McConnell. Mitch McConnell's appearance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all you're going to get out of me. Which I, I can get behind yeah, that. Can I do back yet? Yeah. I think he is. Make fun of him again? I, yeah. I didn't stop. I was just I was just <laughs> monitoring the situation. Hot <laughs> him. Give yeah. me five Funhouse memberships. Or, uh, Thank uh, you, uh, Hot uh, uh, Or, I'm sorry, Who's Hybe, which yeah, however yeah. you pronounce Thank it. Thank you for pronouncing it correctly. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, look. Oh, I have to match up the symbols. Quick, remember this in your Wait. brain, what that All looks right. like. Looks like uh, okay. a bump Wait, on the skin. Is that what you have to do? Look, because there's that one. It looks like a yellow sperm. There's one oh, right here. I am not going to remember none of that. Okay. I, I thought like it was just like a, that, one's a, that one's three things. It's like a broken DNA three strand. Is, it's three uh, fish. It's, three it's fish two fish yeah. kissing. There's three fish, though. See? There's three fish. That's you a, mean that one in the back? Is that yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's a, a concave nipple. And this one, what is this one? A, a concave nipple. Concave nipple. Yeah, this good call. Good call. This one's concave in, nipple? In yeah. Okay. And and, oh, and and there's music. Or there's <laughs> yes. there's money in the back. <laughs> yes. Money symbol to the right of that. It's a great way to remember okay. that. So it's a concave <laughs> nipple and money. Yes. Yeah. All right. This is going great. <laughs> All right. This and is then genius. Over here too. This is genius. Wait, oh, there wait, it is. Do you, do you have to do it in order or something? What are you What are you trying to? I think order? I just have to push the three buttons. So look. So that there's one? this one. There's the three fish kissing. Yeah. Concave nipple. Oh, stop! 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 There we go. That and one. then this one, right? Nope. Nope, nope. This one. Oh, yeah, that one. Boom. Oh, nice. Ah, look at that. Boom, baby. Hello, sir. The blasphemer's head. Ew, it's full of goo. Yummy. Mm, this is jam. It looks like a, a gusher. Oh, jam. Yeah, I'm right now. Hi yeah. Oh, so much never stuff. get tired. And rifle ammo for a rifle I don't have? I just have to buy the rifle. The, the merchant is selling one, but I don't have it. Now, now, didn't they release Resident Evil 7 on like PSVR recently or the last year or two? Probably. I think so. So why are they going back and ma remaking 4? Four is kind of old at this point. So they, just right. kinda, they gave it like a yeah. modern makeover. Yeah. yeah. They're doing all of them in order. Yeah. Oh. So like this, it's like, like Disney with the uh, live action remakes of sure. except Beauty is, and the Beast. Except this is good and fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's less auto tune in this one. But what is the point of making a? I, I well, I don't know. Are you a fan of Resident Evil Four? In it's fu is it fun Resident to play Evil. it like this? Yeah, like because they, they they don't just like make it look nice. They completely like kind of streamline it and stuff. They make uh -huh. it like play like a more modern video mm. game. Yeah. Interesting. And like kind of add a few things to make it like more fun and stuff. So, okay. and it looks great. This stream really bookends nicely. Yeah. We had the same conversation at the very beginning. Oh. Having that, that <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. perfect closing of the loop. Uh, yeah, right. A lot of callbacks. <laughs> Set it up perfectly. Great. Glad we had this stream rehearsal earlier with all this <laughs> scripted stuff. Yeah, thanks for saying the script, everybody. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. You know, no one got lost in the pages or anything. Okay. Ooh, that is a 105 page table read, was a doozy. Yeah. Okay, I want to make my way back to the merchant so I can save Oh, god damn it, Siri. Shut yeah, up. Mine fucking does twice. Yeah. I hate but if that. you look at like gameplay of Resident Evil 4 originally, this looks like really good. Okay. Yeah. Well, Not to say that it's a bad game, it's just an older game. I. I guess I'm just imagining myself replaying an entire game that I've already played before just because it looks a little better and plays a little better. Oh, oh. yeah. That's how uh, it I mean, works. That's, yeah, that's the world, man. <laughs> that's yeah. new to me. The thing with like this versus a Disney remake is you actually get something out of this because it's so interactive. I'm imagining them remaking 1997's NFL Blitz. Me playing as the Tennessee Oilers, but mm -hmm. um, why would I want that to look better? It looks amazing no. with the old graphics. I mean, Sometimes yeah, that's the case. New. It's like when they like a, like the director's cut of a movie will come out. Will you rewatch it? Thank you. Uh, I'm not really, but that's just me. You know, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't like director's cuts. Give me one cut of a movie. You know. <laughs> But the director cuts gives you those things that you felt you probably There's a really reason needed. as an editor. Oh, there's a reason no, you cut it out of the producers are just movie. they just want to cut everything out. Uh, I want one cut. <laughs> well, you're just speaking from a personal place. It's just like yeah, I don't want to cut the shit again. No, I feel that. 
Yeah, so Ryan, when they remake Kingdom Hearts 3 <laughs> in like 2030 or something. We're playing it. We're playing it. You're going to have a great time remembering all the good old days. <laughs> I put another one on the calendar. Yep. Go ahead and put it yeah, for 2030. Yeah, do yep. 2030. Send, him the invite. Send me the invite too. Just so I can uh, wait for it. It fills me with dread, just knowing exactly how much Kingdom Hearts 3 you still have left to play. <laughs> <laughs> we that's, not, even, that's not getting done this year. We haven't, like, we haven't even done, we, we're barely getting to Frozen. We still haven't even touched Pirates of the Caribbean, Big Ooh. Hero 6, all that stuff. God oh. damn. <laughs> There's so much more left. More streams. That's all I know, more streams. Yeah, you spent, I think, eight hours in Toy Story. Yes. I have. Wait, maybe like six and then two in uh, Tangled, <laughs> which might have been the most harrowing experience yet. I just like playing with you guys, you know? <laughs> yeah. Whatever we're doing, it's okay. It's true. As long as I get to hang out with my buds. And a lot of mm -hmm. good clips came out of it, too. <laughs> you know, one minute, what are, we, what, are we, uh, what are we pushing? Oh, it's five right now. Oh, shit. Hey, oh, thanks so much for hanging with us. Yeah. Thanks for watching us play this game early. There's a members only video out right now. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We can show the clip of that again. Uh, yeah, let's do that, and, you know, like, talk about, uh, there's this sweet old oh, yeah. back merch that's out of the store. Yeah, oh. 20th anniversary, the anniversary stuff. stuff. Rage anniversary. quit. Rage quit. Michael Jones. Yeah, the anniversary stuff is starting to air. Go check it out. Also today. RTX yeah. says tickets are on sale. I think early that's bird. True. Early bird tickets are still available, so you can get them at a discount. Yeah. Well, come hang with us in Austin. The it's going to be a grand old time. Lindsay's show, uh, How Hard Could It Be, mm -hmm. on, uh, Oh, no, I'm pleased. Uh, yeah, today? I came, yeah, it came out today. Yeah, uh, and uh, just check out the All Good No Worries channel just in general. Yeah, mm -hmm. and again, shout out to the people who are still members after that uh, Valentine's Day push. Um, big props to you and anybody who signed up today. Appreciate you as well. Yeah, y'all rock. Thanks yeah. for sticking with yeah. the stream. Oh, That's Bad Boys for Life. Watch Kingpin. Bad yeah. Boys. Go watch the Kingpin. That's Pin. right. With the Bad Boy crew. With the, with yeah. the crime crew. It's Let's go. <laughs> questionable menu options. <laughs> <laughs> Roll us out with the clip, Omar. I think it's just a right. <laughs> members vid, vid promo. Just click on that in the scenes and then transition. You guys want to go jaywalk? Yeah. Hell yeah. Jaywalk. Let's go jaywalk right. everywhere. Yeah. So you click it and then hit transition. Peace. People don't want the moon face anymore. They want a snatched jawline. They want What's sunken moon cheeks. Face? They're what I have? The, the buckle fat. You're looking super snatched, by the way, James. I was gonna say that there's people that like there's they're doing now because they have the filler that they don't like, mm -hmm. so they're getting a procedure where basically acid is injected in to dissolve the filler, mm -hmm. but that acid naturally will sometimes go after naturally occurring tissue. Having just seen Elvis, my prayers go out to Austin Butler for whenever. Yeah. There's got to be filler in those lips, right? But he's just naturally blessed. He's always doing a face. Got um, it! I like, I like when Colonel Parker's like, it does not concern us. And he says, of course it concerns us. I'm going. Lindsay's on the move. Here. There's no way out, Lindsay. I'm so beat up Too about JFK Jr. I'm leaving. Or Robert Kennedy. I went to Australia. I didn't see my family for approximately the entire length of shooting a film, which is normal. <laughs> and uh, now I came back talking like this. I'm here to fight Paul Atreides. <laughs> I keep hearing about this more deep. <laughs> <laughs> scary though. Shy <laughs> No. <laughs> no How did way you out, even Lindsay? manage you that? They set you up for that. There's no up. way out, Lindsay. I just want to see what he says about the Moadi. Wait, what? Hey, uh. <laughs> 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 oh, I turn on my hologram <laughs> shield and I. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>